This is the farthest that I can take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me. And Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. I'd say we're off to a very loud start, but then again, the other game, the original Subnautica, began with a crash too, so good to know we're still keeping with tradition. I'm getting more, a lot more food than water, but I think that's everything. Uh, at least that's everything I'm gonna find. Onward we go before I freeze to death. Hello, friends. Thank you for the warmth. I do like Robin's voice, though. Robin's new voice is great. Kind of reminds me a bit of Alex. A, a kind of like a midpoint between Half-Life Alex Alex and Half-Life 2 Alex. Something like that. Welcome back to the underwater world, ladies and gentlemen. I know we all missed it. Why is there a plant that's a giant heater unit? Who cares? Who cares? It helps me. Actually, in keeping with in keeping with Subnautica tradition, which I say tradition is if there's more than one game. Well, there is now, but as if there's been more than these games. But in keeping with how Subnautica lore worked before, a lot of the uh, the fauna and such is based off of actual, like some real life concepts or at least things that sound like they could work in the real world, just taken to the extreme. The interesting thing about those uh, heat lilies is they absorb heat during the day to, uh, to warm themselves during the night. So kind of like solar panel flowers. It sounds goofy and ridiculous, but I mean, in like if it was taken to a less extreme, it could probably exist in the real world or at least on an alien world. This implies that Reaper Leviathans could exist and I ain't about that life. Honestly, of all the Leviathans, I think the Reaper Leviathan is the most like, this could be a real thing just on a different planet that's a lot more aquatic based than ours. And ours is already like 70% water, but if most life was underwater on like some alien planet, the Reaper could absolutely exist. Like that is a very plausible creature. I think the least plausible from Subnautica was the Sea Dragon. And like the ghost leviathan was like, there are actual bioluminescent jelly-like creatures in the real world. What if we made it 50 feet long and a screaming nightmare creature? Like again, it's taking real world concepts or things that sound like they could exist in nature somewhere and they just push it to 11. The emperor with its telepathy. Yeah, the emperor, the emperor, empress, whatever the hell you want to call it. Yeah, that, that, that is also less, um, that's very that's very clearly the sci-fi element but still like most of the things in subnautica but in subnautica could actually exist in some alien ecology ecology i want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister i got to know sam better towards the end of my mandate oh, with she's Altera dead. on 4546b when we were thrown together as pacemates at outpost zero she spoke often and fondly of you i thought you should know it didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. Yeah, new voice. I, I actually like Robin's new voice. It's completely fine. Dear, let me let me make sure there's no glare in the background. Dear Miss Au, Au, on behalf of Zeta Lun on behalf of Zeta Landon, a 4546B robotic section leader. I'm actually going to make sure I'm not drowning first. <laughs> and Indra Karmic, president of Altera Transgov, I regret to inform you of the death of Samantha Ayu. She died, or Ayu. She died <clears throat> on planet 4546B, regrettably as a result of injuries sustained in an accident arising from her own negligence. Mm -hmm. Please allow me to, commu uh, to communicate the most profound condolences. Oh, hang on. I need to put, a, I need to put on the, like my total sleazebag voice for this. <clears throat> Please allow me to communicate the most profound condolences for the loss of your sister. While further details are unavailable at this time, you will receive contact from the Department of Insurance and, rec and Recuperation concerning your responsibilities as next of kin. 
with regards to payment of damages and legal fees. If you have any questions, you may file for <laughs> and your query will be addressed in the in sequential order. Sincerely, Emmanuel Desjardins. 4546B Communications Liaise, or Liaison, Altera Transgov. Well, that guy sounds like a prick. In fact, Altera, just in general, is made up of nothing but giant pricks. And not in the fun way. Okay. So, first order of business. Get these fucking flares out of my inventory. Why did I pick up all these flares? Why did I pick all these flares? Anyway, so... First order of business, making myself some tools. So we're gonna need fiber mesh silicon and titanium to make a sur uh, yeah, we need titanium silicon. Make ourselves a knife in the scanner, first of all. God, they made this game look so much better. Should be able to use this. Like compared to the early access, God, this looks so much better. You can actually see more than like 20 feet in front of you. Oh yeah, uh, Sans messages, one sec. Robin, guess what? I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Come here. I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real world stress conditions. Listen, I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. Potato, listen. I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave the starchy tubers nicknames to you. Anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. And suddenly nighttime. That was fast. Well, we start with the heartwarming. We're eventually going to get to the heart wrenching and then death. That's the progression of these messages. I'm just going to guess. Yeah, it got night real fucking fast. And now we need to find, so what do we need? We need more copper ore to make copper wires. We're gonna need ribbon plants to make a battery. Uh, to make ourselves our trusty scanner, we just need a battery. And to make a knife, we just need an extra, an extra bit of titanium and some silicon rubber. Which I know exactly where to get that. Thankfully. Next message. 4546B to Robin. Come in, Robin. <laughs> Remember when we used to play old-timey space explorer? This is kind of like that, but it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, alterrorizing me. <laughs> it's going well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian. And hello to spy panglings. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. <laughs> I know it's not like me to just find a date, let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but... I can see why it's uninhabited. Actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's probably not even a real thing, but... Anyway, um... I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy Xenoworking, though. I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but... You've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you, getting to work at a small place where you have control over your research. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. Ribbon plants contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Indeed they do. Such as... Batteries. God damn it, Seth. I only just managed to catch a stream of yours and you're already giving me nightmares of, un of imagining these damn fish in real life. Way to welcome a guy back. Yeah, <laughs> I mean... That's just that's what I like about these games. A lot of their ideas are actually plausible. Most, anyway. What the hell is going on on the surface right now? Oh. Death and lightning storms. So, good to see that uh, Below Zero has not left out the the apocalypse is happening on the surface at almost all times. Best just stay underwater. Aspect. Oxygen. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Glad to know they have not left out oxygen. Just your PDA warning you of your impending death, not with like saying swim to the surface, it just says oxygen. Glad to know that's still a thing. Yep. We have not left out oxygen, dumbass! New blueprint synthesized. Ah, it just doesn't have the same ring to it as uh, 
New blueprint acquired. It doesn't, it's just not the same. Mm, damn it. It's fine. I'll get used to it. Just, ah. It's going to take me a while. So as someone who didn't catch the intro, why are we stranded? We are looking for what happened to our sister, uh, Sam, who died on this planet. And speaking of which, I should probably keep playing those, uh, those logs. Hey, Robin. I, I got your Augie photo. Thanks so much for taking care of him, even though he's a cranky pot. Hey, the nickname actually fits that way. A cranky potato. I know he can be a handful, but I really appreciate it. I'm a bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my penguins found something, something big. But Altera is just like, nothing to see here. Mm -hmm. Honestly, kind of glad you can't answer so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. Go ahead, bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line. My job, and my safety. Um, I heard about Xenoworks getting bought. I'm sorry. But at least you still have your job. Guess you're one of us now. Like it or not, welcome to the Altera family. I, I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize. I still love that term, all terrorizing. I'm going to steal that. Ah, shit is about to get bad. I wonder what the multi-million dollar company wanted to hide down there. We'll find out. Altera, all terrorizing while Advent takes advantage. Okay, enough. Fuck, wrong button. <laughs> okay, enough. Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's pretty decent. That is actually a pretty decent pun. I'll, I'll give you that one. That's... <laughs> that works. Hey, Robin. I'm sorry my last message was so... awful. I've been under a lot of stress. And I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking there. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this. I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair. Wild, right? Well, anyway, I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said, but uh, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. I'm sorry. All Terra supply cash nearby. Thank you for punctuating the, uh, <laughs> thank you for punctuating the moment, PDA. Fucking God. <laughs> God damn. Read the fucking room, PDA. <laughs> hey, Robin. I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. You were completely right about Altera, okay? You were right. I was wrong. The cat should be called Potato. I admit it. <laughs> mm, sorry. Bad attempt at a joke. I just... I don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. We found a frozen leviathan that's infected with Kara. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is ugly, dangerous, but, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but I don't think I am. Anyway, uh, message me back, please. I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. Adding additional blueprints to your data bank. First of all, now we actually know how to uh, really pronounce it. Kara. I'm still going to say Kara because that's a bit less... I don't know, it's easier, it's easier to say it that way. But yeah, the actual way you pronounce it is Kara. But, uh, shit. Okay, yeah. Um... Definitely seeing the improvements in the story already. I mean, maybe the improvements are just because they added in, like, good voice acting, but still. Or any voice acting. 
Is oxygen a premium a premium currency? I mean, Altera sounds like sounds like your typical run of the mill Wayland Utani like awful fucking corporate uh, sleaze bags. So, absolutely in Altera's world, Umbrella never dies, does it? Nope, it just transcends game titles and changes names. Every single fucking thing that goes wrong can be traced back to Umbrella, apparently, according to RE Village. Everything can be traced back to that fucking company. Fucking Pompeii Volcano? Umbrella. 9-11? Umbrella. War the World Wars? Umbrella. <laughs> COVID? Umbrella. And that is hilarious because that actually could be a thing. The Titanic? Umbrella. The Challenger? Umbrella. <laughs> the dinosaur is going extinct. <laughs> Yeah, Umbrella controlled the fucking meteor that crashed into the planet. <laughs> the Black Plague? Definitely Umbrella. The Bubonic Plague? Also Umbrella. They do a lot of plagues. Wayland yutani Umbrella. <laughs> God damn it, I'm getting distracted. What the fuck am I doing? What am I trying to make here? Um, right, I need to make the repair tool. So I need crystalline sulfur. I'm pretty sure we can actually find that closer to the surface than y'all may think. I know I was certainly surprised when I saw that, but yeah, I'm gonna make a battery. I need battery, lubricant, and copper wire. I can make the copper wire. And I think I can make a battery. OEM, thank you for the 100 bits. Forgets to, forgot to add the cheer the first time. Coal, umbrella, because everything is coal and everything is umbrella. Careful with that though, because you may cause a feedback loop which could end all existence across all time and space. Okay, to quickly explain this one, this joke comes from my Valheim streams uh, because in that game, when you overcook meat, it turns to coal, for some reason. So the in-joke just became that everything at its core is coal. That's it. That's the joke. Moving on. If everything is coal, but you make coal umbrella and everything is umbrella, then what- then which came first, umbrella or coal? <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I'm completely losing track of what the fuck I'm trying to do here. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the plot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how the fuck I keep getting distracted. I do though. So pardon me, I'm gonna make a sea moth and calm the fuck down. Uh, no, not a sea moth, a sea glide and calm the fuck down. Alcatraz, thank you for the 100 bits. How are you doing and enjoying below zero? is a personal <clears throat> transportation device used for high-speed free diving contains a built-in light and map oh <sighs> i'm doing fine i'm just making myself giggle at dumb jokes oh hey they made the sea glide smaller like it doesn't take up nearly as much inventory nice i like that that's good i prefer that thank you all right let's go get that supply cache i'm sure we won't run into anything horrible at nighttime i don't know why you would think that <laughs> what could what could possibly be out there that can make you make you nervous about going out at night, chat? I don't know what the hell. What, what, what's, what, could, what could possibly? What could possibly be out there? Oh, hello, lead. Got you quick. Nice. Rain was made by Umbrella to sell umbrellas. We found the source of their funding. Whoop. No, go away. Stop it. I am going to scan you, though. Now, remember correctly, those little guys can shoot uh, cryo breath or whatever and freeze me which i don't want to have happen for obvious reasons oxygen also oxygen <laughs> so i'm told it's important to live who even started it i don't remember who started the umbrella thing i i think i just I, I don't remember i think someone just randomly mentioned umbrella while we were talking about something else and then it just spiraled out of my control and i don't know where we are anymore i don't know i don't know where we ended up but we're here now hope you enjoy your stay I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. Is that the guy from the trailer? <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave. Not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. 
No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. Ah, so the plot thickens. Yeah, yeah I do like that you just, they just give you a beacon right away. It's, it immediately makes it seem important. I like that. As opposed to just leaving it, uh, uh, leaving it for you to make yourself, which is probably why I never made them in my original playthrough. <laughs> I barely knew they existed. At the beginning of the first age, the nature of the universe split. One half became coal, dark, flammable, and the base of all matter. The other half became umbrella, terrible, and becoming the basis of all evil. Together, these elements created the world. Soon, however, for, for, soon, however, from where coal and umbrella met came the dominant species of Earth, humanity, the matter of coal with the ability of evil of Altera. I'm sorry, Umbrella. Fuck. Now I'm getting them confused. Which mega, which evil megacorp are we talking about again? <laughs> ah, yes, the oxygen plants. I actually, I'm actually curious what the uh, the info on these things is. The oxygen plant produces a harvestable reserve of oxygen in its bioluminescent floating bulk. It is hypothesized that this attracts territorial air-breathing fauna, forming a symbiotic relationship that protects the plant from herbivorous from herbivorous fish. Huh. That's actually interesting. Is that, uh, that's the sea moth, but I mean, I guess I could, there's sea moth? No. It's a fucking sea glide, you, you fucking monkey. Get it? It's a sea monkey nest. Ha <laughs> ha, jokes. All right, well, we now, we gotta, we gotta scan the penguins. Bird-like creatures hunt small fish below the waters, huddles and packs in the ice above, consumes small prey, and regurgitates them for its young. Retractable tail and claws allow for fast evasion of predators underwater and maximum grip on the ice. Sharp teeth concealed within the beak can tear chunks out of, an, out of aggressors and prey alike. Huddles and packs on the surface for protection against the cold. Less cuddly than they look. Up. Oh, pretty sure you were floating for a minute there, little guy. A pengling. Young penguins tend to huddle on dry land while waiting for their next meal. Consume almost exclusively fish regurgitated by the adults in the huddle. They st- <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a little one falling in the background. They stay in the center of the huddle to stay warm out of, uh, and out of the wind. If separated from the huddle, the adults will become agitated and begin searching for their young penguins, so please don't do this. Assessment. Harmless. Hello. Alright, time to go back in the water before it freeze to death. Aha! There's our first sea truck piece. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Excellent. Well, first we also need to find the, uh, fucking... Oh, what's the term for it, Seth? You know this one. You've played these games before. You know it. You know it. Uh... Oh. You can actually hear it this time. That sounds like a distress call. It doesn't? <laughs> yeah, I guess it does. I guess it is an SOS. I mean, that wouldn't be my first thought, but I guess, I guess, uh, Sam is more experienced in this sort of thing than I am. Robin, pardon me. Saren, thank you for the, uh, 24 month resub, full two years. Two years of quality entertainment, thank you. Well, you're welcome. Even though I don't agree on the quality part, I am still happy you stuck around. 30 seconds of oxygen. Let's get some oxygen first before we go up there, or down there, rather. Uh, oxygen plants anywhere nearby? Nope, okay, up we go. So far, Robin's fine. Like, I don't mind. I really don't mind the new voice acting at all. The new, especially now the new voice actor is much better. Now the game's fully released, they actually did a whole lot to make the story better. So far. New blueprint synthesized. So far, I quite like it. Uh, what was I looking for? I've completely forgotten what I'm looking for again. We're looking for silver, and there was also a habitat station that I could uh, scan things in. I just didn't do it at the time because uh, I was running out of oxygen, but I think it's this way back the other way or was it this way I don't think it was this way yeah it was back this it was back toward the oh sea monkeys first of all I'm gonna scan you and then immediately put my scanner away because I know how you operate ah uh, shit I don't whoa hello hi hello hello jet shark how you doing a brute shark, pardon me. You look like a jet. Ow! So I'm gonna call you a jet shark. Just gonna scan you real quick and be on my way. Should probably also... Oh, I've, I left the uh, the med kit behind. That's unfortunate. 
see truck log and disciplinary Brad, meeting. Brad, great to see you. Come on in. You don't mind if I record this, do you? Uh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no, you know me. Just a fanatic for details. And my memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> I know what that's like. Huh? Yes. Is that why you've been running so many personal errands for your colleagues? We asked you to limit them. Uh, so I am in trouble. That's not how I want you to look at it. Here's what I see. You're a team player. You want to get the job done. Well, I think I have a pretty good record there. You want people to like you. Has anyone complained? Fred, the trouble is, not everyone is as reliable as you are. Sometimes people need help being where they need to be and concentrating on their work. All the trips were work-related. It appears you transported tech for Lil, rather far out from her base. Well, it needed to go deep, and she needed a sea truck. Her work is currently on surface installations. She shouldn't be anywhere near the water. I, uh, well, I... No more favors to friends, agreed? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, I keep telling you. Call me Manu. Well, that was an odd audio glitch. And, uh, yeah, Manuel is every bit the sleazebag I envisioned him sounding like. In fact, every more. <laughs> or, in fact, even more. Picked up what sounds like a distress call. Who or what is out here calling for help? Didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. In her message, Sam's colleague did say there was something important here. Even if it's just a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it out. And we shall in just a moment, as soon as I heal my ouchies and uh, get me some water. The la laughter was so uncomfortable, it was inaudible. A laugh so fake that it ceased to exist from the game's audio files. Gotta say, that's impressive. What am I doing? <laughs> I completely forgot. Okay, uh, I need more titanium. Well, I got the titanium. I need. I just need silver ore now. Which again, is kind of the big. Is kind of the uh, the hang up. So I think I need to go to the. Jesus, how bad is it on the surface right now? It's bad. And this is an actual lightning hail storm. Jesus would not want to live here. I mean, I wouldn't, and I'm pretty sure Jesus wouldn't either. Oh, hello. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Good. Oh, oh, da, 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 da. Don't you, don't you do it. Don't you do it, little guy. I know what you're thinking, but don't. It's rude. It's my property, and it isn't for you. 45, 46B cons. Extreme weather that might kill you. Pros, Putin too. Add to that con, add to those cons, massive underwater screaming nightmare creatures that also want to eat you. But uh, hey, at least you get a nice view. Uh, what do we got down here? Anything? Laser cutter fragment. That's useful. Uh, and shuriken fish or spinner fish. I'm calling you shuriken fish. I'm gonna throw you into the face of my enemies. Up. Oh. oh, fuck off. Oh. Damn ugly thing followed me into the shallows. Didn't think something that big would follow me up here. Had a jettison the sea truck. Again. Uh, I guess I could try to go back for the parts when it leaves. If it leaves. I really don't want to sit in another meeting with Emmanuel. Manu, as he likes to be called. Uh, I just want to drive around and deliver cargo in peace. God damn, Jeff is a mood. <laughs> Poor Jeff. Uh, Fred, I'm sorry, Fred. Jeff is not a mood. Jeff's a fuckhead. Fred is much more of a mood. Uh, down... Going down the hole. Oh, is this it? Argonite outcrop. This might be what I'm looking for. Silver and titanium, and it's gonna drop titanium. Nope, never mind. <laughs> Although that would have made for a good... That would have made for a really well-timed joke, so at the same time, I'm kind of disappointed, but also not really. Uh, need more. So I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. I'm gonna try to not get lost down here. And these, I know I'm gonna need these for later. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these while I'm down here. Because these are excellent fuel sources for bioreactors. And I believe we can also glow, the, uh, glow these, grow these on outcroppings. Or crop plots. That's the word I meant to use. Okay, before I drown, I'm gonna leave now. 
besides we got what i was looking for so i'm gonna go make myself a higher capacity oxygen tank before i go any further and there we go off off offcellent what i said excellent and oxygen i tried to say excellent and oxy oxygen at the same time and somehow my brain came up with offcellent uh, okay uh before we head out let's find some more of those pinky boys to make ourselves some water there we go and you i'm gonna scan you first wait no arctic peeper come back i must know your ways before i consume your flesh all terror beacon signature detected unique identifier delta station dock delta station this is the place lil mentioned in her message we'll head that way later oh yeah i'm aware the uh, the air bladder is more useful uh this time around i'm just gonna make a bunch of uh water first then we'll make an air bladder if you are tired of hearing the word oxygen, the air bladder provides a significant upward thrust to help you get to air faster. Okay. <laughs> that was, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. All right. You get a, you, you, you got me with that one, Subnautica. Well done. All right. This is the island yeah that's the island and that means that there's gonna be big things between here and there so i should actually wait until i make the sea truck yeah actually there, there could be sea truck parts around there ah fuck it let's go this is a good idea ah yep there they are that's not a leviathan that is basically this game's version of not not like it's wouldn't say it's the version of the stalker but it's definitely not a leviathan it's just big and angry. So we're gonna go ahead and duck that. Ooh, this might not have been the best idea I have ever had, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. <clears throat> and hey, free beacon, I'll take it. Thank you. Hey, this PDA can actually be picked up now. Fred, I'm not blaming you, but what do you mean it's gone? Where did it go? You found some trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules? Yeah. I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it. It was just gone. And you think someone stole it? Or something. I didn't lose it, that's for sure. I'm careful with my tools. I'm sure you are, but you have to admit, there have been a lot of sea truck accidents, and they're rather expensive. You want to follow me on a few runs tomorrow? See what it's like? Conditions are way harsher than anything I ever imagined. I don't know if you could really understand it from inside your base. That won't be necessary. Thanks for your time. I'll write it up as an accident. Good on you, Fred. Good on you. This is a recorded message. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know it's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. Now that voice should sound familiar to a lot of you. I say this because I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait to air my grievances and not the story, not the story. Stories that like, I'm fine with what happens in the story, but I have grievances with something else non-story related. In fact, it's more YouTube comments related. I'll get to that in a minute after I've warmed up and not dying. Shrub nut. <laughs> I don't like that it's called a shrub nut and I pick it out from underneath it between what looks like legs. I'm pretty sure they did that on purpose. God damn, this game really is fucking beautiful. Like, holy hell. So good looking. Another mineral tool fragment, which we don't need. Manual gave me this jailbroke, uh, this jailbroken scanner tool thing and said, I need more shower heads. This should lead you to the necessary materials. What? He also told me to keep it on the down low. I guess this is what a master certifi uh, certificate in applied geology gets you these days. A job as a job as a glorified construction worker. Uh, I should have studied interstellar, interstellar law like Dad said. I have to hand it to a manual though. I don't know what he did to the scanner, but it does a great job at zeroing in on specific minerals. It's better than hoping I stumbled across the right outcroppings or spending a shit ton of uh, resources to build a scanner room, power it, and then <laughs> and then search through the entire room. All right. Out we go, and I think this is the thing. Yep. Stop right there. 
right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. Say hello to Meta, everyone. We actually finally get to see them in the person. Woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. I think I can get the rooms from here. Scanner room, good. <clears throat> but yeah, okay. Small, small, small uh, rant here while we're waiting. Now, the fact that Marguerite Meta is here, perfectly fine. I like her as a character, she's cool. However, while I was uploading the original series to YouTube, you know what the one thing everyone spoiled me on and kept trying and just kept shouting at me in the comments, aside from go to the void? Margaret Meta's alive and below zero. Oh my God, Meta's alive. Did you not know this? Hey, Meta's not dead. She's alive and below zero. She kills the thing and escapes to the surface. Why do people just chomp at the bit to spoil something? Like, some people are so... Much obliged, partner. Fucking desperate to show they know more about a thing than you, that they will deliberately ruin your experience just to spoo just to do that. Thankfully, by this point, I was already aware that Meta was alive because I had already come across her in the stream. However, just the fact that people were spoiling that moment in the comments, not just for me, but for anybody who happened to be perusing through the comments, that shit fucking sucks. So please. The reason why people hate spoilers is because they know- is because- And the reason why I basically outlaw them from my fucking channel is not because- Not just because it ruins my experience, but because it could- Because it could potentially ruin the experience of other people watching or just reading the comments. So please, for the love of God, keep it in your pants. Thank you. This has been a PSA from the Sothoran Foundation. Moving on. For the last time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies. And if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle? You three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. Was that an Among Us joke? A map will come in handy. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam worked. Communications tower maintenance lock. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. <laughs> As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, oh and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. Good job. Good luck with the birds. Open shaving kit. Pick up Fred's shaving kit. What? Okay. All right, we got Fred's shaving kit, everybody. I know we all wanted that. 
We could apparently apply it to a... Uh, why would we... Oh, we could just set it down. Oh, oh, it's decoration. Okay, I thought it actually served a purpose. No, it's just decoration. Okay, fair. Subnautica Below Zero, sponsored by Manscaped. Sponsored by Dollar Shave Club. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city. Only sea monsters aren't pretend and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell Dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache kit, by the way. To be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low-maintenance guy to begin with. But you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite! <laughs> Uh, well, there's Emmanuel Dick Dastardly Richard right there. Good. Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling Project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Oh, I hate this guy. Congratulations are also in order for Daniel Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work, and I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. I hate this guy's face. I hate his voice. Really got under management skin. I didn't know she had it in her. I just do not like this man, and I hope he is dead. <laughs> I hope he is dead. He really nails that tone of voice that makes you want to deck. Oh yeah, full fucking credit to the voice actor. They pulled off the fucking like sleazy manager that you wish you could punch in the face, but like the character themselves, I hate. The voice actor is doing. A fucking stellar job. David, you'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in the project. You know there's nothing. I'm sorry I got hypnotized. What was he talking about? Okay, moving on. <clears throat> Two active human life forms detected. Unauthorized habitat construction and vehicular activity detected. Recommendation, observe and prepare for possible intervention. Don't think there's going to be a whole lot of intervening. New employee... <clears throat> New employee training. It is recommended that all training be completed while tower is in test mode. Test mode is a, is a fully functional simulated version of live mode. While in test mode, all communication from the tower, including distress calls, security alerts, and spy transmissions will be disabled. To initiate test mode, insert the test override module into the diagnostic port as depicted in the diagram to the left. The activate test mode command may be entered via the, ter via the terminal once the test override module has been inserted. Please don't freeze to death while you're reading this training mon while you're reading this training manual, as that is against company policy. Tower maintenance log. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. 
I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status in progress. I kind of like Jeremiah in just the, this guy is nuts, but I kind of want to see where he's going with this way. <laughs> I kind of like him to be honest. The spite he has for those birds in his voice. It's so good. So good. The voice acting all across the board so far has been really good. Battery, water, and food. Excellent. All right, we got a pretty decent haul here. I think that might be everything on the island. <clears throat> or at least a decent bit of it. Problem is, I'm out of inventory space anyway, so I, if there is something else here, I probably won't be able to pick it up. I'll make one more sweep around this edge just to be sure I've gotten everything I need, but I think at this point, I should probably start heading back. Penglings. Pengu penguins, pardon me. All right, I think we're about done here. One more check in here to make sure. This alien technology oh. exhibits a data signature that strongly correlates with the previously recorded distress call. Interesting. How could I can use this new data to identify where that call was coming from? Huh. Didn't expect to find that. Uploaded to PDA. Oh. Oh, inventory full, but that's easily solved by gulping down some water. Absolutely going to need this. I think that might be new. Neat. All right, so that's the pilot's last known location. Hello. <laughs> uh, that's Meta's last known location, so we went ahead to the alien distress call first. Don't bounce the ultra compact nuclear battery, Robin, please. <laughs> Robin, the hyper compressed nuclear power device is not a toy. Please stop using it for kickball. Back this way we go. Probably not a good idea to be going this way. But fuck it. When have I ever been a bastion of good ideas, chat? Never is the answer to that. I ain't gonna need that silver. Give me it. Well, we did find a sea truck fragment. Still no sign of the uh, other parts. Yeah, don't need that now. Still no sign of the other parts for the mobile vehicle bay. We'll find that soon, I'm sure. Oh, is this where? Yes, the grow bed. Good. Yes. Excellent. Need this. I'm going to come back here later because there's stuff I want to pick up. Drop a beacon here. Oh, that is really handy. When you're naming your beacon, it actually pauses the game. That is really handy. Wait, I think I may have done this wrong. Which direction am I going? Not this way. Whee! <laughs> Didn't mean to go up that far. That works. I think we're fall I think we're on the right path though. Yep, I can still hear it. Here we go. Hello? Oh. Very kind of you. Hello? Is someone there? Much obliged, Mark. We're running out of time. What is all this? Seeking information seeks to where she needs him. I can help you better if you show yourself. If we could show ourselves, we would not need storage. You mean you don't have a physical presence? Are you one of them? An architect? Storage medium identified. We will be lost unless we find a new host. Can you help? Can you use my PDA for storage? You were not with the group from before. Your cybernetic components may have their signal. Altera? No, my equipment is, uh, borrowed. You will have to do. You know, I would say, the funny thing is, we already know that uh, Robin has dealt with the uh, aliens before and the architects are more well known now. So I think this reaction to their presence is more believable than I was at first thinking. How long have you been stored here? Longer than that. Warning, sanctuary power critical. 
Our data can be downloaded from the terminal. We may speak more once the transfer is completed. Yes, okay. Hurrying. And here we go. Storage medium accepted. Brace for Chasto. Brace? Complete. How do you feel? Why do you sound like you're inside my head? The facility identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. You are in my head? I offered you my PDA. Get out! Oh, no. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? My mind is not a component. You sound angry. We will allow you a moment to process. Don't you go silent on me. Hello? This is not happening. That's the explanation. It's not happening. Well, we now have an alien in our head. Good. Also, a uh, little known fact, in the original script, um, well, the original script before this one, the data transfer to your cerebral cortex was a mistake, like an accident. Even the alien in the uh, the box didn't know what happened. In this one, they changed it uh, because to the architects, um, cybernetic and physical components are one and the same because they, you know, they're mostly cybernetic. They transfer themselves through like data processors. But we'll, we'll, we'll get into that later. Point is, much obliged, partner. The different reasoning behind uh, the alien in the cube going into your brain being that they didn't know that humans considered uh, organic and cybernetic components separate is a bit more clever. I like it. It's going, it's like a culture shock thing to both Robin and the alien as simul simultaneously. And I find that neat. Techno organic being, yeah, techno organic semi hive mind collective, something like that. Warning, passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Don't worry, I'm not staying down here long. I'm going to be going back to the safe shallows and finding the rest of the, uh, the fucking thing. You know the one. The thing that makes me th make the things that go foosh. Rebreather. Oh, that's important. That's very important. And now, let me find a good, uh, a good spot for this. Okay. Oi! <laughs> okay. Okay, that's done. <laughs> I apologize, that was a dumb joke, but I had to do it. <laughs> the air bladder is a lot of fun in this game, I really like it. It's just fun to launch yourself over the surface of the water. <laughs> And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we have hit our time limit. What was that woman's problem? The one in the exosuit? Like, I need to say which woman. And what the hell is she doing on this planet? It isn't exactly a happening vacation spot. She knew their terrain well enough to make a dramatic entrance by jumping off a sheer cliff. So I guess she's been here a while. But how long has she been following me? She said to keep away from her, or off her land. What in this frozen slush bog could she be protecting? Unless she's camped out somewhere. She's definitely heard of Altera, though. All right. Questions for next time. Didn't mean to leave the uh, habitat because, speaking of habitat, I think it's time we make a few of our own. Adding emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. With the Builder tool, you can construct sea bases from raw materials, advising against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module. No fun. <coughs> Thank you. 
Why did you construct it with only 2% power? Oh, because it used the almost dead battery to make it. Okay. By the way, compare the charge of the battery to a single ion cube. So what we're probably going to do is we're just going to make a very small base. Uh, just mainly just to get us started. And then once we have a good footing, we'll do the whole thing of transferring our, uh, our supplies to a new, more permanent base. Oh, hello. We understand this arrangement is undesirable to you. You're not real. Go away. To go, we require a suitable body for transfer. Why do you keep saying we? How many of you are there? One of us and all of us. We do not think of ourselves as individual, distinct. Why don't you start by telling me who you are? You may append your seed code to my species designation. Please call me Al Am. My whole life I've been dying to meet a sapient spacefaring alien up close, and you're telling me your name is Alan? Is it insufficient? No, it's fine. It's perfect. Where are you from, Alan? Your kind calls us architects. The precursor race? But what are you doing here? That is a long story. Perhaps you would prefer to focus on the construction of a new storage medium to which I may transfer. Yes. Fine, absolutely. How do we get you out of my head? I have added the information to your data bank. You will need to find the necessary components. Any idea where I can find them? It is unclear. I have been disconnected from my network for so long, I cannot locate the coordinates. <sighs> <laughs> I like that that's the subtitle. And by the way, I actually like Al's voice. It's a good voice. Storage medium. While we have evolved beyond physical attachment, it is traditional to navigate space-time in conjunction with mobile biomechanical storage media, altered and evolved over time to serve the inhabitants' needs. While it is possible to transfer between media at will, there is some comfort and prestige in improving a body over time. We have settled on a popular format for these media, though there are exceptions. It is a heavily modified version of our pre-civilized bodies. It provides good mobility, easy adaption, and is easy to fix. In case of disaster, we can back up our data patterns to a sanctuary site for later retrieval. Storage in this fashion is safe, provided consistent power supply. However, unique perspectives and traits which arose from the interplay with the original medium are lost. It is like a factory reset. It is recommended individuals be restored to a compatible medium as soon as possible. Such hollow vessels may be fast grown from seed using specialized blueprints and materials. While it is technically possible for an individual to copy their data in order to duplicate themselves ad infinitum, such behavior is considered beyond rude, and any self-respecting architect would resolve such a circumstance by immediately deleting themselves. <laughs> I love that wording. It's beyond rude. <laughs> Also, is that voice actor Cor uh, Corey Burton I hear? I can't remember his name. I don't know. There were quite a few um, interesting voice actors from the last game. Like, need we forget, the voice actress for the Sea Emperor was the voice actress for the fucking assassin. Yes, the XCOM assassin. And I, I'm still not sure how to process that information. But, I mean, she did a good job, regardless. Eh, I don't know why I need to make this perfectly symmetrical, but I do. Uh, that should be, that should be good enough. Unfortunately, it is nighttime, so there will not be any solar power to power that thing immediately, but once it becomes daytime, we'll have something to put in there. Or rather, we'll have oxygen in there. It's off by an inch. Don't do that to me. Uh, I've not been playing, uh, below zero for very long. Uh, I did play it a good bit, a decent bit, when it was still in early access, but that was a while ago, and it's gone through a couple of updates since then. Uh, I believe I was playing on the most recent story version, but it wasn't yet finished. And I played that for a couple of streams. Didn't get very, didn't get super far though. This game could use a snap grid. Yeah, it really could. <laughs> and also, I don't really need these flares. I'm just gonna drop them outside. I'll at least keep a couple. I don't need this many, and I can make more if need be. <laughs> and da 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 Okay. Uh, we'll sort through our inventory later. This is just to get it all transferred and get us a bit more inventory space in general. How close is Altera to sci-fi umbrella? Oh, we had a... 
we uh, if you were not at the last stream we had a whole like what 30 minute bit of everything ever in the world being umbrella's fault let's not get started on that again because we will never get off that joke okay we just need one more titanium Whilst I'm searching for that, I need to consume the flesh of the fish. There we go. If you spoil the story, you are a massive bitch. This is true, and we will all collectively judge you. And it's the worst kind of judging. You know the type where people are obviously thinking less of you, but they're not saying it. So you got that stressful, agonizing anxiety from them looking at you weird. We'll be doing that to you. So, fair warning. It'll be like high school all over again. Oh, fucking God, don't remind me of high school. I, that is like life's trial by fire, and it, it, it sucks. And there we go. And we'll leave those to grow as we explore. Uh, we definitely need more titanium. Oh, hey, OEM, thank you. Welcome and uh, welcome, uh, everyone, to the stream. Everybody who came with OEM's uh, darkness raid. Hope you enjoyed the game, sir. Apologies that I had to duck out, but good to see you. Need to find the mobile vehicle bay pieces, which, okay, we've already been here. Uh, let's see. They're typically around this area, I think. We found more than a few pieces here. Ah, yes, down here. We were gonna continue exploring down here, but I was running out of, uh, why would I, why was I gonna say ammo? Oh, well, there we go. May as well keep looking down here, though. There's probably more to find, provided I don't, you know, get lost and die. Speaking of dying... Oh, hello! You were right there! Rude. Very rude. Warning. Passing 100 oh, right, meters. the rebreather. Oxygen efficiency decreased. That's a thing we need. I'll just go a bit deeper. Oh, hello. What you found is more than just an artifact. It will help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. I'm glad it could help. I know you would still prefer me to have a corporeal form of my own. Well, yes. If you continue searching, I may regain some of my connection to the network, piece by piece. Okay, right. So, uh, the escape pods in this game, uh, the purpose they serve basically being, uh, markers around the world to let you know, hey, there's stuff here. Go, uh, go, ch go check, go check around this area. You might find fragments for technology. Um, the alien artifacts you could find serve a similar purpose. Because, uh, in this area, we found the mobile vehicle bay, which we need to make the sea truck, which we can actually go do now. Uh, before I do that, though, I should probably get materials to make the, to make, to make the rebreather, of which I need silver. Alan's growing on me already. Alan's good. I like Alan. Yeah, overall, the voice acting in this game got a whole lot better. Like, way better. I approve all across the board. Is that, uh, oh, I think that's a uh, chance for silver. Damn it. Silver. Okay, that's one. I need one more. Would Al and Alan get along? I would say so. Okay. Hate. Hate these things. But yeah, I would say so. Uh, silver. That's copper. Silver. Damn it. Okay, I can refill. Oh wow, that's not a lot, is it? That is not a lot. <laughs> All right, let's ha let's actually go grab some oxygen. Yeah, this is mainly used as a means of getting out of a bad situation. <laughs> well, we found the silver we need, so let's head back, make ourselves a rebreather, and then start getting stuff to make the sea truck. This whole plan is just an alien high school. I swear to God, this sea emperor, the sea emperor was the fucking principal. The Reaper is just the schoolyard bully. Oh, hello. How do your people communicate if you are not networked? What do you mean? We just talk to each other. Do you not find that primitive? We exist as data. We are all aware of each other's thoughts and needs. Scientific endeavors are accomplished much more smoothly this way. There's more to life than research, Alan. I can't lie. Work would go faster if I could read my colleagues' minds, but... Thoughts are private, and people have their own inner lives. People change and need space to think. Space helps you think. I find that being separated from my network is very quiet. What, what do you mean by quiet? Imagine a thousand strings, each playing its own range of notes. 
none louder than the others. Each one builds harmony, a continuous thrum in the background of existence. I am now a lone string in search of familiar harmonies. I'll help you find them. Survival rate would be greatly enhanced with the construction of an underwater vehicle. My god, PDA, I'm working on it, okay? And Jesus, you really do know how to bring the mood crashing down to a halt, don't ya? <laughs> Ah, this little old chestnut. How an individual mind and a hive mind see the world. I always like these little philosophy outings. Yeah, it's interesting. It's not necessarily saying one is better than the other. It's it's that they're both different and they see the world differently. The hive mind sees the collective as being just a natural state. Like, they find comfort in being part of that collective. The idea of being alone is uncomfortable to them. But to an individual mind, alone time is when you're is when you're given time to decompress, when you're given time to think and feel for yourself. So it's just it's interesting when you have those two worlds collide like that. I, <laughs> Alan, I am but a lone string looking for others. PDA. Okay, you know what's better than strings though? Trucks. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Vile. I like that neither Alan nor Robin are talking each other's viewpoints down. It's more like they're just confused by each other's reasoning, but they're both trying to understand each other. The rebreather facilitates extensive free diving by recycling air more efficiently at significant depths. Breathe the freedom. <laughs> I like how they said that so hesitantly, like they were like they were just forced to say that by committee, like <sighs> Breathe the freedom. Like it's a fucking catchphrase that they have to say, contractually obligated to. What kind of accent is that AI have? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. Is that, uh, someone probably knows more than me. So I'll let them answer and not make myself look like an idiot. We needed a computer chip, which we need more table coral and we need more copper. Actually, I think we have the copper. It's mainly the table coral that we need. And thankfully I know where to get the table coral. It's a little bit of a trek away, but it's not that bad. Although, admittedly, if you don't know where to get it, since it's so close to the uh, your starting point in the base game, it's a little bit of a a little bit of an annoyance because now the table coral is all the way over here. Also, unfortunate that the table coral doesn't like break into several pieces that you can pick up anymore. I'm getting a lot of titanium, not a lot of copper. I mean, I need more titanium, but there we go. Okay, if we didn't have enough copper before, we do now. And that should be everything we need. I'm just getting the essentials. We'll come back here to look for everything else we need later. Just need to get this uh, vehicle bay made. Our Scorpion Eden to start to start watching again. Well, I hope they're enjoying the stream. Although I'm not entirely sure how if you can tell how you can tell if a Scorpion is or is not enjoying something. Let's go ahead and set this bad boy up. Um, somewhere where there's a bit of space. Right here should do. Uh, need titanium ingots, so we're gonna need more titanium. We have that, thankfully. Gonna need even more silver. Uh, two glass, three lead, and a power cell. I think we just need the silver. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, right, we need to make another, uh, computer chip, because a advanced wiring kit is a wiring kit and a computer chip. Which we have... Uh, we at least have the copper to make that, so let's at least make the copper wire. We need a, we're gonna need a lot of copper. Let's go ahead and make an extra battery. We got a dead we got a dud battery in here we can use. And I think we have at least one piece of silicone left. Uh somewhere. Uh probably still on board the thingamabob. The life pod, that's the word. Alright, let's go ahead and make what we can make right now. Uh make an extra battery to make that uh, power cell. Uh, what else did we need? We needed an advanced wiring kit, so we need to find one more piece of silver and we need the two table coral. Out we go. Back to the twisty bridges. Alan's the name of the alien, right? It's it's pr it's it's technically pronounced al Ann, but yeah, uh, everyone just calls him Alan. Oh, come on, give me some damn silver. I literally just need one. Thank you. Away I go. The oh. location of some important technology. I implore you to investigate. Will this help us build you a body? I do not know what we will find. I just know it is important. I will get right on that as soon as I make my truck. Seth, give us your trucker voice. 
As soon as I make the truck itself. Oh, damn it, the glass, right. Nah. Pardon me, I'll just be driving a hunk of steel with no visible means of seeing out. Oh, good. Perfect weather to build my- Perfect weather to build my truck in. I build the truck and it's just gonna go flying off in the distance. Somewhere in that mist is a truck being built. Alrighty, now can I make any modules? Uh, not yet. Look at my truck, boys! We're off the city! If I had any, like, royalty-free banjo music, I'd be playing that right now. Well, Unfortunately, I do not have any on standby. I'll have to get some. <laughs> I looked up banjo music on YouTube. The first comment was, I watched this while drunk last night. Guess who's getting a banjo in two days? <laughs> From Amazon. <sighs> Never banjo while- never YouTube while drunk, kids. You'll find yourself committing some really odd life decisions. The mineral detector can sniff out raw materials, potentially saving you hundreds of hours of searching. We got that. Go ahead and put that back in there. I may want to at least make one spare battery. Let's go check out that architect artifact. And away we go, boys! Yeah! Again, insert overly generic banjo music here. Not much of a truck when I don't have a load to carry, do I? Or rather, is it? Uh, I think some of the fish got frozen. Oh yeah, some of the, so, I think those are penguins. Frost anemone, carefully harvest for high nutritional value. I will, thank you. And by carefully harvest, I mean I will just rapidly click on it until my hand decides to pick it up. Sorry, just had to make a quick, just had to make a quick pit stop. On our way again. And never mind. <laughs> Got more stuff to pick up. Ah, jeez. These sea monkeys are gonna get me in trouble. This is the third shipment that those buggers have gotten their weird little hands into. Now we're running low on flares and I'm gonna have to search nearby nests for stolen cargo. They're lucky they're kind of cute. Raccoons of the sea, those ones. I, I, I like Fred. Fred, it, Fred really is just the fucking simple trucker who's just trying to do his damn job and everything keeps getting in his way. Poor guy. Okay. Time to find that there architect and then I guess we'll go find out where Mato went. Well, uh, hate to break it to you boys, but I don't think I'm gonna be fitting her down there. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be fitting that fat thing down here, so let's just go ahead and take a swim. I'm sure that noise wasn't anything to worry about. It is both reassuring and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger, however slightly. I hope you will continue to search for more of these. I don't think that one gave us any, uh... Oh. Hello. You got something. Aw, thank you. I love these little guys. They're adorable. Even if they're little stinkers sometimes, they're very cute. Okay, time to... Oh, hang on. Is that something I have not found yet? Did I get the laser cutter? I don't think I did. Well, now I do. Excellent. Uh, oh. Okay. Thank you. Well, I did need more copper, so very helpful. Thank you very much. Ah, you know what? Success, bitch. Sorry, didn't mean to get you too hit. That was my bad. Hmm. Where was the exit? I'll find it. Don't worry. I've got, I've got oxygen, so I'm not going to drown down here. I just... I need to find the exit. Um. Oh. Oh. Damn. Thank you. That was one of the big ones I needed. Well, these little guys are being extremely helpful. Gave me several pieces of copper and one piece of silver. All of which I needed. Uh, I'll find my way out. Don't worry. I promise. Just ignore the fact that I'm 100 meters away from my sea truck. It's not a big deal. Handy how these give off a glow. God damn it. Go away, pufferfish. I don't want none. 
Seth is lost again. I'm dead. You, you don't know that. You don't know that. Clearly, I'm just getting some minerals that I needed. I'm not lost. I know exactly. See? See? I I found my way out. Just ignore the fact that... Oh, no, no. There, there, there's the truck. See? <laughs> I knew where I was going. And y'all were worried. <laughs> oh. The sea monkeys have changed their tune. If only I could let them know what I need. Maybe they could bring me something useful next time. I mean, copper and silver are both very useful, Robin. I don't know what you're talking about. I needed both of those. Uh, what else do I really need to make? Well, I definitely need the laser cutter, but I need diamond. And I don't know where I get diamond from. Oh, no. No, I do. I, I definitely do. Yep, I definitely know where I get diamond. I'm just going to head toward Maida's last uh, last position after I get uh, some extra food. Actually, this stuff didn't rot, did it? It's starting to. Ow! Fucking little shit. Well, at least let me scan you. Stop trying to eat my fucking thing. Get back here. And hey, may as well scan one of these things. Titan whole fish. Ow! I get it, biters. I get it. I'll leave. Just... Uh, I'm not sure if that if that noise I heard was what I thought it was or if it was something different. I don't want to find out right now. So I'm going to head back to base. Sorry. I just hit everything. It's just, my, it's just who I am. It's my curse. No fish is safe. Case in point. Case. I'm a, I, I am a horrible, horrible human being. I, dr I just drive, fish, throw themselves on my windshield, and I don't even feel remorse anymore. And yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and find out where Maida went. Oh, this does not seem smart, but... I at least have a truck now. Maybe I should make the repair tool before I do that. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Why does why do both of the protagonists think it's a good idea to put their hands on the electrical device or the part of the electrical device where the electricity comes out of? Uh, let's head to the pilot's last known location. I'm sure this is a smart idea. There's the uh, the Rory boys. It's okay. Just don't bother them and I won't bother just don't bother me and I won't bother you. See, I'm worried that I might find the big red boy out here somewhere. Just hit a rock. It's fine. Okay. Whoop. Oh, hey, the rock lobsters. Just don't punch me, please. Rock puncher. Pardon me. Don't punch me, please. Hey, 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 hey. All right, I get it. I get it. I'll give you your space. Yeah, those, those guys are cool. I do need more silver, so I may as well pick some of this up. If it decides to give me silver. Which it gave me one of. I'll take it. Alright. Uh, this way. Farewell, Rocky the Lobster. Another one of those things. I don't know what you're called, and I kind of want to scan you. I just call- I just kind of call them crab sh I just what did I call you again? Croc sharks? Yeah, I just called them croc sharks before. Alright, I'm gonna scan you real quick. I know you're gonna get mad at me. Yep. Ow. Oh, that's good. At least you blew up on that guy. They hurt. They hurt a little bit. Looks like a... F okay. Jesus. Also, yeah. Don't ask me what this stuff is. I'm not sure. It looks like sci they look like psionic geysers. I know they're vents of some kind, but I uh, of what I couldn't tell you. Detecting stern of an astronautical Soltrans go vessel nearby. Vessel name Mercury two. Inoperative. Good to know. Thank you. Ooh, yeah, here it is. Do I still have a beacon on me? Because I may want to mark this and come back to it later. Slap you out right there. Okay. 
marked and ready to return later. See, with these vents erupting, I'm not sure what's just the noises of the vents erupting and what's something I should probably be scared of. Warning. Maximum Ooh. depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay, pull up a little bit. We should be fine now. Hello, squid sharks. Yep. Don't mind me. Uh-huh. 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 I know. Right? Maybe I should have made a... Uh, maybe I should have made that a... Uh, what's it called? Depth module first. I'm gonna bring this up to the surface. Yeesh! Yeah, these guys are fuckers. They're very aggressive. All right. I just need to deposit this thing somewhere. Sorry, fish. Okay. Now these guys are peaceful. Jesus, stop making noises. I'm not sure what I should be immediately afraid of. Oh, I don't like this area. I do not like it. All right, I'm just gonna leave the truck here. Yeah, I can interact with the glow whales. I don't want to right now. I'm just gonna leave the truck there and I'm gonna head down to the fucking... Okay. I'm gonna head down to the location. Okay. Oh, hello. Thank you. Uh, blooming raindrops. Cool. I need oxygen. Is there are oxygen plants down here? I could do with that. Ooh, gel. They have the gel sacks. Need those. Exosuit thermal reactor module. Wow. Okay. But I need oxygen. Oxygen. There it is. Okay. Ultra capacity tank. That's really good. Oh, hey. Oh. Thank you. Okay, less immediate danger. I feel a little bit safer right now. A little bit. Not by much, but a bit. And there's plenty of oxygen plants around here. A lot of ma uh, materials that I haven't gotten yet. Oh, wow. We found this early. I didn't think we were going to get that right away, but yeah, that's good. That is a very good find. Okay. Uh, hydrochloric acid. Neat. Hi hive mind? I'll, I'll, I'll read all the fauna stuff later, as soon as I'm back in the truck. Okay. A little bit more calm from that harrowing experience. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Cool. I'll go, uh, examine that once I'm not drowning. Where'd the plants go? Could really do with some oxygen right now. If not, I will just have to hit the, the emergency escape button. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to hit the emergency escape button. Hey, fuck it, back up we go. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. Oh, we can stand on these. Whew. Okay. I actually wasn't aware. Weather approaching. Seek shelter. Well, that uh, piece was short-lived. And also, probably gonna need to swap out the battery. Oh, my sea mouth. Glide. Meh. What did I miss? Uh, well... We're trying to find Marguerite Meta, or where she went last. And, uh, it's currently taking us quite a bit... Uh, quite a ways down into unfamiliar territory. Where I am currently at the mercy of the world being generous with these oxygen plants. If I don't find more, I might be screwed. Didn't I tell you to oh. stay away? From what? I don't even know who you are. Marguerite Maida's the name. You're on my turf. Great. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. Hey, remember how it took us fucking like 10 streams to find the moon pool? Here it is! Oh well, we found it. And I think we can get the large rooms here as well. Maybe. Large glass dome Large room glass dome fragment. Large room fragment, yep. These are what I wanted to find before I started making my actual base. 
Okay, now we have most of what we need to actually make good places to, uh, to live. Customized prawn suit. I don't think that gives us prawn suit fragments. Okay, let's actually do some reading before we continue. <clears throat> This standard issue Mark III Prawn has been manually altered by its owner, exchanging one of its hot swappable uh, work arms for the mandible of a young chelicerate. Or er, chelicerate. Given the range of available high tech prawn modifications in the non classified Altera fabrication suite, these customizations appear. Uh, pardon me. <clears throat> customizations appear to be more of a stylistic choice than a functional one. However, the sharp claw arm could certainly be used effectively in defensive scenarios by an experienced pilot. The custom suit also appears to have heavy to have seen heavy use over a long period of time, judging by the barnacle overgrowth and permanent damaged sections of the exoskeleton. The owner doesn't want you messing around. <laughs> yeah, think I uh, think I got that loud and clear. Got to say that prawn suit's badass. Yep, yeah it is. Didn't the devs change the location of the moon pool in the beta just because of this issue of not being able to find it easily, I think? Or at the very least, they added a, uh, this was the, uh, or I think they actually added the, um, uh, the pilot's last known location tracker because, uh, nobody could fucking find it. All right. Whee! Hello, friend. I told you to stay off my land. You trained that thing? Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses, and then get off my sea base. If you're not, Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. Note the Reaper Leviathan skeleton in the background. Yes, that is actually a reaper skull over there. Yes, gimme. We got the Toby Fox. Pardon me, the Snow Fox. That far out to sea, swimming back for land wasn't an option. I'd die from exhaustion long before I made it to shore. All I could do was survive long enough to wash up somewhere. I felt a suction, and suddenly there were vast jaws rising out of the water towards me. It'd have taken hours for the Reaper's corpse to float to the surface. Using the knife, I clambered up her flank and got a perch on top. I figured she'd float for a few days at least. Enough for me to catch my breath. But would she sink before or after I died of thirst? I had a knife, a repair tool, and three liters of water. At least I wasn't gonna die of exhaustion. Now, those reapers, they're practically all muscle, but there's some fat in there. I was able to keep warm and drink the water. And I didn't have much, but I had that repair tool, so I had a spark. It took a week to light that first fire. And I know more about the burning properties of reaper fat than I ever cared to. I had to ration fires, but as they burned, I could smoke meat that I carved out of the beast's rib cage. Now, <clears throat> I'm not sure about this, but I, 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 for one, thought that uh, no, unfortunately, I cannot, I cannot steal her exosuit. If I did, I'm pretty sure that would immediately put me on her shit list, and I would be dead. Um, but yeah, I thought that uh, the Leviathan that destroyed the Degasi hideout um, at the end of their storyline in Subnautica One was a sea dragon, because. Uh, Bart, or no, uh, Paul, uh, described it as having, uh, being bigger than a cyclops and having tentacles, I think. Hmm? Oh. New technology acquired. Okay, I did miss that one. Reapers have face tentacles. Those are mandibles, not tentacles. Yeah, m the, like, those aren't tentacles. Those are mandibles that it, like, clamps around things that it's trying to eat. 
maybe he maybe it was maybe it was a typo i'm not sure anyway uh we got what we needed from here i'm gonna leave now i'm going back to my truck i'm going back to my base and i'm making a real base god damn it i don't want to be here anymore have i frozen my ass off yet not yet and what do i think of this game already i really do enjoy the improvements they made over the early access version they made a lot of really good changes the voice acting is a whole lot better writing's better in fact actually like i thought i was um uh, i thought i didn't like some of the writing before what i didn't like was that it was writing that was lacking voice acting when you add good performance oh sea truck afterburner upgrade thank you need more of that when you add good performances to any writing it can become any it can be like it can make good writing or rather it can make bad writing good if you have a good performance but there's a limit to that of course but i mean so far the writing's all been very good oh i need more of that okay before i leave i gotta find some more of these fragments oh i'm gonna fucking die down here Davinoff, thank you for the nine month resub but my girlfriend thought i'd never be able to make a cat out of spaghetti you should have seen her face when i drove when i drove or a car out of spaghetti sorry 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 me wow <laughs> pardon me you should have seen her face when i drove past uh, you you should have seen her face when i drove past uh. Okay, enough. Thank you. There's a lot of upgrades here. I'm only getting like one fragment at a time. God damn it. I need to make that depth module and actually come down here with the fucking truck. Time to go. Get in the truck. Get in the truck. Get in the truck. Get in the truck. Ah, that was fun. Bye. <laughs> Hope you had fun, kids. I'll come back here later once I found some... Or found. Once I've gotten some... uh some much needed upgrades we haven't come across a true leviathan yet um but there are a couple of the slightly bigger than stalker threats roaming around like i forgot what these things are called but i just i just call them croc sharks it's not actually what they're called in fact now that i think about it they're more like mole sharks but uh, or platypus sharks they're platypuses with attitudes. They're plat. They're platitudes. <laughs> I. I'm sorry. That was that was horrible. But I'm sticking by it. I mean, no harm. But I know you mean plenty, which is why I'm leaving. Whew. Well, that was uh, unnerving. But we found a lot of good stuff. We can make a base now, like a like a real base. Pardon me. <laughs> like, like, I didn't even try to get out of the way of that one. That one was dead on. There was, there was no mercy behind that one. Like, no thought. It just happened. We also got that test module. Um, perimeter defense. I should probably go ahead and slap this in there. I got a feeling I'm gonna need this. Okay, we can make some aerogel. Let's go ahead and make one. We need to make that uh, overdrive test module. We also need to make this, which we have the lithium to make that now. We just need the enameled glass, which is uh, different this time. Now we need glass, lead, and diamond. I think I may wanna make that um, test module first. Oh, we can't. The fuck is a parallel processing unit? Well, I guess I'll find out. Maybe I should uh, focus on making that um, depth module first. Which means that we need to head back to the Twisty Bridges. Now, some of you who are privy to my original Below Zero streams may, uh, may know what I'm going to have to go do. Seth hits fish so hard the sea truck's doing it on its own now. Look, man, my truck is haunted, but uh, hey, it gets me from point A to point B. I can't complain too much. So we're heading back down to the, into Twisty Bridges, but we're not just heading down to Twisty Bridges, boys and girls. No, we're heading deeper. We are heading much deeper. It's going to park this thing up a little bit so it doesn't accidentally uh, start getting crushed depth. In fact, we'll put it against a wall. 
Hey, there's some diamond. Excellent. In fact, actually, I should probably be 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 yeah, that's what's down here, the squid sharks. Oh, oh, and you ain't happy. Here, let me just go ahead and scan you real quick. Uh-huh, 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 I uh, know. And I'm gonna run out of oxygen, so goodbye. Gotta love the noises they make. Don't at all sound horrifying. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Oh, fabricator module for the sea truck, good. Excellent. They like a, the, these fucking things make a lot of really sudden noise, and I don't like that at all. I can't tell if they're angry or if they're just making noise to make noise. Ooh, a lot of diamond down here. Good. Yes. 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 Okay. Well, I think we found all the diamond we're going to need for a while. Okay. Um, whilst I'm down here, let's look for... F fragments now. I don't know, guys. You think I got enough diamond? I think I got enough diamond. Or at least I got enough to get me started. First of all, though, oxygen plant. Bear your fruits, please. Thank you. Oh, you would be right... Oh, never mind. <laughs> We need to find the fabricator fragments and the uh, storage fragments that are down here. We're also about to run out of power for our scanner, which is not good. Make up your mind. Are you trying to be, are you just trying to be spooky or are you actually getting angry? Two out of three for the fabricator and I think we're two out of three on the uh, storage module as well. One more of these for the road. All right, quick, gotta get oxygen. Gotta get oxygen. Oxygen. All right, screw this. Oh, here we go. Thank God that refills when you go inside your truck. Oh, missed this. Cheese on a cracker. Saw me. Managed to eject the cargo modules and hide. Sitting here with the lights off, sweating through my shirt. I'm not going to get pooped out of the back end of a sea monster to save Altera some money. Manuel, not going to be happy. Not one bit. Speaking of sea monster. Yes, can y I hear you. I hear you. Uh, trust me, loud and clear. I have not forgotten you're there. I wish I could forget that you were there. I have not. Also, again, Fred being a fucking mood. Being an absolute mood. I love that cheese on a cracker. <laughs> I fucking... God damn it, Fred. I love you. Fucking love him so much. Local trucker too pure for this world. I actually don't know if Fred got eaten. Because, um, the, uh, the log, the audio log we found on the, uh, the Delta station implied, or at least seemed to imply, that, um, Emmanuel was, of course, not happy with him ejecting another module into the Abyss. Um, and they got into a bit of an argument, and he's like, Hey, dude, you, you want to come along on a truck and run sometime? You, you want to see the shit I'm dealing with? And Emmanuel is, of course, just like, uh, no thank you. And, uh, yeah. Uh, trust me, Fred. You are very much seen right now. I, uh, know exactly what you've been dealing with. And if I ever find you, I am buying you a fucking coffee, my guy. Just watch them come out with a DLC for this game where you just play as Fred. I would be all over that, by the way. Like, I'm, like, I like the story of this one. I would just also like to have a DLC where you play as Fred. <laughs> Coffee with Altera is probably 20 bucks. Oh, absolutely. You know the fuckers would charge, like, out the ass for just a cup of coffee off company hours or something like that. Uh, well, you're getting refreshments off of your assigned break time. That's gonna increase the cost by about 50%. You understand, right? Like, God, I can just imagine Manuel saying that kind of shit. Hello, friend! Goodbye! Oh, ho, 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 ho. At least they give up fairly quickly. Galaxy Gamer, thank you for the 100 bits. Subnautica Below Zero, episode Fred. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I'd play it. I would play it. After finishing this, of course. Fragments? 
I need the storage fragment. Where is it? Literally just have one more thing to find down here and I can't fucking find it. There. There it is. Is that the... That's the fabricator. God damn it. I already have that. Owie! Oh, God. What the fucking... What? God damn, that hurt. Okay. Uh... Fuck you, baby? Yeah, maybe just entirely fuck you. Please be storage. Thank you. All right, we're done down here. Away we go! I can't see shit. I'm gonna pray I don't hit anything. Yeah, you can take oxygen from the bladder, but it's really not worth it. You use up the whole thing and it only gives you like 15, it only gives you like 15 oxygen. That's maybe like, what, three seconds? It's not worth it. I struggle to think of a situation where that's necessary. I guess if you are like a second away from death and you are very close to your, and you are very close to an oxygen, sh to an oxygen source, the source, then yeah, maybe. But of, uh, in other, in all other circumstances, I would just want that big upwards escape option. And we're done down there. Time to make some modules to add to our truck and adventure. And also, Making uh, some upgrades for our for our uh, big old boy. Back to the temporary base we go. Now that we have everything we need to actually make a real base. Time to make everything out of diamond. Oh, we wouldn't be getting this fucking thing moving if we did. <laughs> you make a truck out of diamond? Yeah, the, yeah, it'll be fucking hard to... Yeah, it'll be like tough stuff, but god damn, that thing is not moving. <laughs> Diamond's hard, not tough. Eh, whatever. Yeah, he here, here come the mineral experts to fucking correct me. <laughs> Every time I, 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 you say something, I say, say one thing, suddenly there's like, every, suddenly every fucking expert in the world is in chat. I'm not bitter. So, oh boy, we're gonna need plasteel ingots for all this shit. Oh dear. May as well get the storage module first, then the fabricator. So we're gonna need a wiring kit, computer chip, and a bunch of lead. Do we have enough lithium? I think we do have enough lithium, surprisingly. I was gonna make these. Well, I do need at least one plasteel ingot to make the uh, fucking depth module. Okay, so I think we'll we'll make one of the modules and then we'll make the uh, the depth upgrade. We'll do the depth upgrade first. So we need glass, lead, and diamond. Yeah, because I don't think we got. I think lead is now the limiting factor. Which thankfully, oh wait, no, we have enough lithium. Never mind, I am a stupid man. We have enough of everything. Stop hitting my fucking Seamoth. Truck. You know what I mean. I just had a thought. The more modules you add onto your truck, the more this game become, just becomes snake. Oh, hello. Go away. Thankfully, there are also like stalkers and that if you, and that if you hit them once with a knife, they get the message and they go away. Easy prey. Oh god, it bites back. Yeah, basically. It's like just show it that you aren't messing around and it'll get the it'll get the picture. A good old stab to the jugular typically does that. Oh right, lead. Fuck, we need a bunch of lead, don't we? I think I need three for each module. Oh, we need two enameled glass. God damn it. Ugh. Jesus, this is expensive. Can make a bigger air tank. Yeah, but we need the uh the upgrade station. And to do that, we gotta make a base. To do that, we gotta find a good place. And to do that, we gotta upgrade our truck. There's one. We're gonna need six of this, so we're gonna be at this for a while. There it is. God damn it. One more. Just need one more. Thank you. Okay, and we're done. Back to the truck and back to the base. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, forgot the wiring kit. That's okay. I'll just let that make itself go. Grab the wiring kit. And there we go, boys. Our big old boy is ready to go. Ready to hit the road and uh, gather us some good stuff. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. Thank you very much for joining me, everybody. So, when we last left off, we finished putting together the first two modules for our sea truck and our journey is only just beginning. We've also been uh, coming across audio logs from different people. We've discovered that Margaret Meta, the 
mercenary from the audio logs. Uh, the Torgal audio logs in the first game is still alive, somehow. And we actually met her. Uh, we're also off to an unfortunate start because we don't have a battery charger yet, I don't think. But I believe I know where to start looking for that. So, we, uh, first we need to get the test drive over- we need to get the test override module. And we need a parallel processing unit. From my memory, and this is actually from my, when I say from my memory, I mean I look back over the footage from the first stream because I was editing through it, an audio log told us where to go. That big ship that we found crashed near the island. So we're going to be heading there today. Okay, got some extra batteries. I'm going to go ahead and swap these out. We'll use the spent batteries for crafting later on. Uh, should we establish the build of base foundation? We'll do that once we're done exploring the big old ship. Uh, cause I imagine we'll have a loaded down inventory by that point. Now, the thing about that ship is that it was over in the area with the heat vents. And, uh, in addition to the, uh, mole sharks or croc sharks or whatever they're actually called. You know what, actually, we have a bunch of, um, entries in our data pad that we should probably read before we get going. So once I grab one more pink boy... Oh yeah, there, there are squid sharks, but that's not what the, the, that's not what I was talking about. Around the heat vents, there are those loud things that kind of doggy paddle towards you with a malicious intent. What were they called? I know what they're actually called. I always call them uh, fucking croc sharks. I know that's not their actual name, but uh, one moment here. Cryptosuchus is apparently what they're called. The, cryptos the Cryptosuchus is a large shark-like beast easily identifiable by its carapace of thin bony plates. Uh, plates are defensive bony structures that aid in heat absorption among thermal vents. It propels itself with wide webbed flippers that displace massive amounts of water. The Cryptosuchus is a, a bit of a, of a, is a bit of a contradictory creature. Despite its fearsome appearance, it is more roar than bite. While territorial, the, uh, the Cryptosuchus uh, tends to retreat from confrontation after being attacked once. This is likely a form of agnostic posturing. Aggressive fauna tend to avoid fights if the probability of injury is too high. Avoid, but can be handled in a pinch. Okay, so they're, they're basically sea chihuahuas, gotcha. Rock puncher. Attracted to glow larvae, found a large crustacean which feeds on tiny larvae. Excavated from coral and rock with its powerful punching arms. Attracted to glow larvae, hardened chitin claws can thrust forward at close the speed of sound to break rocks and bone alike, known to attack larger creatures which threaten its territory. Perfectly adapted to cave environments, its six legs adhere to walls and can propel at short distances through the water. Heavily armored, vulnerable only to Leviathan-class predators, avoid or redirect with food. And of course we got the Snow Stalker, which looks adorable in that image. Avoid. If entering Snowstalker territory is necessary, sources of bright light and unpredictable noises have shown to deter attacks. Hmm. And then, of course, we've got the Squid Shark, which is just assessment avoid. And then we got the Symbiote, which is basically this game's versions of the Biter. Spinnerfish. The Bladderfish. The Arctic Peeper. I've been looking for the Sea Monkey. There we go. Medium-sized and intelligent herbivore, which shows great interest in other life forms and their possessions. Most research is needed to under more research is needed to understand this life form and its behavior. Two finger-like appendages on each forearm are tipped with suction cup pads for basic object manipulation. Its large turquoise crest is made of rigid bone, uh, or ma made of rigid bone is possibly used as a ram. I think they forgot to put an and in there. It's its large turquoise crest is made of rigid bone and is possibly used as a ram, although this has not been observed. Sea monkeys roam the ocean almost playfully, largely fearless of predators, seen to form small nests where they hoard objects of interest for unknown purposes. Investigate with caution. They are adorable. And then of course we got the titan holefish. Slow, stupid, and delicious. Complex gills line the inside of the hole, drawing cold water in and emitting warm, oxygen-rich water in its place. Attract symbiotes, which make the whole fish their home and fiercely ward off any approaching life forms. Migrates more or less at random, feeding from nutrients deposited by the symbiotes. The Titan whole fish has evolved entirely beyond basic survival mechanisms like speed, intelligence, or hunting. It exists in a semi-permanent state of unreflective calm, swimming forward on impulse, fully thrust fully trusting the complex ecosystem which supports it. Valuable oxygen source, 
if you can read it. I love that stupid, slow, and delicious. In a hive mind, the hive mind are never alone and grow in massive clusters. They are physically connected by a root system which sends out chemical signals in the presence of large predators. The signal activates a chemical reaction within its green porous membrane, resulting in a visible change of color in its bioluminescence. This effect has this action this action has two effects. The uniform change in color grants the hive mind the appearance of one large interconnected organism. This is a form of camouflage called disruptive coloration, which is confusing to predators. Smaller sea creatures confuse the change in color for sunlight and are drawn toward the cluster. Very interesting. Okay. I think that's enough reading for one day. Time to actually disembark. After I, uh, go ahead and drink some water, eat some fish. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and lock on target. I actually do have something prepared for this. Make sure it's not too loud. Yeah! Off we go, boys! The only way to see truck, you have to play over-the-top banjo music all the time. Otherwise, you uh, it is scientifically proven that you are 50% less effective at sea trucking. Now, if only I had the uh, the overdrive module or the um, afterburner module, I could really get us trucking. But this works for now. And the best thing is, this is royalty free, so ha! Got nothing to worry about on the DMCA front. I'm Android 13, look at my trucker hat. Alrighty. And go ahead and put that on pause for now. What else we got here? Well, I'll go ahead and uh, take my beacon back. Imagine if you could drift in this thing. That'd be fucking amazing. All right, so there's probably... We got some more ribbon plants we can pick up. Uh, Don't think... Wow, did I actually get everything here? I might have actually gotten everything here. Yeah, we have a... We, we'll go ahead and grab these just in case we can find some uh, copper later while we're out. We do have a storage module. May as well use it. Oh. Of an important artifact. I will share its coordinates so you can look into it. I thank you. Appreciate it. All right, so I think that's actually everything we needed to get from there. Just a couple of ribbon plants. If we, when we get some copper while we're out uh, exploring the big ship, we can make some replacement batteries. In fact, actually, since I'm here, let's see. Let's actually just get some limestone chunks to get some copper. Okay, there's one. Two. Uh, I think two. I think uh, I already have a replacement battery on me, so I think having two replacements should. Two additional replacements should be good enough. Realign myself. And off we go. Now, what would make this really awkward is if we ran face first into a Leviathan while this is playing. This would make it the most awkward banjo fueled chase scene in history. I, I'm sure I'll be fine. What kind of a trucker would I be if I didn't try to make a tight squeeze with this thing? I think you mean best. It basically would just... <laughs> God damn it. Now imagining just a, a whole chase scene playing out with nothing but banjo music blaring in the background and no other sound, just the music. Like an old Scooby-Doo chase theme and me screaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much a given. Almost there. Another couple hundred meters. Nothing big yet, which is good. Let's keep it that way, maybe. And... We are here. Welcome back to the ship, ladies and gentlemen. Once I go ahead and... Uh, let me just go ahead and park this bad boy. A little low to the ground, so it's not uh, not easily gettable, I guess. I can't th I, I can't think with this music. It is actually draining my IQ as I speak. <laughs> uh, I think I can go ahead and store those beacons. Uh, we'll go ahead and store the mineral detector. Won't be needing that. I'll keep the air bladder on me. I've never been so horrified at a musical track. <laughs> Time to go exploring. Just need to find the entrance, uh, which I think is actually on the front end of the ship. I think. Maybe I should bring the uh, the truck around the front. Metal salvage. Well, I can go ahead and make that into uh, some extra titanium. Wah! Yeah, I can't remember where the entrance of this thing is. Did I bring the laser cutter? Oh, shoot, I didn't. 
Uh, I need, can I make that? I think I can make that. I think I have everything around here to make that. Uh, okay, yes. I just need crystalline sulfur, two diamond, and one titanium. The diamond should be around here. In fact, it should actually be back toward, uh, this way. There's that. Oh, hey, more metal salvage. I can make some extra titanium. Titanium? Titanium, if I need it. Yeah, now I just need the two diamond. I'm sure that was nothing to worry about. In fact, it was so not worth worrying about. I'm gonna grab this extra metal salvage. Let's go ahead and make all this into titanium. That wasn't a retreat. It was called backward swimming, you see. I was just practicing my backstroke. I wasn't retreating from the loud noise. It didn't scare me. I don't know what you're... Still not scaring me. I don't know what you're talking about. How's about we go get some diamond before we continue? Ow. Which should... May... Uh, God damn it. I think we may need to go back to the base and grab the diamond that we fur... Got. Well, while I'm out here, may as well grab this lithium. Because I know I'm going to need it. Where's our banjo? I'm not feeling courageous enough for the banjo. Banjo is for carefree trucking, not... uh not actively hostile environment trucking. Okay, looks like we're gonna go, gonna need to go build our uh, laser cutter first, which means we'll need to go grab our diamonds. So back to the base we go, apologies. I kinda was, I was so excited to begin the trucking journey that I uh, preemptively went out before I really should have. Yeehaws in terror, very cautious yeehawing, ow. Note to self, make sure you make all the immediate tools that you have the ability to make before you go out exploring, because you never know what you're going to need. Well, at least we got some lithium, because I know we're going to need plasteel. If this is anything like the last game, everything in the end game is going to require plasteel ingots. Literally everything. Okay, there we go. Anyway, now that we have what we needed... Oh shit, that's right, I took the beacon out. Well... Huh. I'm sure I'll find it... eventually. Actually, before I leave, how do I make a power cell? Perfect. Let's go ahead and slap the old cell back in there. Now we're trucking. Can we get a yeehaw? <clears throat> yeehaw! Hope that was all right. My throat's a little bit fucky today. Time to play a chicken with a fish, boys. Haboosh! Should be back around the island. The other, right along the other side of it. Do you mind, sir? Oh, you're, you're eating. That's fine. Okay, I cannot, I, I can't think with this music going. It is so, it is so loud. <laughs> yes, you're all very loud and intimidating. Hello, Mr. Rock Lobster. <laughs> I think he got stuck and then just gave up. Poor guy. Ow, hey. That time he didn't. Okay, now I have to remember... Well, holy shit! I... Well, hi, Tyr and everybody! Wow, that's a lot of people. Hi! Jesus! Thank you! Thank you, Tyr, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, Much obliged, partner. We'll poss possibly be doing Vault of Glass with y'all when I get my light level high enough. I am currently at 1293. Still got a ways to go. Uh, but thank you for the raid and the host. Hope your stream went well and uh, you have a good night. Now, I'm trying to find a big old ship, crashed ship around this side of the island. Um, I forgot where it was. I had it marked and then I removed the beacon before I thought about what I was doing. Then I had to leave to go make a laser cutter and only after I got back and made the laser cutter did I realize, oh, I removed the beacon. I don't know where the ship is. So I'm kind of just driving blind right now. So this is going to go great. And I keep murdering fish just everywhere. I, it's, I can't stop it. There it is. Okay, found it. Seth, the great fish rammer. It just, it just happens. I can't stop it. Like I am destined to just run fish over with my truck. Every time I leave, I just, that, that roadkill count just keeps racking up and I can't stop it. It is my curse. Okay, here we go. 
sure that was nothing to worry about. How dwarfing? Huh? How? What? H how high is that number going? That was. How dwarfing? That, that was a hundred subs, all from tier. How <sighs> dwarfing? I. Sh <laughs> shove it up your arm. <laughs> Says to. I. Heartwarming. Uh, uh, do I read all those off? What the. F well, Jesus Christ. Welcome, everyone. From Brett's stream, I'm gonna go ahead and continue scavenging the giant ship for supplies. There was a game here. I am playing the spooky underwater game. I know, hard to imagine. This is not just a break Seth stream. This is in fact, a, oh, laser cutter fragment. Well, for, fortunately, I already have that, but I got here in the last 20 minutes and all I saw was flashing lights and colors and numbers and Brett saying no, it was weird. I'll have to check out the VOD, because that sounds like a fucking bad trip. Did Brett say anything else, or did he just say shove it up your arse and then peace? I missed it, and I missed a lot of chat in that madness. Oh, hello. That looks like the thing I need. Parallel processing unit fragment. I need more of those. So we're gonna be here, and we're gonna be in here for a bit. I think he just left. <laughs> yeah, he just... He just dropped it. He just dropped a hundred subs on me. Told me to shove it and left. <laughs> well, I appreciate it either way, my guy. Thank you. I'm surprised people have money left to spend after Brett's stream. Knowing you all. Okay, we're gonna be getting. A, oh my god, a, that that was a fucking titanium ingot we just randomly stumbled across. Oh, we're gonna be getting a lot of good loot from in here. I can feel it. That is assuming we don't get jumped by something horrible. Which I'm not saying will happen, but I'm absolutely not saying it won't. When was the last time you saved? I, I, I have, as frequent viewers of my Subnautica streams will tell you, I am a neurotic saver in this game. Like, it has become habit. Every time I do anything progress-wise, I immediately hit the save button. I, I save, like, all the fucking time. There is a part in Resident Evil Village. I'm not gonna say which part it is for people who have not played it yet, but for people who have, you know which part I'm talking about, where the only thing you can do, you you, you know, the only thing, like, I could only save at that point, and I saved frequently because it was the only mes it was the only measure of control I had in that moment, and I was going to exercise it to the fullest. Our truck is gonna be stuffed full by the time we're done here. I'm sure that noise is completely fine. I'm pretty sure those are just the crypto, the crypto things, the cryptocurrencies. But I'm um, pretty sure that's all that is. And I'm going to go ahead and assume that and not assume the worst. Because if I assume the worst of what that could possibly be out there, I'm not going to want to leave. Yeah, I know what they're called, but I'm calling them the cryptocurrencies now or the crypto sharks. Shark coin. Fuck it. We're calling them shark coins now. They have had... I love, by the way, that I am, like, determined to not call those things by their actual name. I've called them Croc Sharks. I've called them Croc... I've called them Mole Sharks. And now I'm calling them Shark Coins or Crypto Sharks. Back in we go. Back in... You know, I hope you all enjoyed the peak outside. That's the only one we're getting for a little while. I should probably go get some oxygen, yeah? Yeah. The oxygen sounds good to me. This is not a terrible idea at all. Oh! A reactor rod. That's odd. A... Not at all what I expected to find in here, but I'll take it. It's a little early to be given to be giving me those, don't you think? Not complaining, you see. Just curious. Yeah, let's get back to the truck. Inventory's full anyway. Got some stuff to deposit. We're gonna make some titanium with all this metal salvage and turn all that titanium into ingots. So I guarantee I'm gonna need a bunch of those. How exciting is this stream, by the way? Seth goes lo go goes about five feet into the ship, then immediately gets loaded down with gear and has to retreat. Sounds like a fucking ship being torn apart. Here we go. Wiring kit. 
always useful. Okay, we've already been down here, but we're making a, a clean sweep of the area. I finished the reactor checks. We dumped a ton of runoff, and we don't need the rods melting down. Then I helped with the scavenging, chopped some veggies with the cooks, and tried to help Diana, but she sent me down to engineering with Stephanos. I've been working with him the last few days. Stephanos, how to describe Stephanos? He's by far the most thorough engineer I've worked with, and no ego. He never leaves a job undone, no matter how late it is. I've never seen him awake before 11, and he always greets me by saying, Kalimera, Yasmin, in the sleepiest drawl. Not a morning person, that one. <laughs> he listens with the slightest smile on his face and twirls this stray curl by his ear. He asks a billion questions, but I don't mind. He surprised me today. There's an empty room on the bridge, just a spot of negative space in the ship. He set a picnic there and said I need to relax. He even called me a busybody. There were these crazy glowing fungus things he found to set the ambiance. The most exciting part though, drum roll, he can jailbreak fabricators. He made a small batch of traditional Grecian dishes, but the craziest part, he managed to make a suitable falafel for me. I never thought I'd see a good falafel in deep space. Alhamdulillah. A quiet genius, that one. This planet may be a cold mistress, but maybe it isn't so bad. Uh, I can only do repairs in spurts. That's so inefficient. The larger tools seem to set off seismic activity nearby. A crew came back telling stories of gigantic worms burrowing in the ice. I don't know what they're all going on about. They were hypothermic and frostbitten because they walked back to avoid angering them. The ice shelf is probably a bit unstable and they got disoriented or something. To borrow from Diana. Orion's belt, thermocouplings, are not meant to be worked on in 20 minute spurts. If we break the process, we'll break the ship. <sighs> but it's nice to hang out with Yasmin while we wait for the rumbles to stop. I hope she doesn't mind all my questions. I love hearing her voice. Her face lights up, and she's got the most expressive eyebrows. They're practically acrobats. The way she looks when talking about nuclear engineering is the same way I look at my grandmother's domades. The woman never sits down, though. She told me that she used to do decathlon in college, and I can believe it. She's like a bouncy ball, just all over the place. She makes rounds on the ship every day to see if people need help. Hmm. I should do something nice for her. She's always helping everyone else. I wish I had a fraction of her energy. <laughs> How heartwarming. How unfortunate that they're dead. Uh, let me grab the mineral scanner. I, I can set it to detect fragments. I'm pretty clearly missing something here. So I'm going to go see if the mineral scanner can help my dumb ass out. The problem is, though, it's probably going to... Yeah, okay. I may as well remove these so the mineral scanner doesn't detect them. Well, good news is we're going to have all the titanium in the fucking world. We're not going to one for titanium for, like, days. Seth's going to need, like, seven more truck modules to haul the loot back. Yeah, this place is fucking loaded. I'm going to I'm gonna find this thing, and it's going to be in, like, the most obvious spot that I somehow completely missed. And I'm going to feel like an idiot. Uh, maybe there is actually an upper area of the ship that you can only access from the upper part of it from the outside? Uh, let me head back to the truck, see if I'm right about that. Ow! Ow! Uh. I don't like doing this. I don't like being here. Uh, yeah, nothing over there. I'm probably dead wrong about this, but I've not, I have got no clue. Only one way to find out. Well, there are a bunch of them croc sharks up here. Crypto sharks. Pick a name. Whatever your name, whatever the name you want to have for them, as long as it's not Cryptosuchus or whatever they're actually called, then it's fine by me, chat. Uh, well, let's take another look, I guess. Because I know I need one more part of the parallel processing unit. I'll take one more look in here. Then I'm going to check the ledge below this. 
because if I had to guess, what they may have done is split this up into two sections, and the other section is below it. Welcome to Sathorvan Subnautica streams, by the way, everyone from everyone from Brett's chat. This is uh, this is kind of how they go. Seth does a bunch of things and then spends a good like 30 minutes wandering around, unable to find a thing that is probably obvious. Uh, what did you miss? Well, Seth is currently trying to find another piece of this, another fragment of the house of this technology piece he needs while hopefully not getting his ass fried by geysers. It's kind of important to not do that. And has not been able to find the other pieces yet, so you haven't missed much. Okay, I'm gonna take the, uh, the truck. We're gonna go, we're gonna go look down below. There might be another part to the ship somewhere. Oh, that's what I was hearing. I was hearing a squid shark. Okay. Listen, buddy, I'm a little busy. Uh, the fuck? Okay, that was weird. I was not aware squid sharks could do that. Duly noted. Further into the depths. Killing every single fish in my way. Um, I... Don't really want to run fish. Oh, okay. It's a lunar whale. It's fine. It's fine, Seth. You can calm the... F Fuck that. That sounded like I just hit a squeak toy. <laughs> I don't know what I just accidentally sidewinded, but that, that sounded like I just hit a squeaky toy. <laughs> also, yeah, I do like how the game uses different lighting to let you know that you're in a different area or in a different biome. It's pretty good. It's pretty nice. Ah, fuck. Doesn't stop me from hitting everything in my way, however. Uh, that looks important, maybe? Quick once around to make sure I'm not going to be jumping into the jaws of a leviathan. Aquarium module. I don't know what use that'll have, but I'm maybe mobile food, I guess. Or just to have because it's nice to have buddies with me on my long trucking journey. Excuse me, fish. All the fucking noises in the world, can they please go away? It's making me nervous. Just gonna shake you. Oh. I will get right on that, Al. In fact, actually, while I'm here... Okay, we'll come back here later. How does this work? Ah! Haha! -ha. You are not the only one who can zap. I too have that power. Um, uh, Detecting uh, bow of an astronautical Soltrans go vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. Looks like we found it. Uh, judging from the sound that I don't recognize, I think we found something else. So I'm gonna take a moment to gather my energy with some lovely, relaxing elevator music. All right, so now to find the entrance. Uh, it should be somewhere around here. Fucking hell, go away. Scare the bejesus out of me. And then immediately phase through solid matter. Concerning. See, I'm not sure what was the squid shark and what was something else. Okay, here we go. Found the entrance at last. <sighs> also pretty sure those aren't supposed to be in here, but it's fine. Oh, hello, prawn suit fragment, you say. Another reactor core. And the drill arm fragment. Found you early. Just checking all the corners. That's an alien containment. Alrighty. Cool. Finding a lot of the basic stuff pretty quickly. Good. My instincts are never wrong. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? Huh. Orion's belt. I would be an absolute fool. 
We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. There should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting, which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Let's see Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more Soul Transgov credits in their uniform pockets. They'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. And then they all died. Honestly, if you're if you're on an alien submerse if you're on an alien aquatic planet and your instincts don't tell you uh be cautious, maybe you shouldn't listen to your instincts. Uh running out of water, so I'm gonna have to make this quick. I'm alive. Stefano saved me. The Mercury attempted an emergency takeoff and everything seemed fine. I was helping the bridge crew with the emergency takeoff since the crew is well, was shorthanded because of everything. I heard the sound of metal tearing and for a split second, everything was tinged bright green and unbearably hot. Then I saw daylight and I was looking down at the ocean and ice. The strongest wind I've ever felt roared in my ear. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll play that I need to fire my sea truck with so I don't fucking die. Ripping through the ship. People went flying out the side of the Mercury. So much screaming and chaos. I was lucky. I had just clipped into my seat anchor. Stephanos came out of nowhere like a malaika, an angel. I felt his rough, calloused hand grasp mine with the gentlest of urgency. It felt like time slowed, he said. I gotcha. Just follow me, Ella. I don't know how. But he used an emergency tether to drag me to the nuclear reactor core, the strongest bulkhead in the ship. We hit the water and everything went black. <sighs> He's sleeping. I think he might have hit his head. I'm exhausted. The adrenaline has long since worn off and my body aches. I think I might have fractured the rib. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a bit. When I wake up, I'll figure this out. I'll save us. Yeah, it sounds like they got hit by the, uh, the quarantine system from the first game, if I had to assume. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> it sounds so dumb. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is every Xenolinguist's dream. <sighs> I mean, I was helping with the planetary scans and there are possible unknown structures on the surface. This could set my career up for life. The images are a little degraded coming through the atmosphere, but it looks like intentional and complex architecture, which means civilization, and civilization means da -da -da -da, language. Oh, man. And now most of the crew wants to get home. I, I understand that, but this could be a defining discovery. I'm definitely going to put a bug and die in his ear about going to the surface so I can take a team to explore. Oh, I desperately hope this pans out. Oh, I can't wait till we get into communication range with Soul again. Layla and the kids would love to hear this. I mean, it's rough being away from him so long, but this might just make it worth it. I'll be able to give him so much more. And yet again, everyone died. Boy, this is uh, this is awfully this is an awful big ship full of uh, former people, and I still can't find this fucking parallel processing unit. Did I really actually need the propulsion cannon? I don't think I do. Oh, what? Pfft, never mind. <laughs> Found it. Okay. Got it. It's fine. We got it. Now I need to leave before I drown. Now I just need to build the test override module. Then I can disable that satellite tower. Well, first, Robin, first order of business, getting out of here before we deaded. And there's probably more to discover in this ship, so I'm gonna be in here for a little bit longer, at least. This looks important. O'Brien's felt this all went sideways. How could I have known that so much would go wrong? I failed my crew. No, I don't fail. I didn't get into this position by being a failure. It's this desolate land, frigid and cursed. Between these tunneling creatures and the strange sickness that a few of the crew are showing symptoms of, we have to leave at first light tomorrow. We are prepping for a rapid takeoff. 
We can't take chances with the vibrations drawing the tunnelers, so we're skipping the systems check. Risky, but I have faith in myself and the crew of the Mercury. Landing this thing was practically a miracle, though. But we have to get out of here. Maybe the weapon is to keep people away, but if we leave, it'll let us go. I have to leave the quarantined crew in the cave behind. We will be back for them. But we can't risk an unknown infection spreading through the mercury. We're packing survival kits for them, but there's only enough surplus for about two weeks. I'm telling them that we will come back. But I don't think I can land here safely. Twice. I hate this. But I have to leave them behind. I can't risk the entirety of the Mercury. Oh, God damn it. Well, shit. Thank you for punctuating the moment. I leaned back away from my screen from that. <laughs> oh, boy. So, yeah, this crew, very similar story. What we've heard before, this crew got shot down by the, uh... The old quarantine system. Then they tried to leave. It shot them down again. And there is apparently a cave nearby. They left a bunch of quarantined sick people with Kara. God damn. Every fucking expedition to this place ends the same way, doesn't it? An ore vein? Resources behind loose rock. Oh! I know what this means. Ah ha ha! Copper! We actually needed a good bit of this. I will take it. Thank you. Uh, come on. Come on now. Come on. There we go. While they did think that a quarantine system would let ships go and not being a no one enter, no one leave system. Yeah, I don't know. They were desperate, I guess. Well, to be fair, this is before we read. This is um, a similar situation to the Degasi. They didn't know it was a quarantine system. They just got shot by a laser and were like, oh, uh, what the fuck now? So yeah. I can understand why they would think maybe it won't shoot again. I mean, what's the alternative? We stay here and die? Like, slowly? I can definitely understand the thought process. It just didn't work. We need to get off this planet. I mean, the morning started off so well. But I took a team of six out to find the structures from the planetary scans, and we were all in high spirits. I mean, who wouldn't be? These structures would be clues to another sentient race. <laughs> It was highly unlikely that another colony would be out this far. We were going to be in the freaking history books. <laughs> Everything was going okay. We were a few miles from the ship when our radios picked up an actual signal. It sounded like an SOS. We got overly excited naturally and decided to enter the water to follow it. <sighs> that decision cost three lives. I mean, half my team, they got ripped to shreds by something they died screaming alone in the cold dark waters i i'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean again i refuse some of the animals on this planet they look sick too weird pustules on the skin oddly sluggish i think we should leave but diana said we should stay she thinks the bio patent payoffs will be worth it but those families will never see their loved ones again they don't care about no payoffs. We can't return the bodies. I don't care about the accolades or the history books. I just want to see Layla and the kids. Ah, oh, man. I miss the smell of my wife's hair. The kids tackling me at the door again. That's all I want. To get out of here alive. But please. Shit. Also, yeah, up uh, Squid Shark. Just being in the ship, okay? Wasn't expecting that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mark this area because there's fragments around this area, but I do need to stop soon. So we're gonna come back here later. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. We're gonna head back to the base and we're gonna build that test module and we're gonna 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 do stuff. We're gonna build some of the other stuff that we found, including that nuclear reactor which I was not expecting to find. With all this titanium that we fucking got, may as well start our base before we end the stream. Still don't like driving around this area. I just don't. 
it's funny. We got the, uh... We got the bioreact. We already started the game with the bioreactor. <laughs> and then we just immediately find a nuclear reactor and rods to power it. Like, that's gonna solve our energy issues for... Well, there were we didn't have energy issues. We didn't really have a base yet. That's it. That's just gonna immediately power our base for a long fucking time. Almost back. Almost there. And here we are. Oh my god. <laughs> we got a lot of fucking copper. Good though, we needed it. Oh, and we can also make the reinforced dive suit. That would be good. What do we need to make the synthetic fibers again? Ruby and spiral plant clipping. I'm sure I'll find that later. For now, do I not have any lead? Oh no, I don't, because I had to I had to use it all to make the truck stuff. Right. Okay, so let's find some lead. <laughs> Just need one piece. Lead. Titanium. Not what I'm looking for. Okay. Only needed one piece. That is fine. Time to make that test module. Fire up the old radar, or turn off the radar, rather. And possibly, uh, go talk to Meta. Okay, back to the Delta Station. Good old road trip trucking music. You can see the moment Seth's brain just switches off. <laughs> you say that as if that isn't every moment. Alright! And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We'll no longer assault your ears, don't worry. Yep. <sighs> Perfect parking job, if I say so myself. Right, off to the radar. Howdy hey there, folks. My name's L09. Look at my trucker hat. <laughs> I still love it. How that sounds when you just eat it rapidly. Time to slap this module in there. Turn this bad boy off. How? Now back to the terminal. How fortunate that I knew how that worked. Well, then again, I literally made it, so I guess I do. And bada boosh. Do it. Please work. Nice. And now it's in test mode, so it shouldn't be tracking us. Yes. Satellite is down. I am impressed. That was most resourceful. Why, thank you, Al. Appreciate it. Uh, now I need to get down from here before I freeze to death. Heat plants are up. All right, Altera. You win this round. Come find me at my greenhouse. I'm about a kilometer east of your position up on an iceberg. I have a present for you. I'll come by if I have time. <laughs> sure. Whatever. If you have time for me in your busy social calendar. <laughs> I love Maida. She's great. All right. Uh, did she give me a marker? No, she did not. So, a kilometer east. Unfortunately, I don't have a compass yet. Shit. Uh, well, ow, fucking ow. Well, uh, can I just make a compass in the truck? Do I have everything I need to make one? Yeah, I got everything I need to make one. I'll just make one in the truck. Ankles, who needs them? After my time at Salt and Sanctuary, my ankles just don't exist anymore. Like, at all. They're gone. Here we are. Let's just make this fucking compass. Okay. So, about a kilometer east. So, that away. Let's go talk to Meta before we end the stream. Robin, I have something oh. important to share. Another artifact. Yes, although... You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. <laughs> Jeez. Location uploaded to PDA. Jeez, Robin. He was just trying to be helpful. Fucking Christ, go away. Did you beat Sultan Sanctuary? Yep, I did. I beat it by glitching into a... Accidentally getting glitched into the wall on the final boss. I'm not kidding about that. That actually happened. <laughs> Let's get this thing repaired before I head out, because I got a bad feeling for one reason or another. Holy shit, that boy is a big one! That is a chalicerate! Okay, uh... 
<laughs> right, you have a good day. You have yourself a good one. Ooh, right then, I think we're here. This is, I'm gonna say we're here. Cause I wanna get out of the fucking water now. I wanna get out of the water now. Can I get out of the water? Excuse me. <laughs> Poor thing. It's just dead on my windshield. Okay. I'm getting out of the water. Uh, 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 oh, hello. A pina card. Oh, aren't you cute? Aww. Nice to meet you too. Intelligent and curious creature who hunts and forages below the waterline but returns to the surface to breathe. Its many flippers make this an, an acrobatic hunter underwater but vulnerable on land, where its capabilities at best of a fat where it's capable at best of a fast shuffle, as you can see. Generally consumes small fish, its diet may also include various plant materials, side-facing eyes unusual for a predator, these likely serve as a defense warning system. Purple tinted antenna on the head detect movement of prey fish nearby, shows no aggression towards humans, and even curiosity if there's a chance of a meal. Huh. I'll keep that. In... Uh... Mind, I think we almost witnessed a whale beach itself. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Oh, heat plant. Oh, you are my best friend right now. Made of this, it better be worth it. Oh, God damn it! It's not this one. It's probably another. It's probably another iceberg. Mulan and nearby iceberg oh. detected. A hollow chamber typically formed by glacial melt. Okay. Let's check this place out, I guess. Oh, wait, I think I see it. Yep, I think I saw it. All right, it's over on another iceberg. It's even more east than I thought. Jesus. Could not have picked a worse time. Oh, another hello. Found. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. Satellite. I have collected enough data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. I will provide a signal. What the fuck? Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, there it is. It's down there. I think I went up a little too far. No, wait, is that it? I can't tell. It's foggy as shit. What is that noise, by the way? Oh. How do humans function with such a fallible and inferior body? Excuse you? My body is anything but inferior. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket joints. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true, the opposable thumb is excellent. But all corporeal forms are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. We build for the next generation. Noble, but again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. <laughs> I like how in the most indirect way he's like, mm-hmm. Same to you. Okay, so where the fuck is this thing? I think it might be on that one over there? All right, Maida, this had better be worth it. I love how Al has to actually give us credit for thumbs like, yeah, your body's really dumb thing, but props for the thumbs. <laughs> it's great. I really do. I do like uh, Robin and Al's back and forth. It's uh, it's fun. God damn, I can't see a fucking thing. Okay, this, this looks like the place. If I had to assume, this is the place. Oh, heat plants. Yes. Or no, I'm sorry, pepper trees. 
Uh, the fever pepper tree produces fruits with high levels of ca uh, of capacin, capsaicin, something like that, which helps raise body temperature and stimulates blood flow. Whew, thank God. These are extremely good. There it is. I think we found it at last. The fuck? Made of this had better be worth it. Damn satellite hasn't passed by in a while. I guess that was your doing. Sam's not the only one in the family who knows, knew, what to do with vague directions and old wire. She was an original, that sister of yours. First time I met her, I was sure she was Altera through and through. Not a crease in her uniform. Sending those damn bird bots to spy everywhere. Then, she surprised me. Maybe a little too much. Meaning? If you really want to know, there's a PDA on the bench that can point you in the right direction. <laughs> you need anything else? Don't bother me. <laughs> but you can help yourself with the greenhouse. Things I can do to repay you for getting those spine pests off my back. I want a snow stalker pet. <laughs> but we got a whole bunch of stuff to scan here. Oh, apparently we can scan Margaret. You can look all you want. There's more to Marguerite than any damn fangled gadget can see. Name, Marguerite Meta. Occupation, freelance security personnel. Status, missing. Sure. Previously thought to be dead, last known contact was on record... Uh, was on a recording found in another sector of 4546B, which claims she was killed by a Reaper Leviathan. Personality markers. Marguerite is highly distrustful of authority figures, especially those tied to corporate entities. She's strong-willed and seems cold upon initial contact. <clears throat> Not much is known about Marguerite. She was born and raised in the Mongolian states, a backwater corporate colony exploited for its mineral resources. She left home at 16 and went from one mercenary job to another. Eventually, she did tours with the Mongolian Defense Force and Trans System Federation. She held an esteemed career before being dishonorably discharged from the TSF for going off mission. The details are unclear, but our resources have unearthed some scant details. Marguerite was the head of an intel and reconnaissance mission. We aren't clear what she stumbled upon, but she silently eliminated the entire local security apparatus over the course of three days. None of the local families would give more information. They only said they thanked God's hand for saving them. Her last mission was aboard the Degasi as private security as private security against potential pirates and scavengers, which crashed on 4546B. Well then, quite an illustrious history. Preston's plant consists of semi-translucent, uh, translucent leaves and a sweet fruit and a sweet fruiting berry. It is hardy and capable of growing in even the harshest of climates. The fruit contains a paralytic agent that humans are unable to properly meta meta metabolize, meh, but for certain animals, it can act as something of a mild sedative. I'm assuming, such as the Snowstalker. All right, we're not going to be playing for much longer. I'm just scanning everything I need to scan. I've already synthesized an antidote and stashed it in a cave. I can go grab it and... That's your plan? You don't think it'll work? <sighs> You're thinking too small. Like, maybe if you're polite enough about destroying the bacteria, Altera will come around and see it your way. But do you believe in yourself or not? I think so. You think so? Come on! Is a bacteria a threat, or isn't it? It is. Does it need to be dealt with or not? It does. So who's right on this? I am. Say it like you mean it! I am. I said, like you mean it, not like you're testifying before a rigged transgov court. I am. Right. Then what you gotta do is seal off the whole cave. I've got just the stuff. Made it for fishing, but it blew the whole ice shelf halfway to deep space. <laughs> Vaporized all the fish. Okay. Jesus. And you gotta hit the lab, too, or there's just no point. Actually, you know what? Let me take care of that one. It'll be fun. So, Sam and Marguerite actually knew each other and were working together to destroy the virus. All right, Marge, old girl. We hate this greenhouse. So here are some pointers to remember so we never have to do the worst parts again. Too bad you can't fight malnutrition by hunting it down and killing it. So, first thing, insulation. First few nights, the soil was rock solid. 
Ended up having to insulate the damn place with dehydrated kelp. Adding a thermal mass helped too. Heat from barrels of water. Probably should have just eaten the damned kelp. But nope, my body was craving a salad. Wish I was just made of exosuit. Next, grow lights were a must have. Gotta admit, I felt pretty proud of my first full crop of lettuce. Fed half of it to Preston. That snow stalker will eat practically anything. Always spits half of it out, though. Another thing we have in common. The slobbery green mess makes good compost. So we we can confirm the snow stalker's name is Preston. So I'm assuming Sam figured out Altera was after the Kara virus when they discovered a frozen Leviathan beneath a big glacier covered in the stuff. She then at some point met Marguerite, who obviously does not like Altera and was probably more so just happy to screw over whatever plans they had and was going to help out Sam in creating a cure to eliminate the virus, which I'm assuming uses enzyme 42 as a base considering that's what cured us in the last game. This is getting interesting. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that is where I'm gonna end the stream for now. <clears throat> Thank you all for joining me. I will be playing either more of this or something else tomorrow. Either way, I'll be, well, actually no, I might not see you all tomorrow. Uh, my sister needs help moving into the new place tomorrow, so I might not be streaming, but it depends on how long that takes. So either way, if I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you on Sunday. Thank you all for joining me. Thank you everybody who came from Brett's stream. Thank you everybody who donated just the shit ton today. And thank you all very much for stopping by. For those who were not here last time, we managed to shut down the radio relay on the Delta Station Island. Delta Station Island. This, uh, at least seemingly, convinced Marguerite Maida over there that we were not with Altera, since we got the, um, uh, the satellites that were looking for her off her back with the, with shutting down the relay. So now we have everything we need to so now we have everything we need to start our own greenhouse, which means that now's a good time to start building a base. And we also learned that apparently Sam and Marguerite had met and also were planning to work together to stop whatever Altera was planning to do with the Kara virus. Quite the mystery is unfolding. But before we tackle this mystery, we need a good base of operations which means it's time to begin the construction. Oh, I also didn't notice this before, but Marguerite actually has speakers set up that are playing jungle noises. Back to our ship. Time to head back to safer waters to begin construction of our base. We also have a couple of markers set around here that we need to go and uh, investigate at some point in the near future. Some things that Alan wanted us to look into. Oh wait, hang on, I think we needed these. Yes, we do. These can be used for purifying wa uh, purifying snow, if I remember correctly. Which means I need to drop some stuff. I also don't know what that noise is, but I'm pretty sure it's nothing to worry about. And there we can see a, a lunar whale briefly breaking the surface of the water. Don't worry, they are not threatening. If, uh, for those of you who were not here last time, that is not, those are not the leviathans that we caught a glimpse of. We caught a glimpse of the Chalicerate, and Chalicerates are big and frightening. Okay, so time to return to the safer area. Not a whole lot of safe areas in this game, but well, and as we see yet again, life on 4546B has a very loose respect for the boundaries of physics. Just in case, just in case, just in case. All right, back to safer waters where we will begin construction of our glorious base. And from there, head off to the giant glacier where apparently the oops sorry uh the major a good bit of the story is going to go down now i'll go ahead and say i already know apologies one of the big things that are waiting for us at the glacier 
most people here should probably be already aware of what the big thing at the glacier is, the big angry thing. In fact, most people should be aware that it exists anyway because it's been all over the promotional material for Below Zero, the Ice Worm. It's big, it's angry, and we are going to see it. I'm hoping we don't run into another Chalicerate, because I'd rather not get eaten today. I think you mean the Gaint Worm. This is true. The Gaint Worm. No Chalicerate so far. Good. Sorry. Hope everyone is, uh, nice and comfortable. Because we're gonna be in for the long haul today. Gonna make sure that I have everything I need to at least build one large room, and one door, and one power source. Where, oh where, did my base builder thing go? I think it's actually still on the truck, but let me make sure about that. Then once we actually build the base, wherever we want to build it, then comes the arduous task of transporting everything and everything to it. Uh, where are you building the base? I will one, I will 10,000% judge you. I do not know. Probably not too far out. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. I just need to familiarize myself with what we're going to need to build. So we need more parts for the snow fox. Uh, I believe we can find the rest of those on the glacier. We also need to go back to that area where Meta, we first found Meta, not the station, her old base, because there are some more upgrades that we need to find there. And, uh, Alan also directed us to that area, but we're going to do that after we build a base. So I need a large room. So that's going to be two plasteel ingots, which we've got, we've got the stuff we need to make that. We also, and if we wanted to make a large room with a glass dome, that's going to take a bunch of enameled glass. Oh boy. So we're going to need two plasteel ingots, a hatch. So we're going to need 11 titanium, one quartz, four lithium. Okay, we can just uh, do that actually. Uh, we're also going to need a multi-purpose room. Uh, because we're gonna need to build, we're go we're actually, we actually are, I think we can anyway, going, or can, and maybe we will, build a nuclear reactor, so let's just, yes, we can. We just need advanced wiring kit, more plasteel ingots, and lead, and that should be everything we need to get a, that should be everything we need to get a base going, and if we, and if need be, we can also set up partition, uh, partitions, and doors. For now, though, this is everything we need to get a base started. We also need to get that moon pool, which we need two titanium ingots. Let's let's take inventory of how much titanium we got on the truck. Let's see. Uh, so we get we need the wiring kit. We need an advanced wiring kit, which we can make. We also have one lithium here and one titanium ingot. We need one more titanium ingot, which we should have around here. We need one plasteel ingot, which means we're gonna need. Well, no, we're going to need three plasteel ingots, which means we're going to need six lithium. I don't know if we have enough. Ah, damn, we need one more piece of lithium. Okay. Let's take the truck out, grab one more piece of lithium, then make our make the plasteel ingots, and we'll be good to get everything else. We also need uh, five lead, which I may just want to go ahead and get while I'm doing this, but I don't have enough room. Where can I store some stuff? I don't want to scatter everything all over everywhere, but I kind of really do need to clear up some space. We don't need this, honestly, because we already have one. We already have one of those in the ship. So let's head out to the vaults. The vaults, um, the vents, pardon me. Which were this way. Sorry. Is that it? That is it. Need to make sure I'm not being accosted. Grab that. And while I'm here, may as well look around for any of the lead-giving deposits. Says that the truck driver who sends the fish to Isekai Worlds. Ah, <laughs> uh, god damn it! What we don't realize is every single time I hit a fish, that fish is that fish's journey is just beginning. They are sent to a distant world to save it from some dark force. Okay, that's one. Sadly, the Seth experiment fish didn't catch on floater on a boomerang. I mean, to be fair, it was a horrifying abomination that was in agonizing pain every every moment of its tortured existence. So, really, it was gonna it was gonna it was gonna be 
phased out of the uh, the gene pool eventually. Nature just be that way, unfortunately. Okay, that's three. Just need two more. Now, are these next outcroppings going to be nice to me, or am I going to have to get mean? Okay. Just need one more piece now. God damn it. Almost. You almost had a streak going, and then you broke it. You broke it like you broke my dreams. Okay, there we go. That's all the lead we need. I think we have all the lithium we need as well. We have, I know we have all the titanium we're gonna need, and I believe we have everything we need to make the wire, the advanced wiring kit and the lubricant. So I believe we have everything. Let's head back to the base, get it all gathered up, and then be on our way. Go away. I have the power of God and anime on my side and they fucking hurt, trust me. This is gonna be extremely unorganized and I apologize. I will get to organizing this shit later once we have the base actually built. Stop hitting yourselves on my ship. Wait, the battery charger is a starting kit now? Hang on a minute. Oh, so it is. Huh. All right, I did not know that. All right, let's get ourselves a little bit of a little bit of a what's the word? What's the word, Seth? You know it. You know it. Uh, creep vine seeds. Make ourselves some lubricant, and then be on our way. Fish still trying to commit insurance fraud, dude. These fish are fucking relentless. Like, they will take any excuse possible to throw themselves in front of your truck. And then claim, and then, and then of course, you you know, you can't defend yourself because, you know, you fucking hit them. Even if they clearly did it on purpose. In the sea, no one can hear your claim. Okay, enough. Thank you, OEM. Appreciate it. There's the advanced wiring kit. Nuke reactor is ready to be made. We need one more uh, titanium ingot. And we need seven titanium and one quartz. Do I have enough space for all this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, yes, I do. Oh, I'll also need enough to make some lockers. Um, there's the ingot. We already have the we already have the reactor cores to power the nuke reactor. Uh, what else did we need for that to make those lockers? Let's see. Lockers. Where did you go? I need to pin you, please. Okay. Now to begin figuring out where the hell I'm gonna put this base. I'm just, I've, I've stopped concerning myself with hitting the fish cause it's just an, it's, it's an inevitability at this point. It's going to happen. Yeah, this looks, this looks nice and open. Right about here. Yeah, this seems like a w nice wide open area. Good room for future development. Now, the reason I don't want to build directly on the glacier is because the floating... Yeah, these guys. As far as I know, they're not hostile, but they just kind of get in the way and they're kind of creepy. And, uh... And I don't like building around them. So, let's go ahead and just build right here. Not too far away, but nearby several important areas. And uh, plenty of room to build more in case we need to. First, the large room. We must build the largest room that there ever was. Also, it's because it is nighttime, the bright ass green <laughs> is really blinding and disorienting. Uh, but let's put you right here. Then a multi-purpose room directly in the back. Right about here. Uh, let's grab ourselves the nuclear reactor cores that we got in here. One, two, three, four. Sure, that looks structurally stable. That ah, is stable enough. It's good enough. It's a starting base. Then we build ourselves our nuke reactor. There we go. Then we just go ahead and slap these bad boys in there and bada boom. Excellent. And now we put ourselves, we slap some of these here lockers. We'll put you right, uh, right here along the wall. Boop and boop. Oh, 
Am I out of quartz? What am I, what am I missing? Oh! Oh! I needed more quartz. Okay. Well, either way, I think there's actually some quartz around this area. You know, there's always one thing you forget to do when you're moving. You, it never goes perfectly. One thing always goes wrong. You forget something, you break something, the moving company forgets what day they're supposed to be moving you. Something goes wrong. There is no such thing as a seamless move. It is impossible. So considering the fact that all the only thing that went wrong here is we forgot one piece of quartz to build an extra locker, I'd say that is pretty good. Forgetting your toothpaste. It, it's, it's not always something big and important that you forget or what goes wrong, but something always goes wrong. And also, let's not forget the other, the other important part to this building. Da -da -da! The moon pool. I'll put you right here. Oh, actually, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. How do I, how do I get rid of you? How do I get rid of you? Right. Base constr- uh, I need to build, I need to, uh, build some foundation on this thing. <laughs> Almost forgot about that. That is a thing that's important to keep track of. So we need some foundation. We have reinforced hulls. Okay, here's some foundation. Well, the reinforced hulls is a bit cheaper. Uh, all we need, all we need is more, uh, I need more fucking lithium. So we get, we can either... Yeah, no, I need the lead to build the moon pool. So we're... Just go get more lithium and more titanium. Off to get more lithium! How's the fear factor of this game compared to the, uh, compared to the first? Well, it's an unfair comparison to make because I played the first game. Go away. I played the first game. Um, and already experienced, like, the fear factor that it had, so I'm better prepared for this one. And even when I wasn't better prepared for this one, um, like, when I played- rather, even when I played it the first time, when it was still in early access, I wouldn't say the fear factor is as high, but that's because I had already played base Subnautica. Just get two of these things, that's all we need. I'll grab an- I'll grab an extra one, just in case. Turn right around. Uh, heading northwest. Back to the base. No banjo today. No banjo today. Not yet, anyway. Alrighty. Back to building. I will at least give us some music uh, to listen to while we're constructing stuff. This works. Oh. Huh. Well, you see, chat. I, I think, I think I see a problem <laughs> with the foundation. <laughs> you know, something tells me the base is just not ready to be moved into yet. I can't really place what, but something tells me. You know, at the very least, this gives our reactor a cooling system. <laughs> <sighs> okay, back to what we were doing. First of all, slap you right there and right there. Hobble. There we go. That should be more than enough hull strength. Old Bean UK, thank you for the 100 bits. Just slap some flex tape on there. To show you the power of flex tape, I broke my aquatic base in half. There we go. And now we can go ahead and take all these off because our base is complete bask in its glory i know i know i'm getting emotional too but we must save our tears chat because we're not done yet it's time to start the transport process it even works underwater <laughs> just a basic base setup nothing too fancy but hey this gets us started in the right direction not a whole lot of room to build out on this end but we can build out that way Moon pools listing a missing eh. moon pools listing a Meg. That's that's where my brain was about to go. Oh, before we go, actually, let's go ahead and make ourselves an interior grow bed. Uh, let's make ourselves a frost vase seed because, if memory serves me correctly, these are used for purifying snow, which is really good for water. Nice and not symmetric. Fuck. And now the hardest boss in the game, my own OCD. Ugh. 
One more try. I get one, one more, one more try. It's off center. I can already tell it's off center. Oh, just it like by half an inch. It's fine. It's fine. It's completely and totally fine. It doesn't bother me. It does not bother me. Okay. Let's go empty out the truck. How do I ban a streamer from their own stream? Uh, make them go bankrupt. That's the easiest way. Don't do that, please. I like my job. Oh boy, we actually had a lot of stuff on here. Oh, I wanted to make a nuclear waste disposal to hold the old rods for aesthetic. But I need to lead. God damn it. Lead is a lot more on... Lead is, it seems to be a lot harder to come across in this game. Just regurgitate everything up into the uh, up into the locker for right now. We'll get we'll actually sort through it later. I also am dangerously low on water, so I need to go find some uh, some pink boys. Uh, we'll try and keep the electronics separate from the crafting stuff. I'm gonna try. Can't guarantee that's gonna uh, that's gonna succeed. Okay, fuck it. Just get everything out of the inventory. Everything out. I'm gonna need as much space as I can carry, which means we're gonna need even more lockers. So I need to get more quartz and more titanium. What am I gonna need? Uh, honestly, just the habitat builder. I just need a bunch of titanium, which I've got. Pardon me as I keep forgetting what I came in here for perpetually for all time and all eternity. All right, now I need uh, two more quartz. <sighs> we're almost done with this chat. Just need even more storage space. We're not doing anything too crazy today, just making ourselves a nice base, then moving into said base. And then once we're done moving into said base, we'll continue with the story. One more locker, two more actually. And we'll also probably want to make a battery charger while we're here. All right, that should be enough locker space to get us started. Copper wire, wiring kit, and titanium. I think I have all my silver back at the old. Never mind. We have everything here. Holy shit. Fuck it. We got a bunch of dead batteries on us. May as well make it. I mean, we've got enough power to last until now, until the end of time. Slap the battery charger right there. Now, we make ourselves the fabricating station. It's not going to get in the way of me getting out, getting in and out of the base, is it? I don't think so. Let's let's test it. Nope, we're good. But that still does not look good, so we'll go ahead and just slap this here. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm probably going to be getting a power cell charger as well, so we'll want to put this on the other side. Interior decorating is my goddamn nightmare because I'm never satisfied. Okay, that should be everything we need immediately. Are these done? Yes, they are. Damn, these grow, but these grow faster than they did before. Okay, back to the old base. Time to start transporting goods. Oh, actually, I know I keep si I know I keep umming and erring. How do I make a beacon? I may as well deploy a beacon here until I can until I can comfortably mark this place with a command room. Cause I'm a Welcome aboard, Captain. bit of an airhead. I am absolutely going to forget where this place is. If I don't have a marker constantly telling me at all times where my own house is. Okay, this is important, chat. What are we going to name the base? Ba <laughs> base here, stupid. <laughs> base here, stupid. Brief respite. I like that one. The base place. Oxygen, dumbass. Here be Leviathans. <laughs> You can, you can go serious or Mimi. I'll choose whichever one I like the most. Whichever one I like the most. C Lab 2021. Base down under. The most expensive aquarium. <laughs> we all float down here. Hey, Nimrod over here. <laughs> Fuck me, it's cold in here. Ocean office, that place. Blurbo Blob Bay. The rock I hide under. <laughs> totally Bunch safe black, nuclear Mark. facility. Umbrella Corps. <laughs> Umbrella Corps. Oh, God damn it. 
God, I can't. Oh, there's so many good names. I can't decide. I gotta decide. I gotta decide. I'm. Oh, this is always the hard part. Seth's unmoving castle. <laughs> the world's slowest truck. Okay. 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 I think I'm gonna go with that one. I think I'm gonna go with that one. The world's slowest truck. Can it fit though? Yes, it can. It can fit. The world's slowest truck. Welcome home, everyone. <laughs> okay. Okay, base is marked off to the old one because it basically goes nowhere. Yes, moving at a pace of one inch per year, moving at roughly the pace at whatever a glacier moves at because that's the thing it's attached to. It'll get there someday. You may not live to see it, but by God, it'll get there. Maida might live to see it. Maida is going to outlive the heat death of the fucking universe. You kidding me? That woman cannot fucking die. Don't care where I put it. Just put it somewhere. As long as it fits in the truck, just slap it in there. We'll figure out where it goes later. Ooh, boy. We have a lot of stuff. We're also going to need to deconstruct this place. Hopefully I have enough room in my inventory and in the truck. I'm going to have to carry some of this shit by hand. Uh, oh shit. I left the locker in there. Wait, hang on. I moved the door and I left the locker in there. <laughs> okay, I should have enough inventory space to get this all back. Good. Alrighty. Time to head on back, boys. Back to the world's slowest truck. Oh, right, the grow bed. Almost forgot about that. Do I have enough inventory space to take everything in there? I should. Okay, I should have enough to get the grow bed. Got it. All right, now we're done. Yoink. Sorry. <laughs> you literally swam directly underneath me and hit the underside of my truck. That ain't on me. That's on you. You should have been watching where you were going. Where you were swimming. Whoops. Okay, and we are here. Let's go ahead and begin the unloading process. Try to keep as much of this sorted as I can. Uh, so all minerals go... We'll start by putting all minerals in here and all electronic stuff in here. Time to disemb- whoops. Well, the locker's name is now W. I should probably make another grow bed because I've got some of these here uh, gel plants that I'm gonna need to plant on a grow bed. That's the general way you do things, Seth. Well done, you figured it out. So, gonna need two more of these to make an external grow plant. And uh, also what would help with that is the habitat builder for actually constructing the grow bed. Just a thought. We're gonna regret this after we have to build a second story. Oh, that's a good point. Hmm. Ah, God damn it. All right, hang on. We'll build him somewhere else. Maybe you just, maybe on top of the moon pool? I mean, you can't build a second story to this thing and you can build stuff on it. So maybe on top of the moon pool. It's not the most elegant solution, but uh, the best one I can do for now. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go ahead and put him here for now. Spaced out evenly enough. I'm sorry, I know it doesn't need to be symmetrical, but it does. It does need to be, for me, I need him to be symmetrical. Slap those in there. Slap all of these in here. Okay, that'll work for now. Why those won't fall at all. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, don't you worry about a thing. Gravity does not exist. As we've already been made aware, Subnautica has a very loose relationship with the laws of gravity and physics. Everything is coming along nicely. Now let's keep up, let's keep unloading stuff. What's powering the base? A nuke reactor. Yes, we have a nuclear reactor. <laughs> Don't ask me how, but we got one like very early. Slap. I said slap. Slap. Thank you. And we just dunk our batteries in there. And we're done. The base has been moved into. Welcome to the world's slowest truck, everybody. Oh, uh, boy. 
Uh, this calls for celebration. All right. All right. I, I, I had the music cued. I had to use it at some point. We didn't have any abject failure moments yet. So I, I, I had to use it for something. But okay. Our base is now, or at least, or at least our base is started. Not finished yet, but started. We'll likely be adding on to this more in the future. Got some room to build out over that way. A little bit of room above. Not a whole lot of room this way, but that's fine. We'll mostly just be building up and to the left. You have to try to be that bad. That is actually, funnily enough, I saw a comment on that video that was something like, you know, it is actually a skill to play an instrument badly when you know how to play it well, because your muscle memory keeps getting in the way of playing it, sh of playing it shittily, and your brain doesn't, your brain doesn't register that that's what you're supposed to be doing. It's a bit empty, but hey, it's home. Okay, uh, we also can make ourselves the mobile vehicle, uh, or the vehicle upgrade console. Speaking of, I forgot the mobile vehicle bay. We'll have to go back and grab that. Uh, you always forget something. You always forget something. There we go. And I already know what I'm gonna make this thing. We did this last time. Make it bright ass purple. Or dark purple, I guess. The color of Twitch. Name it the subtrain. And we'll probably need to make the name like, uh, up, oh, no, that's the base color. Bring that back, bring that back. I need to, shit, now it's, now it's not right. Make that bright yellow, obnoxious yellow. There we go. Excellent. Now, I don't know if we can do that with all the modules. Uh, cause unfortunately only the C truck itself will be colored. I don't know if the modules will be as well. Let me go check. No, they are not. Well, let's see if they change when I reconnect. I need to actually connect with them in order to reconnect. Oh, they did. Nice. All right. So we have the subterrain. Now, will they change color when I detach? Let's see. No, they stay. Uh, looks like they stay purple. Okay, cool. Well, I need this thing to stay in the moon pool for now. So let's go ahead and slap you back in here because we got some upgrades, I think. Uh, sea truck perimeter defense. Already got that. Already got sea truck. C truck, C truck module. So nothing else I can make yet, but we can make ourselves a modification station. So we're gonna need another, uh, we're gonna need another computer chip, more lead, diamond, and titanium. Cool. Back to twisty bridges. Yay! You gonna try anything? Go away, you fiend and heathen. Oh, hello. How you doing? Go away. Lightning reflexes. What you didn't know is I am also an under- I am also, uh, an aquatic ninja. Go away, damn it! Leave me be! Give me fucking lead, thank you, Jesus. This game is stingy with the lead. Hey, don't- Do not go after my base! Get away from my base, bitch! Away! This is mine, not yours. Go away. Don't tell me they actually damaged my base. I don't think they did. It seems fine. Okay. Slap you right... Um... Let's actually put you right here. A little further to the left. Little... Little further. Little further. That works. <laughs> okay. We can make our thermoblade now. We can make the Mark II upgrade for the Sea Truck module. Uh, and the Mark III, but we need Kyanite for that. We don't have anything to- we don't have the parts for the ultra-high capacity tank yet. But, let's go ahead and make our Thermal Blade. And my Thermal Blade no longer bubbles when I'm in my base. Excellent. Alright! Base is complete. I have all the modules that I can make right now. Now, let me see about making that Recyclatron. We can make that very easily. All we need... ...is you... And you. Let's go ahead and slap you down. Uh, I, need to, I need to leave some room for uh, more lockers and grow beds and stuff. So we're going to put you a little further away. 
right there. This hybrid technology allows for the recycling of natural resource components without rinsing and sorting them into bins first. Thank you, PDA. Appreciate it. All right, let's check out these depleted uh, reactor rods. Uh, does not look like we can recycle them. Unfortunate. But while I'm here, I, I want to make myself one of these. So I may as well go get the lead again. <sighs> Fucking story of my goddamn life. Go get more lead. Now go get more lead. Now go get more lead. I am going to make the alien containment. Yeah, uh, just want to make... I, I want to make some other things first. Then we'll make the containment. I don't know why I want the nuclear reactor waste disposal thing, Bob, but I just do, okay? It's for aesthetic. Now, I need more lead, however. I need exactly one more piece, and if anything has been proven to me today, it's that this game does not like to give me anything when I only need one more of it. Uh, I really should have brought the mineral detector with me, but I, again, foolishly thought that this shouldn't take too long. Little did I know. Is that it? Nope. But I'll probably need more silver, so of course you give me titanium. God damn it, below zero. I don't know why. I just want to put those in there. Where to go next? Um, ah, let's take a look at some audio logs and stuff that we got from before. Uh, personal log. Woman in exosuit, give a CLT scanning, a last distress call. Nothing in there. Uh, well, pro oh yeah, we do need to go after the alien stuff. So we can either do that, or we can go to uh, the glacier. Oh, I also do need to go back and get my mobile vehicle bay. So we'll go get that first. And I think we'll go for like one of the nearby artifacts because I can't actually go down that deep. Let's check the reactor before I head out. Yep, still humming along. Alrighty. Perfect. Oh, that was smooth. Oh, what's up? Ah! <laughs> it's never not funny. I it just I'm just humming along, just do 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 do, do and then just suddenly something splatters against my windshield. I don't do it on purpose. I promise. This thing is a sea shanty. I got one better for you. Okay, that's getting really annoying. <laughs> uh, it's missing the 15 people pickpocketing one guy endlessly and all the other people fishing. Yep. Exactly. The true old school RuneScape sea shanty experience. Down we go. Whoa! Now down we go. Down deeper we go. Oh, am I, gonna, am I really going to do this? Yep, I'm doing this. Here is the base. Now, oxygen. Yes, good. Okay. Ah, damn it. I should have brought a beacon with me. I could have marked this place. Well, how far away is my truck? Oh, boy. Okay, so the truck is about 200 meters north of here, which means we need to take it south to reach this entrance. Finding plenty of uh, silver and, and lead, at least. And titanium, unfortunately. Oh, th thanks. Moon pool. I already fucking got that. Got that very early. I do appreciate the thought, but still fuck you, maybe. I should also probably go get some oxygen before I die. So, back on the subterrain. Take this baby southward. I think you can squeeze the truck in there. Oh, uh, well, let's see. I doubt it, but maybe. Oh. Uh. I thought I got it stuck. <laughs> I thought I actually got it stuck. <laughs> yeah, nope. Unfortunately, the truck will have to, we will have to abandon our truck for now, but we will be back. Don't worry. We have not yeed our last haw. Maybe I should have got the high capacity O2 tank before I came here, but oh well. If I die, then I die. Oh, thermal plant. Well, I hate to break it to you, game. I kind of don't need those anymore, <laughs> considering I can solve all my problems by just nuking it. But I guess I'll, I guess I'll pick them up. Power cell. 
Sweet. Don't need that. Prawn suits. Yes, please. Oh, hello, friend. Don't worry. I ain't, I, I ain't here to fight you. I ain't here to fight you. I'm just picking some stuff up. Oh, God damn it. That's not a voiced one. I'll have to read that later because I will drown until I unless I find some oxygen. Altera really did expand on this world. Yeah, they did. They absolutely did. Rubies. And more prawn suit. I think this is the last one we need. Yes. We can make our prawn suit now. Oh. And a jump jet module. Huh. Drill arm fragments. Don't need that, apparently. I thought I did. Oh, hey, Parvin. Can I get you to sign off here? What is all this? I don't know. Some kind of measuring equipment? Lil said she'd send someone over to set it up later. Ah, alien science nonsense. I wouldn't say that. You should ask her to show you some of her findings. It's pretty interesting stuff. There might really be someone down there. You ask me. The scientists have too much control over here. What? I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility extracts every mineral your scientists use to make their equipment. Their bases, their scanners, even your little sea trucks. I wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Parvin. Ah, tell Lillian she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity. Sounded like there was brewing hostility among the staff when Altera was still here. Gonna find me some more aliens. Down we go. This seems like one of the situations that I really probably should just go make the prawn suit and build it. Go make the prawn suit and build it. Go make the prawn suit and bring it. Whoa, ha, ho, ha, ha, hey, can you tell Seth's a little bit of a dumb? Under the showcase that Fred is the purest trucker in the world. Fred is just a nice, hardworking man who's just trying to do his job, just trying to get along with everyone. He didn't want no part in this whole Altera trying to take over the world business. He didn't want anything to do with the Kara virus. He just wants to drive a truck around and deliver goods. God bless that man. This the looks important. The artifact you found contains traces of information suggesting what has become of my people. No new tech from that, but one step closer. Uh, I'll take that. More diamond. Probably gonna need this. And silver. Definitely gonna need that. Better be some... Oh, a headlamp. Acquired. Huh. What did we just pick up? I'll have to read those once we're out of here and not drowning. What I'd like, though, is the grappling arm. Grappling arm would be wonderful right about now, but I don't think we can get that here. At least, uh, not to my knowledge. I think we're about done here, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves our prawn suit ready to make, and I don't think there's anything else around here that I can get without uh, risking drowning myself. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say we're done here and move the hell out. <clears throat> Pardon me as I lose my voice. This place just screams use prawn here. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of resources that you need the prawn suit, the drill arm to get. And you know, this is where you get the rest of the stuff that you need to make the prawn suit and the drill arm. So yeah, we'll be coming back here later. For now, we're just about out of time. So I'm gonna get back to my truck and we're gonna stop the stream there. We'll make our prawn suit next time. Okay. Before we end, I am going to make... Oh yeah, leave a beacon. Right. Should probably do that. And I think I have copper wire. I can make that. All right. Let's go make ourselves a prawn suit. First of all, gotta go swing by the old base to pick up the mobile vehicle bay. Then we'll go make our prawn suit as I hit everything on my way. <clears throat> well, I hope you all have been enjoying the stream i know we didn't get we didn't get a whole lot done today well no we did get a lot done today but we didn't do a whole lot of exploring didn't do anything particularly exciting this was this was just a build stuff day next time however we'll be getting to some exciting stuff we'll be exploring more alien artifacts using our prawn suit to get to the deeper areas we'll be braving the glacier and everything that awaits us upon it. 
and we'll continue to discover the mystery that surrounds 4546B's current state. I mean, I got promoted today. Well, glad you're glad, glad that did that. Uh, uh. Hi, I am a native English speaker. I cannot speak English. Let me just grab this, bring this back to the new base. Okie dokie. What do we need to make the prawn suit? Plastilingot, power cell, enameled glass, and computer chip. I'm pretty sure we got everything we need to make that. We do have a spare power cell. Hi. In fact, actually, I'm gonna test something. We have an almost, do we have an almost dead power cell? Yep. One dead power cell, plasteel ingot, which we have everything we need to make that, I think. Are we out of lithium again? Please, dear God, tell me we're not out of lithium again. We're out of lithium again. God, do I have any lithium? Any lithium? No. Okay, Max, I gotta get more lithium. Now I just need one piece of lithium. I'm gonna fucking just have a, so I did some mining off stream moment, and I'm gonna come back with like two fucking lockers full of lithium. Lithium, there we go. One, I only need one. I'll get more later. The very slim metal, lithium. <laughs> God, God damn it, I just got that. Ugh. Back to the base, plasteel. Now I need the quartz, because I need to make glass. I need the lead. Oh, please tell me I've got, I got lead in the truck. It's fine, I got lead on the truck. Don't panic, stop panicking. I have lead on the truck. Computer chip. Do I have, I need, back to twisty bridges. Back to twisty bridges. Oh, my bridges are getting in a twist, let me tell you. There we go. Okay, back to the base. We'll have our prawn suit before the day is done. I promise. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> yeah, that's just my life, honestly. Having to run back and forth and be in and out of the base over and over and over again. Okay. Let's see if this plan, this experiment with the, uh, the power cells works. Give me my prawn suit. Give it to me. Come back. Come back. Come back! Okay, it did kind of- it did work. It is on 50% power. Oh my god, they- they changed the way it sounds when you walk. Hang on a minute, I need to get on a flat surface. I like it. Sounds very beefy. They also changed the sound of the punches, too. I like. Yeah, it definitely sounds much heavier. Okay, let's go ahead and slap ourselves the jump jet module onto there. Which is back of the truck. <sighs> back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I'm doing for today. Uh, thank you for joining me. I do appreciate you stopping by. Oh, sorry, Jock, we just got done. We made our base. We found the pre we found the rest of the parts to make the prawn suit. Made the prawn suit. Uh, got my fucking cardio in by have with how much I had to go back and forth today. <laughs> so we have a couple of things that we can do today. We have other artifact uh, caches to go take a look at. In fact, that one is an artifact body, which is a part of the main goal of the game to get a body for Al. However, we also know that. Somewhere, likely on that huge glacier, uh, there is a frozen leviathan and a bunch of stuff to find as well. And, uh, our old friend, uh, the ice worm is waiting for us. So, let's shove three watermelons into our gullet all at once. Nice. Welcome back, Mr. X. We missed you. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the sub train and make my way to the big old glacier. I believe I have everything I'm gonna need. Do I have all the tools? May as well make sure I got everything, I got all the tools with me. Yeah, we can't make the snow fox yet. The rest of the parts for that are actually on the glacier. So we need to get there first. And say hello to these boys. They're just chilling. Don't worry, chat. 
They're not hostile. They they just vibing. The glowing octopuses, jellyfish, octopi things. As you can see, they're eyeball jellyfish. So they're freaky, but as far as I know, they are not hostile. They just they they just do, they just be. They they just be doing their thing. All right, let's go ahead and park this bad boy. Head on to the surface. And if I remember correctly, this is also where we can get the uh, the insulated suit specifically for cold weather. This is where the early access base was, wasn't it? Yes, we had, uh, when we were playing in the early access oh, version, right. we had our base around where we just parked the sea, uh, the sea truck. And the only reason I didn't put it there this time is because they expanded out where those jellyfish are and it makes that whole area a little bit more crowded. They're venomous if you touch them, at least according to the PDF. I've stayed well away from them and thus cannot confirm. Yeah, I don't get near them. I just know that they don't actively attack you. I've just kind of made it my own personal mantra of it may not attack you, but that doesn't mean you can go pet it. So just keep your distance and they'll keep their distance from you. Zeta, I have kind of a funny question for you. Have you picked up any kind of unusual interference during any of your robotics work? You mean like Parvin looking over my shoulder and telling me I'm assembling my circuits wrong because it's not how his dad did it back in the day? <laughs> no, like electrical interference in the audio or video. Any kind of flickering or clicking. Huh, can't say that I have. Hard Why? Oh, so it doesn't extend as far as the bay. What doesn't? When Fred was bringing me for my eval, we detected something. Almost like an SOS. At Delta? How retro. What was causing it? I think architects are trying to communicate with us. You always think that. Look, it may be my job to always think that, but I'm very good at my job. Not that HR seems to care. I won't breathe a word of this to Emmanuel. Thanks. You're a good friend. So it sounds like we weren't the only ones to get Alan's signal. We were just the ones to find him. All Terra facility beacon detected nearby. Hey. Unique identifier. Fire Robotics Center. That's where Sam worked. Okay, here's some shelter. Good. I'm gonna free up some inventory space. Because I believe we can start getting uh, heat plants from here. Uh, fevered peppers is what they're actually called, but I still call them heat plants. Ow! Right, I'm gonna search out here real quick before I go inside. There's probably something important somewhere around here. Maybe, perhaps, yes or no. Some stuff down there, it looks like. Let's get it quick. Ow, ankles. It's okay. We don't need them. No. <laughs> it was a weird trick you did with your scanner there, Robin. Spy pingling. Awesome. Okay, thank God. The spy penglings are creating so many new research opportunities, they're perfect for exploring tight spaces I can't squeeze into. Little pockets hiding lots of resources. These penglings can't carry much, but as an added bonus, the local fauna seem to generally ignore them. My little robot friends are too cute to get destroyed. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Right, that's our cue to get into the Fire Robotics Center right about now. Did I miss much? Uh, last time we played this, we spent basically... The whole stream. By robotics. This is where Sam worked. Making a base. It's a bit more stable than this one. And now it's time to continue searching for what happened to Sam. Jesus. Sam loved working here with her spy pinglings. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. Wow. I am surprised that you're all still alive. Well, enjoy your limited life while you can. Large filtered water. Thank you. Thank you very much. Diving too deep. I think these are actually made. I think these may actually be fan made uh, songs that they included. Practicing mindfulness as a leader. Your team is a sponge, just waiting to soak up the energy you bring into the room. Think of yourself as a teapot leader. You have the power to saturate your team with soothing, warm, with soothing warmth and healing. <laughs> Complete global saturation you also have the power to burn them the key to infusing those who follow you with calm uh, with calm is to manage the calm within yourself first that is the power of mindfulness in leadership which we'll discuss further in the next chapter but first let's explore another element of leadership that often gets overlooked the steeping time 
once you poured your healing magic over your team. Hmm. <laughs> you must wait for the oils and essences from the tea leaves to adapt to their new environments and become fragrant and fully realized. There is power in a healing leader, but a patient healing leader is unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even need to say anything, do I? Okay, we got the cold suit. Nice. How doth we make that? Okay, we need snow stalker fur, which means I think we actually need the pingling bot. So how do we make the pingling bot? Actually, we have everything to make that. I think we might actually have everything to make that on the truck. If we don't, well, the base is not too far away. Combined with a frozen water yes. sauce. Water purification tablets can create drinkable water as you explore the snowy surface. There it is. Also, spicy fruit salad. This must have been Sam's room. But something's not right. Maybe the fact that it's bent at, like, every degree imaginable? Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? <laughs> oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. Why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm gonna tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam, I, I need to think. I have to go. More corporate secrecy. Oh, how the hell did I miss that? Okay, shit got real. Hey, Sam. Oh, hey there, pangling buddy. <laughs> Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. You know, I think she's right. There is some weird stuff out there. The clicking sound? SOS. I heard it with my own ears. So you think she's right? There's intelligent life down there? I don't know. I'll leave that to you scientist types. This scientist is more at home with these penglings. But if my sister was here, she'd be all over this. Got a power cell charger at last. Just, need, just gotta make it now. Oh, <laughs> you brought a friend. Spy pangling in training. We're recording audio, is that okay? Of course. I have the photos you sent. Um... What am I looking at here? Kara pustules on the frozen Leviathan. That's nothing to worry about in and of itself. It's well contained. Uh -huh. The ice samples suggest it's been frozen since the time of the outbreak. The strain made the planet uninhabitable. If it mutates... Are you feeling unsafe? Uh, very. Uh, if I escalate this issue for you, will you feel comfortable enough to concentrate again? I have deadlines for the snow fox and the mining bots coming up. I really need your focus on the penglings. Oh, yeah. That's a relief, actually. I was expecting more of a fight. Nothing is more important than our safety. I'll take care of it, okay? Thanks. I won't let you down. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. And the Harbo, thank you for the 100 bits. Alien Intruder is among us, confirmed. I actually made that joke a couple of streams ago. Also, yeah, if something bad did happen to Fred, I I'm gonna be very upset. Hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. Where else would I be? Like I'd miss Fred being exposed as the alien intruder. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. But you didn't say you were not the intruder. No, not this argument again. I beg you. I think the game will settle this debate. <sighs> so, I just want to ask you something quick before Zeta gets back and we start playing. It's about the cavern with the frozen Leviathan. I investigated and- You I investigated? When? I didn't see you. Maybe you were asleep or busy doodling inappropriate sea creatures. <laughs> Those drawings are art. Anyway, I've looked into it, and I think we have reason to be concerned. 
It wasn't that long ago this planet was uninhabitable. But if we work together, we can get them to put an end to the Corral mutation experiments. I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. Samantha, you're paranoid. Come on now, you're Sam out. She has her safety at heart. And the rest of us don't? Zeta! <sighs> can we play the game now? Fine. God, poor Sam. Well, I absolutely share, I absolutely share her paranoia about Kara, because like from our perspective, we've seen what the fuck it does and we know how awful it was. It, as I said in the original Subnautica playthrough, after learning that it killed what, like f upwards of 50 billion, oh, hey, hello, teleporter. A after we learned it killed like what, upwards of 50 billion people across an entire planet, to quote myself, that's some spicy space aids. Also, Parvin draws uh, sea creature uh, furry art. Good to know. <laughs> you missed a one there. It wasn't 50 billion. It was 150 billion. Yeah, th there you go. Yeah, yeah. More like th I was I was lowballing it. Like I estimated a third of the amount that it actually killed. So yeah, uh, it's well contained. It's okay. It's contained by a sheet of ice that can melt above room temperature. Completely contained, sure. I, I honestly feel, I, I kind of feel like the Doom Slayer when, uh, uh, when Mr. Samuel Hayden was like, look, we had to, we had to siphon hell energy to solve the energy crisis on Earth or something like that. And Doom, and the Doom guy just punches out the fucking monitor. Just like, you do not know what you're messing with, buddy. Oh God, it is so fucking, okay, nope, nope. I need to go make the, uh, can I make the sea, fo can I, the sea fox? No, the snow fox. Can I make the snow fox yet? And I need to go make the goddamn cold suit. It is uh, freezing. Jesus. I have to wonder if that actually does damage to you if it drops on you. It probably does, and I should not test that. So, what we know so far is, uh, Sam tried to get people on board with, uh, stopping the research into the Kara virus, people wouldn't hear her out. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and guess that uh, she bef uh, there was a <clears throat> quote unquote accident that befell her that ended up uh, conveniently silencing her. I love that wording. A particularly useless glass container. All right, let's get back to the truck, make ourselves a couple of things. I need to make that pangling bot which I, then I need to use to get some snow stalker stuff. Uh, let's go check out that bridge first. I think there's something up there that we need. There is something of significance beyond this bridge. It was important to Oclera, but more important to me. Will it help us build you a body? I believe so, yes. All right, we have another marker, or at least we have another uh, direction to go. Get back to the truck, make ourselves a penguin bite, and then be on our way to getting some snow stalker fur. I miss Al09. Oh, Al is still a part of the channel. I just haven't uploaded in a fair bit, so he hasn't been seen very much. But I mean, Al, Al's still the mascot of the channel. We just haven't seen much of him yet. Partially because I'm also trying to get back to getting his design updated. It's just finding an artist that I think can draw him well is taking a bit of time, but I'll get there eventually. His update is taking a bit longer than expected, but he'll be back here eventually. Don't you worry. Hello again, friend. Oh. Well, that's very nice of you. I wish I could pet these little guys. I really wish I could. They are very cute. He's frozen at 100% on the latest update. <laughs> oh, that poor bot. He's going to be there for a while. He'll be back eventually, folks. Don't worry. Just give, just give him a bit. You know how firmware updates are. Oh, we also, oh, that's how I make the hydraulic fluid. So I actually should have saved that creep vine cluster, but I can go get another one. Uh, we also have, we can actually, we can just make a quick run back to the base, get the gel sacks and make that hydraulic fluid right away. Do I have what I need to make the snow fox though? Not yet, I need one more piece. Hello, how you doing? Oh yeah, we have a power cell charger. I don't think we can take that with us, but we can at least um, build that in the base while we're here. Okay, we need two lithium, advanced wiring kit, and titanium. Shit, do I have any more lithium? I don't think I do. I do not. Shit. Okay. Time to go get some more lithium. 
which is just my goddamn life right now, going back and forth to get lithium again and again and again. And gel sacks. We need one, uh, one two, three, four. And that'll get us over the bridge. Also leave this here to charge. And let me go check the power reactor, make sure we're not low. I doubt we are. Nope, we have not used a sink. We have not used up a single rod yet. We are good, poor fish. I can't stop it. I've tried. I've tried, and I cannot stop hitting the fish. It's a problem. It, it is a problem. It's one that I cannot. I, I just can't get away from. It will haunt me. I am. I am a fish murderer, and I. I didn't choose this life. Uh, here's one. I need two. I really should just get as much of this shit as I can carry. It's just gonna take me a while to find and I really cannot be asked. There it is. Those ambient noises, are they though? Oh no, those are those are actually hostile creatures, but they're not leviathans. We've only seen one leviathan so far, the Calicerate. I know of I know of others, but we've only seen, we've only caught a glimpse of the Calicerate so far. We didn't, uh, well, it was a fairly big glimpse. It got right in front of the truck and ate a fucking crypto shark. Thankfully, it didn't seem to notice us or it just didn't care. Okay, that's all the lithium I seem to be able to find here. And I don't really have much interest in sticking around any longer than I need to because I don't want this to turn into a mineral gathering stream. So we'll go ahead and say that's all I'm doing for now and we'll be back later if we need to be. Leave me be. See, that's when I'll cut back into the video. We've got plenty left to do today, and we're not even like an hour into the stream. Actually, no, we are. Fucking wow, what? It's already been an hour. <laughs> it certainly has not felt like it. Way to go, slugger. Oh, hello. This is one of the few fucks I have left this week's. I now give it to you. Don't touch it or I'll be forced to up it. Smile. Thank you, Dravis. I, I appreciate that. I, I will look after this fuck that you have given that you have gifted me, and I will cherish it. Glad that someone gives a fuck. Much obliged, partner. Speaking of which, thank you as well for the resub. Hi, Seth. <laughs> Hello. It, it, it's it feels like just two. It feels like just ten seconds ago that we spoke. What do you need to make those tablets? Uh, you need these frost vase plants and salt deposits to make these tablets, and then you combine these tablets with snow to make large filtered water. Go ahead and slap down a battery or power cell charger right here. Make sure it's symmetrical because my brain is weird. Right, back to the glacier, where we're gonna get ourselves some snow stalker fur, make our, actually, before I leave, let me make sure I got everything I need to make the, to make the suit so I don't have to come back here. Uh, da, 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 da. We need fiber mesh, which actually I think I do have that. I do. Okay, never mind. We're good to go. Welcome back. I know everybody was. I know everyone is eager to get back here. One. I said one, two, three. Okay, and now one, two, three. Excellent. Okay, now to go find some snow stalkers. Does Seth know about the worm? Yep. Kind of hard to not, considering it's all over the promotional material for this game. All right, little buddy. Down you go. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to put you down. And now... Ready for my assignments. <laughs> I love that little voice. Initiating reconnaissance. Uh. Oh my god, you could actually take a selfie with it. That is so cute. I don't... Can he jump? Beep. Nope, he doesn't. But he can beep. <laughs> oh, magnetite. That is important. Give me that. <laughs> oh, come the fuck on. Come on. <sighs> Fucking goddammit. <laughs> okay, fine. You get that one, but still, goddammit. All right, snow stalkers. Need to find some snow stalkers. If you would not mind. I require them. 
Are there any snow stalkers? Kind of need snow stalk. Oh, hello, bones. Excellent. And I can't scan them. Oh, wait. I think that's a snow stalker. It is. Okay. So let's get to a safe position. Gonna go ahead and drop that. Send our little buddy out. Hey, come back here. Come back. Let me pinch. <clears throat> okay, there's one. There's two. Okay. That should be all we need. Um. Wait a minute. Hang on, hang on a second here. Hang on a minute here. Does my does my pangling have the power to yeet a snow stalker? I have to see. I have to see. Okay, looks like he gets scared by the flare. Okay. Nope, nope. Come back. Come back. Yes, this way. This way. I Inconclusive. We'll we'll come back later. Alright, let's keep looking. There might be some more stuff. Also, I like how this one is just slightly squashed. I don't know why that makes me laugh, but it's like they it's like they took the, the model in Unity and just just pushed it downward. <laughs> yep. Ow! It's fine. Who needs ankles? Oh, god damn it. There's items over there. Wait. Hold on. I know who can go get them. Wait, can I pick him up, though? From here. I'm gonna save just in case I accidentally lose my pingling bot. Never mind. He cannot, uh... He cannot pick all these up. Yeah, we need the repulsion. We need the repulsion cannon. And unfortunately, I don't think I can get him out. Uh, well, just sit tight there, little buddy. We'll come back for you. Actually, I did just save, so fuck it. Let's get. Let's just get him back. I, it was for testing purposes. Self destruct. I don't want to blow the poor little thing up. I've already gotten attached. Nope, nothing here. Okay, I guess the last part of the snow fox is somewhere else. You ever get so hungry you just shove five peppers into your face? That's what I just did. <laughs> it's got to be taking every amount of restraint in Robin's body to not just start screaming in agony right now. That is so much spice she just shoved down her face. Y'all ever just consume? I am picking up a signature oh. of an important item belonging to my people. I will share its location. Thank okay. you, Al. Appreciate it. Signal uh. location uploaded to PDA. Okay, now to make the snow suit. <sighs> Made of tightly knit Kevlar microfiber and insulated with an alpine yoke around the neck and shoulders, the cold suit is designed to delay the onset of hypothermia. Thank you. Why are you following me? Go away. Hot tub stream when? Good question. Okay. Back to the surface we go. Did I just beach this thing? I might have. Nope, never mind. It actually freezes when you get out of it. Yeah, it fr Okay, that's kind of handy. When you break surface, you could just hit the you could just hit E and it'll freeze wherever you last were. Hang on, I need to test this. If we just go flying into the air, will will we stay breached? Let's see. Oh my god. Hang on a minute. I need to test the limits of this. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I accidentally knocked the jelly guy into the air. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Well, hang on. What if we exit out the back? What if we exit out the back? Let's see. No, it falls back down. God damn it. Oh, well. Please stop harassing the local fauna. Never. So do I have the thingamabobber on me? Ah, shit, did I leave that back in the... Please tell me I didn't leave the hydraulic fluid back in the base. Please tell me it's just back on the truck and not all the way back at the goddamn base. Okay, never mind. It's here. We're good. All right, let's at least get this bridge set up. Slap that in there. Extend the bridge. Patterns to the northeast. It would be worth investigating. But be careful. Of what? I recall ravenous creatures tunneling beneath the ice. And I know what that is, but I'm not going this way and... until I have the snow fox. I'm not going that way until I have the snow fox. I'm going to get the rest of the snow fox. Time for Gaint Worm. Almost. 
Once I find the means to outrun the damn thing, if my luck is to be believed, the last fragment is probably in that segment of the base that uh, made us Snowstalker wouldn't let us go into. Yes, Hollow. Uh, back when this game was still in early access. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Never mind, we found it. Let's go make this thing. What do we need to make it? I think we have absolutely everything we need to make this. So let's go make it first. Then we'll go tangle with the worm. So as I was going to say, back in the early access, before uh, the game was fully released, uh, when you scanned the remains of an ice worm, um, rather than giving a detailed description, because the detailed description wasn't ready yet, it just said giant worm, or at least it was trying to, but they made a typo that said gaint worm. We'll see if there's anything different about the ice worm. I doubt there will be, but it's worth checking out. Also, there was a cave over there I missed. I'm gonna go take a look in that before we go any further. Oh, missed this. this oh. Could provide useful information. Missed Process all of this. I can visualize the location where we may find an important component for my body. The image is hazy, but I am sure it is correct. A stark surface landscape, dangerously cold. Curved spires stretch to the sky. So now we can make ion batteries and ion power cells. I'll do that later. Oh. How do humans cope with the loss of memories? Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know, it just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that? I'm warning you, if you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of a leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient? Efficiency aside, <laughs> does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. Again, I like the conversations between these two because as you've seen, while they can get sassy with each other, they're genuinely trying to understand one another. Or, and it's, it's it, Al's curiosity towards humankind is kind of endearing. So, yeah. Oh, ultra high, ultra capacity tank. Okay. Was not expecting to find that, but all right then. We found the, we found the last fragment to the ultra high capacity tank and we need four lithium. Of course we do. Of course we do. And of course the thing we need to find isn't down here, and now I'm about to be bombed for my fucking trouble. Ow. I just want some gold. Can I have some gold, please? Yeah, may as well head back to the fucking whoops. All right, that one actually swam in front of my truck. You can't pin that one on me. It literally jumped out in front of me, officer. Blaming fish for insurance fraud now, aren't we? Of course. I mean, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Fight back legally? They're fish. So we need ion cube, gold, silver, and lithium. God fucking damn it. Oh. Uh... You seem to be going the opposite direction of me. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you to it. Maybe you hit a, an invisible underwater current. Wow, there is actually no lithium around here. All right, fuck it. I'll do this later. I don't even know if I can replace the battery in the snow fox. I'll, I'll make the snow fox first. If I can replace the battery, I'll do it later. But for right now, I am really not in the mood to go hunting for yet more lithium. Good evening, Kalina, you, or Kalina. You caught me in uh, <laughs> an anti-lithium mood, <laughs> which was not a mood I was aware I was capable of feeling, but it apparently is. 
Oh well, I'm pretty sure we can. There, the the hover pad just infinitely recharges the snow fox. I just wanted to see if I could make my snow fox cooler and run off a of fucking nuclear ion power. I was wanting to make it a bit closer, but there should be fine. Boom, and boom. Any, there we go. Okay, we got ourselves our snow fox. Does it have storage? I don't think it does. But we can name it and we can change its color. Okay. What are, are we just going to paint this one completely white and call it the annoying dog? Yeah. I named my last one Toby Fox. We're going to name it. We're going to name this one Toby Fox as well. Make sure I actually spell it correctly. There we go. Just put just make everything pure white. <laughs> yeah, we are coming up on the 2 hour mark, aren't we? I'll go a little bit longer. Because I at least want to get this segment started, but it has been about two hours. Uh, I'll go. I'll go a little longer. Oh. Right. I, f I already forgot. I already forgot about that. I, I gotta see what what other poses can we make the what other poses can we make uh, does does Robin do? Let's take out the Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking penguin just photo bombing. I love it. Okay, she does do different poses. This thing does keep us warm because it is a uh, it is uh, as you can see a little bit of a light show. We don't have uh, a jump module for it yet, unfortunately. Okay. Now comes the fun part. It is unusually quiet and that makes me very nervous. Okay, there's a thing. Let's go investigate the thing. <laughs> it, the, our, our wormy friend is being very, uh, very, very restrained. That makes me not feel good. Uh, I'm speaking on behalf of the entire mining crew. Day in, day out, we're, risk it, we're risking our lives in this cursed territory. When we signed up for this mission, we were not told about these ice worms. We lost a solid fifth of the crew before Altera took any action. Six of our friends were emergency shuttled off the planet. Marcus was supposed to retire after this job. Instead, he was skewered by an ice worm. Have you ever seen someone get skewered by an ice worm? These thumpers that the company delivered are just a stopgap solution. They do a great job of distracting the ice worms when they have power. How are we supposed to use them when the batteries burn out so quickly? Would it be possible to send us additional replacement batteries? A little more juice would go a long way. Well, thankfully we can make ion batteries to help with that. Oh dear. I love and hate exploring these tunnels. They're marvels to the power of the ice worms. The sheer amount of ice they are able to cut through in moments fly, takes us a couple of days. Their tunneling mechanism is ruthlessly efficient. Altera could only dream of having this sort of mining capability. The ice worms uncover mineral-rich pockets as they tunnel, but going under, but going beneath the surface is so risky. We've lost so many already. I don't understand why we have to stay in this particular area of the glacier. I can't wait to get off this hell hole, ice hole, whatever. I hope you're enjoying the relative calm back at Copa. I can't see a fucking thing. Oh, this is not good conditions to go out on an ice worm hunt, but uh. Okay, okay, now I can see at least a little bit better. I'm like bracing myself right now because like I, I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Um... I don't think I want to be down here. They're awake, all right, and they are not sounding too pleased. Ah, 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 come on, this is not the time to get stuck in the geography. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. I think I may have confused them, though, by going under here. Ooh. I know this thing is coming, and I it's still scary. Yeah, I remember it being a lot more hostile too. I wonder if we may have like thrown its AI for a bit of a loop. It's not gonna last forever, I'm sure. Like the moment I start driving again, it's probably gonna show up. 
Okay, there's an architect glow up in this direction. Oh, they, I think they acted. I think they just made the attacks by this thing a bit more rare. The cable housing contains what, uh, what are effectively a form of multi-mode fiber optic communication networks physically shielded by a microscopic layer of pressed diamond dust. God, God damn. That is fancy. Where is it? Where the fuck is it? Oh! 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 Off by a few meters, buddy! Oh, quick repair, 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 and get back on, get back on, get back on, go, 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 go. I don't know if they knocked me off or if I just accidentally panicked and hit E and jumped off. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this here and just spoil the rest of this for you. Because in all honesty, I can't be bothered to edit through the rest of this one. The Ice Worm encounter was so damn disappointing to me. Let me explain why. So for those who may not know, I did play some of Below Zero when it was still in early access, and back then, the Ice Worm encounter was actually one of my favorite parts of the game, at least out of what I had played. It was a fast and frantic chase scene that was a lot of fun. Sure, it wasn't anything like the slow-burning, gradual build of atmospheric terror like the first game, but hey, I'm a fan of action and thrills too, and the original Ice Worm was definitely that. I sadly lost all the footage of my original encounter, but while it was a little buggy, I still enjoyed it. Outrunning this giant thing on the Snow Fox as it could come from just about anywhere was awesome. And then... The final version happened, and oh my god, what did they do to my baby boy? First of all, the Ice Worm is far less present in the entire encounter. Now, that certainly threw me for a loop at first because I knew it was coming, but it was just taking its time. That part was good, but there was no real danger after that build-up to its first appearance as it barely attacked me at all. And when it did, all it revealed to me is that they somehow broke it more than the early access version. Look at this range! The thing's got hitboxes that'd shame a fucking plessy off! It's hitting me from a different postcode! And the Snow Fox. Oh my god, the Snow Fox. What did they do to you? It wasn't even that good to begin with, but it was a nice and speedy way to traverse the surface. But look at this. Every single hit I take from the Snow Fox is knocking me off of it, and it didn't used to do that. So not only could I not dodge this thing at all, the Snow Fox was borderline useless, since I can't exactly outrun a hitbox that's about 50 feet misaligned from the thing it's supposed to be attached to. So as you can probably guess, I left this part feeling very, very very deflated. And I was actually looking forward to this. I had a fitting song picked out for the chase, was thinking of all the edits I could do, and in that moment all I could think of was, well, fuck, won't be able to do any of that now. So rather than try and salvage this one, I'm just gonna shuffle us out of here. And uh, spoiler warning, this was kind of the beginning of the slow descent in my enjoyment of Below Zero. And I don't even dislike it, but I definitely feel conflicted about it after having finished it. I'll hold off on my main viewpoints until I make the big video comparing it and Subnautica 1 to each other, which is still a ways away. However, with that said, I want to let you all know what the plan is for the next upcoming project. Some of you already know I'm wanting to do another big retrospective video like I did on Subnautica, since I really enjoyed that and it was, uh, really successful, so I want to see if I can make Lightning Strike twice, or three times I guess, by going back to one of my other favorite games. Plus, I'm kind of burnt out on gameplay videos at the moment and would like to devote more attention to this next big project. So, and I know this isn't anything new for the channel, but I figured I'd actually let you all know this time, I'm going to be going dark here for however long it takes to get it done. I may release something small here in the meantime, but all my effort is going to be going toward the big one. And also because I know some of you will ask, no, I'm not going to be making a big video on Deltarune Chapter 2. Though I did stream my full playthrough of it and I loved it to absolute pieces, and the VODs for that are still on my Twitch channel if you want to check them out. Once we get some more chapters, I'll probably get around to actually making content on it. And speaking of streaming, I'll still be doing that, even while I'm working on the big one! So if you haven't already, go follow me at twitch.tv slash I stream primarily on the weekends around 4pm Central US time. 
Also, Discord server. I have one. You can join it and be amazed at how even my community shares one collective brain cell. What can I say? They take on after me. Anyway, that's all, folks. So uh, thank you very much for watching still. And I'm very sorry this one is ending on such a weird note. Channel's going through some growing pains right now, and I figured I'd just bite the bullet and dive in head first. I'll see you all back here soon, hopefully. And until then, y'all have a lovely evening, and I'll see you next time. Is it time for Gaint Worm now? We had Gaint Worm last stream, actually. Uh, unfortunately, one problem has emerged in that I think they actually made the Ice Worm encounter worse, which is disheartening to say. The Ice Worm's hitbox was already kind of wonky in, uh, in the early access version, but I figured that was fine. It wasn't too bad. You could at least, you could at least still avoid it. They made it even wider, or at least it seems to be even wider. And you get knocked off the snow fox every time it pops up, which is really fucking annoying. So I am honestly tempted to march my fucking prawn suit all the way over here, jump onto this island with it, and just walk through that whole encounter with a big Iron Man. Yeah, because it's weird. Uh, in the early access, um, you didn't get knocked off the snow fox every time it emerged. Your snow fox just got launched upward and knocked around every time it attacked. Anyway, so we're going to finish exploring the glacier today. Uh, hopefully the snow fox will behave itself this time. Uh, hi, how you doing, friend? A little close there. That's all right. I know you're probably just curious. Just keep your distance. I wouldn't recommend cuddling up to this thing. It can get very loud and uh, it might... I might accidentally back into you when I pull out. Just saying, that's on you if that happens. I am not to be held liable for my own poor driving. Why do you have the ion cubes? Because we might find teleporters on the glacier. We already found one, and may as well keep them with me. You never know when I might need them. So, this is the Altera facilities base. So we found, uh, so there's, so there's something else in the lily pads, I believe. We found the Delta Station already. There's another part of the glacier that we have yet to explore, all the way to the west. Or wait, Maybe that's where we are now. It's hard to tell. Um, I think that's, I think this is actually where we are right now at the, uh, the eastern portion. Well, it depends. What direction are we facing in the game? If I were to say, face the direction of my truck, we would be facing southwest. So that would mean, uh, Mm, I've got nothing. So I'll figure that out later, I guess. For now, I'm going to go over here, make sure I didn't miss anything. If I missed a stabilizer mod for this thing that helps keep me on it, that would be really nice. Oh, yeah, no. No, no, wait. We just went in a fucking circle. <laughs> we just went in a goddamn circle. Okay. What have I missed? Not much. We just started. I am currently trying to wrangle with my lacking sense of direction and figure out which way on the glacier we have not yet gone. I think this way. I don't know for certain, but we'll figure this out eventually, I'm sure. Uh, let's take a look at that other map. What's the purple bit? No clue. I don't think we've seen that yet. But there's definitely more to find here. Okay, so it looks like there is... I don't think we've gone to that red circled area. Looks like there is a pathway to the north of the Phi Robotics base, where that gateway was. Well, I'm already in here. I may as well look around, see what we're, uh, see what we're, see what we're dealing with. Hi, how you doing? I pull out my repair tool in a threatening manner. I meant to pull out my scanner to scan this. Watch out or Seth will repair you. I mean, it could give you a pretty nasty shock. I can't tell if we've gone in a circle or if this is somewhere different. Whoa. Nice to meet you. Penglings. Actually, hang on a minute. Before we continue, I want to see how the penguins respond to the bot. They just seem to be kind of just chilling, honestly. Lovely. My pretty penguins. <laughs> oh, the companionship and infiltration value actually go up. That's cute. Love me, my pretty penguins. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and get back to my body before I end up freezing to death. All right. Whoops. Put that back down. Uh, is that, th is that the ice worm or is that something else that I just heard? 
I'm gonna guess it's the ice worm. It's very loud, whatever. Is that a snow stalker puppy? Hang on, I gotta see this. Oh my god! Okay, yeah. Uh, Mama's angry at me. I'm gonna go ahead and back up, but... Ah! <laughs> there are snow stalker puppies! That's so cute. I want to pet it, but I think Mama would eviscerate me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave him be. But that's adorable. Uh, oh! Speaking of which, hello again, little friend. Now, I don't want to hit you, because I feel like your parents would hunt me down until the end of the world. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave you be. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, I, I get the picture. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. I am going. All right. Uh, I, I said put the repair tool on the bar. Thank you, because I need to fix up the repair tool from snow fo uh, from fuck. Fix up the repair tool. Fix up the snow fox from snow stalker damage. I can speak the English great. Let me tell you, no one can speak it better than me. Uh, need to make sure I'm not about to do anything stupid here. I mean, it's me. Of course I am. I don't want to hit... I. These little guys are like landmines. I don't want to hit any of them. If I, if I hit any of them, my karma goes down. Right now, I don't have a goal in mind. I'm just exploring aimlessly. I feel like we're going in circles. Probably. Hang on, I want to, I want to see if I can scan the little guy. Oh my god, you can hear it snoring. I want to pet it so bad. Do you not like flares? Okay. It seems they do not like flares. Good to know. So we're still no closer to finding what I want to finding what I wanted to find. Let's get back to the uh, Fire Robotics Lab where that uh, teleporter was, and at the very least we could use that as a uh, we could use that as a landmark, or we'll just immediately find something new by accident. That works too. Snow Fox Jump Module. Yep, kind of needed that. Now, okay, now we're in the purple tree area. This was what I was thinking of. So if we're in the purple tree area. Let's take a look at that there data bank. There's really only, let's see, are we nearby a tower? No. So there's really only one way we could have gotten in here and that's probably in that, uh, that one Eastern entrance, which means that we want to go south or not. Okay. Um, fuck it. We'll, we'll explore. We'll explore and figure it out as we go. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, magnetite, yes. Yes, give me that. We're gonna need that. I know we're gonna need a lot more of that. Or rather, I'm pretty sure we will. There's one more piece in there. Can I grab it? <coughs> Come on, damn it. There we go. Got it. Why does that jump ship module for the Snow Fox make me think that some players try to do some stunts which would make uh, Evil Knievel proud? Probably. Oh, speaking of Evil Knievel, uh, well. I think I am about to do what you think I'm about to do, chat. Wish me luck. <laughs> Suck it, bitch! <laughs> that was awesome. I'm surprised you did that without fucking up and crashing. I mean, a completely fair expectation to have because it is me we're talking about. Okay, here's the tower. So let's take a look at that map again. If the tower's here, then the tower should be facing north. Yes. So we want to go south. This unusual multi-trunked tree is highly adapted to the harsh conditions of its glacial environment. Nutrient sources are infrequent and limited on the glacier. Dangerous and these trees weather approaching. Seek shelter. And these trees create fast growing root systems that search out rocky material trapped in the ice. The dense foliage capture captures energy from the sun via photosynthesis and provides a sheltered environment for the growth of its bioluminescent fruit. Isn't that interesting, chat? Ah, yes. There is actually a pangling spot right here. We'll have to make this quick. I'm sorry. And that does not take up inventory space. Interesting. If only you could jump, little beep. We need to get jump jets for our pangling bot. I think we're getting a little too far away. Vision's getting blurry. Yeah, and I can't go too much further. Let's just make a quick circle around here. I don't want to risk damaging it, so I'm not going to drop off from that. <laughs> Ouchie. Ouchie. 
I love this little thing. It's so cute. Okay. <clears throat> I have to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I think that was actually the only thing to get here. I don't see anything else that immediately stands out. Uh, was this... Okay, so it was further... It looks like there should be something here, but I don't think there is. Aside from a bunch of snow stalkers that really don't like me. Oh no, there is another pingling area. Is this safe though? It isn't. Ha, okay, gonna have, to be gonna have to make this quick, little buddy. That looks like a antidote. Sam must have stashed this here. Oh, an antidote for the Kara virus. Okay. Well, we found that at least. Anything else? Anything actually down here aside from quartz? Oh, possibly. Nope, just quartz. All right, let's get back before we freeze. Running out. Of inventory space. Pick up the bot. Pick up the pingling bot. Okay, hang on. Pick up the bot! I need to get in the snow fox quickly before I freeze. Oh no. Oh no you don't. Come here, you're coming with me. Okay, we need to, we need to get this thing back to the sea truck. Stat. Did you just bag a pangling? I did. It was about to get eaten by a snow stalker. What? You saw the way the snow stalker was looking at- Look. Look, sometimes I act- oh, I- Okay. A lot of the time, I act without thinking. That was one of those times, but I think I'm justified. Okay. Besides, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna let him go. I'm gonna let him go. See? There you go, little guy. Have fun. I'll find my way back to the truck eventually, I'm sure. I'm just going in a circle, aren't I? Yes, I am. All right, pardon me. I did not mean to intrude. I'm just trying to... Find my way back home. I am a lost man looking for his truck. Stock up on flares. I almost just died, man. I was chilling in the outskirts, drinking my special tea, trying to watch the sunsets, right? Which I know is technically against protocols if I'm not accompanied by my official Altera accountability partner, but that's beside the point. Focus, Elise. The flares. I knocked out the headlight of my snow fox, sorry, and strapped a flare over the dash. I was chilling and it flickered out. I heard snow stalkers growl like five minutes later. It scared me and I spilled my tasty beverage. Anyway, I hopped on the snow fox but couldn't see. The sun had set. Obviously, I heard you them running towards me. I had one flare left in my pack. I got it out and foosh. All I see are snow stalkers in the light. But what's this? They're scared of me now. I rode out of there. I think it was the flares. We should definitely uh, dedicate some resources to creating more. Will Altera reimburse me for my tea? I'm gonna go ahead and let you answer that one. I don't think they will. Like, at all. Oh, hello, friend. Excuse me! Ow! Worth it. So worth it. I'm pretty sure there is still one more module for the Snow Fox to find somewhere. We haven't found everything for it yet. But the jump module is good. I'll take that. Actually, yes, I think we did find our way. Yes, finally found our way back to the Fire Robotics Lab. Good. Okay, so that means it's a straight shot back to the old hover pad where we can set this thing up to get recharged, then come back out to look for everything else we missed and also organize my fucking inventory. Whee! Can I do a double one? Ah, damn it. I thought I could maximize my uptime by hitting both geysers. Okay, found our way back. Excellent. And Tokyo Drift in. Nice. Whew, okay. Let's go make that, uh... Let's go make that jump module. Why don't we? As I die face first into Glacier. <laughs> okay. Let's deposit some of this. Oh god, we're running out of room. We are severely running out of room. Okay, that, that'll have to do, I guess. Also, these jelly eyes are very loud. I am not a fan. All right, how much power does that give it? I'm gonna guess only about tw Wow, this thing charges fast. It was on there for only like what five ten minutes at most god damn okay and they changed it at all i think they made it a little bit higher nice all right let's slap that back on there and let's go back to the base offload some of this material and then be right back i'm sure you're fine up there also we do have a shortcut back into the ice worm area which I'm not sure I want to go in yet, considering there's probably sti- Sorry, considering there's probably still stuff to find. 
What did the cargo modules need again? Um, uh, how are you doing? <laughs> Hi. Are you having a good day? You seem to be confused by something that is bigger than you and that you cannot bite. Okay, have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny. Oh, that would mean I need to get more lithium. I really don't I feel like detected uh, an energy signature of some strength. I am not sure what it is for. Go ahead and share it. Can't hurt. Okay, we got another architect look at or another architect artifact to go look at. We'll do that later. Okay. Let's go offload all this mineral. <laughs> Oh my god, I, oh my god, I did not realize how many fucking batteries we picked up, holy shit! Slam dunk myself back at the modules. Smooth as hell. Uh, you can pilot the modules, but uh, it's faster to just bring your truck to them. And cooler, honestly. I mean, what's more fun? Very slowly dragging the modules through the water to the truck or fucking drifting the truck into the modules and taking off at light speed without missing a beat. I think we all know which is the correct answer. Why do you, are you so curious about my truck? Or are you curious about me? All right, well, you just, you're just vibing. I can, I can, I can respect that. I still don't feel like we're done with this part yet. I feel like there's another module somewhere that I missed. There's a bunch. It looks like there's actually. Oh, that. Okay. Okay. That little marking. Those little blue markings. Uh, those are penguin spots. Those are penguin bot spots. And the one that's uh, circled on the map is where Sam hid the antidote for the Kara virus. Oh, <laughs> fucking geyser with your. I gotta say, perfect time for a joke, but fuck you all the same. Oh, hello, friend. Boing. Sam, your map fucking sucks. I just gotta say, just follow the river and we'll find our way eventually. Or not. Fucking Christ. Ah! Hi. Hello. Let me back on my, let me back on the fucking bike, please. Fuck. I get it. I get it. I'm leaving. Jesus Christ. Actually, hang on. Is there anything actually below this? Maybe, actually. Also, I'm probably going to drown down here. Drowning is, so I'm told, good for my health. Or no, not drowning. <laughs> not drowning is good for my health. The opposite of that, Seth. You are almost there. <laughs> Am I going in circles? I feel like I might be. I can't tell anymore. Blah. Okay. Uh... Let's check down this way instead. If it uh, goes anywhere different, which I doubt it does, but perhaps I'll find something that gives all this pointless wandering meaning. Yeah, the, I'm not entirely sure why the ice is glowing green. It, ha I may, it may have something to do with the architect's energy structures. Oh, hello again. I was just leaving. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Like, the first thing I see is a penguin just checking out my bike. Like, what is this thing? It looks interesting. And it's warm. I want to touch it. Okay, so never mind. Following the fucking uh, river does nothing. Uh, we actually do want to stay just completely on the upper edge. In fact, it looks like we need- we would probably need the jump module to get over that bridge anyway. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> That's a bad idea, Seth. <laughs> that was a bad idea. There was nothing over there for you to jump on. <laughs> I just see a geyser and I'm like, I must jump. No, no jump. No jump, Seth. Okay, fuck it. I don't think this, I don't think the anti uh, ice worm module is here. That's really the only thing I'm looking for. Alrighty. 
Well, that was fun. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I don't think there's anything else here for me to find. I'm gonna find my way back and I'm gonna go actually like try and progress the game a little bit for the first time in this whole stream. I apologize that today has really just been Seth meanders about. That's really been most of a stream, hasn't it? All of your streams aren't Seth meanders about. Well, at least usually Seth meanders about with a bit more direction and purpose. Not this time though. Oh, hang on. This is different. What happened here? Oh, wait a minute. I is th many things here. Death is this the thing? I think this is it. There it is. Frozen Leviathan at last. Jesus. I remember finding this in the early access and it was just like a it was like it was like a moment of uh wait, those look like teeth. Oh fuck, it like 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 I just slowly realized what it was I was looking at. I got a second scanner. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. My investigation of the fire in Oh wait. This was Sam's necklace. She never took it off. Let me replay that. My investigation of the fire excavation site, including the cave entrance and surrounding area, revealed minor cosmetic damage to Altera survey equipment and significant structural damage to the natural cave entrance and supports. Resulting debris prevents cave access without heavy excavation equipment. Only foot access is currently possible. We are reporting two casualties, Pavan Ivanov and Samantha Ayu. Both bodies were found beneath the rubble at the cave entrance. Ivanov had just entered the cave. Footprints were still visible by the entrance. Deeper into the cave, Ayu appeared to have sustained a fall. Poor souls. What was Ayu doing? Nothing in her file suggests a history of vandalism or carelessness. And yet, I can only conclude that the cause of the collapse was employee negligence. We will need to investigate a possible connection to the explosive damage reported at Omega Lab. If there is a connection, who is responsible? It appears that your sister's death was accompanied by significant destruction. Doesn't make any sense. She would never destroy a base. Well, baselessly. Are your feelings confused? I am detecting more than one. I don't know. I, I feel... disillusioned? Worried? I thought I knew Sam better than I really did. When we were kids, I was always the one breaking and rebuilding things. She wouldn't even go into a bake sale without a plan. For classic oatmeal cookies, no less. So serious. She wouldn't have anything to do with my molecularly transformed caramel pretzel lumps. Your mind goes easily to food. To distract you from your feelings. Okay, I think that's enough mind reading for now. This wasn't negligence. That's not Sam. This was something else. I'm thinking, <clears throat> right? We already know that, uh... Patrol I'm gonna stop this for a second. We already know that uh, Sam and Marguerite plan to sabotage Altera in their research into the Kara virus to stop their plans for using it. I'm thinking something went wrong with the explosive that Marguerite was using. Either that or Parvin, uh, Parvin was the one that sabotaged the sabotage, which killed them both. Or there was just a freak accident. I don't know. I still don't know enough. Patrol log, excavation site, day 33, morning. I thought I saw something moving on the screen, but it was just that I sneezed, wiped it off. Fred's not convinced the Leviathan is really dead, but I've never even seen it blink. Nevertheless, I am now undertaking the mandatory foot patrol. Inside the cave, confirming a whole lot of nothing. Creatures still dead. Cave still boring. I miss the mining site. At least you could talk to people. Oh, wait now. What's this? A rock. I found an interesting rock. That makes three this week. The others will be happy to have a friend. Excuse me? Concluding patrol. Perimeter secured. Nothing to report. 
End log. Hello, my name is Parven. I am human. Humans find rocks to make friends with other rocks. This is human speech. I'm not sure what the fuck that was. I think Parvin was just literally bored out of his mind. Jesus, walking near this thing is unnerving. Fuck, it is huge. It is way bigger up close. Okay. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Frozen Leviathan Skull. Lots of room for a brain, but it's mostly bone and fat. Environmental conditions and subtle mutations suggest that this variant of the Kara bacterium's rate of transmission is somewhat lower than that of the widespread outbreak previously reported on 4546b. The bacteria's capacity to survive for a long period of time off of the Leviathan's corpse suggests highly efficient saprophytic properties. Scans indicate that the pustules are merely the visible component of a dense bacterial network feeding off of the dead cells of the Leviathan. Despite the risk, further research is recommended. Yeah, it is a very big boy. It is a big boy. Can you imagine what this thing must have looked like when it was moving? Ow! <laughs> let's... Ow. Let's imagine without breaking my ankles. What else was big enough to warrant a predator this large uh, requires injector container to function. Sample of what? Oh, maybe the antidote. Shit, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, shit. It would do, I think we need to go back to the base and grab the antidote. Better question, what would that prey have been able to eat to sustain itself? Yeah, that's, that's, th these are the questions that I'm wondering. If there was an actual predator this big, there had to have been life big enough to sustain it, or at least plentiful enough to sustain it. So what else was on this fucking glacier, aside from the ice worm? Did it eat ice worms? Maybe. <laughs> oh, hang on. Par- oh, this is Parvin's uh, office. If you're not cheating, then you won't mind if I record this conversation, is that right? I have nothing to hide. Then what were you whispering about with Vin? Nothing. That guy is so lawful good, it's annoying. Wait, so you were trying to cheat. But no cheating occurred, so what does it matter? It matters to team morale. If you can cheat in the game, how can they trust you out there? I'm sorry, did you feel left out? Perhaps you would like to make a deal. Ugh, Parvin, no. You're shameless. You really never give up, do you? I don't. That's true. <laughs> Have a manual put that in my next eval. Very persistent. I'm not sure if I like Parvin. Let's see what else we got. My dearest Adeline at Rosita. Ugh, not dearest. Who says that anymore? Adeline, Rosita. Everything on the mission is going very well. Do you see now? Your doubts were unfounded. I am loved here, and... Oh, no. Rosita will say, Papa, why do you have to brag all the time? Papa, it's embarrassing. I want to apologize. Okay, no, that's taking things too far. I know we didn't leave things on the best note, but I want you to know I love you and I miss you. I don't know why I say the things I say sometimes. They just come out. I was going to send you a message saying how great everything is here and how everyone loves me. I've had a promotion to a very important security dossier. I'm treated like a hero. But really, this is a cold, wet planet. The scientists are full of themselves. There's no action to speak of. The only thing I look forward to is weekly games of Alien Intruder, but more than that, of coming home to you. I am sorry for all the times I did not appreciate you, of our family, or the good life we had. And I... Oh, hello, friend. Pardon me. I was in the middle of reflecting on what I just heard. Uh, I kind of spaced out there for a minute. Okay. Uh, let me turn the tracking beacon back on for my truck. Ha, ah, fuck. Heavy shit went down on this goddamn planet. This whole planet is just fucking cursed. I mean, you've seen the shit that goes down on this goddamn planet. This is not exactly a vacation of a lifetime going on here. 
This planet is a goddamn death trap. It was for the architects and it's and it is for everyone who comes here. Also, yeah, alien intruder, that is literally just among us. Okay. I'm going to have to fucking assume I'm going the right way because yet again I cannot see shit. But okay, let's go back to the base, grab the antidote, make our way back there, and see what happens when we slap it into the injector. See, this is kind of what I like about both the Subnautica games. Despite the fact that you only heard about people from their audio logs, each one still sounded like they had a lot of character to them. In Subnautica 1, the star of the show was the mystery behind what happened to the architects and the planet itself. In this one, it's much more about the people. I'm not sure which I like more, but I think they're both good for their own reasons. It's probably why Subnautica 1 had a silent protagonist because the humans were not the, were not the focus and why there's a voice protagonist in Below Zero because this time the humans are the focus. It's different, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Where did my truck go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> did, did these fuckers push my truck? Did you bitches push my truck over here? Why'd you do that? <laughs> I wonder if the next Subnautica game might be more horror focused, even more horror focused than the first one. <laughs> that would be interesting. But again, that's just me making wild speculation. I would be all down for that because I want to get nice and spooked by undersea madness again, but we'll see. <laughs> Going longer today? I don't know. At the very least, I want to see if the antidote is what we slot into that uh, sample machine and what happens when we do. If I have to imagine, it's just a thing of, well done, you've stopped the Kara virus, but now you have to figure out what happened to Sam. Or something like that. We'll see, I guess. Or I've gotten this completely wrong and nothing will happen and we'll end the stream on a confusing note. <laughs> At least we'll not be dead. Okay, let's check this here antidote, see if this is what we actually need. Just in case we need more than one, I've got four on me, so we should be good to go. Don't worry that my hands were not on the handlebars, completely fine. Ah, my neck, ow. Ah, I gotta, I gotta work on my, I gotta work on my posture when I'm sitting down. That just reminds me of Evolve, who, that was a game that was doomed to fail, wasn't it? From the fucking start, poor thing. I weep for Evolve. God, it's like such a cool concept for a game. It's just such a shame it was handled so terribly. Like the 1v3 multiplayer slash co-op thing may not be entirely new, but the idea behind it was cool. It's just that the game itself suffered from some, quite frankly, bizarre business practices and just... <sighs> to put it as succinctly as possible, I'll just quote their supposed... I'll, I'll just quote the supposed positive about the game that they brought forward. It is a game meant to be designed as much for DLC as possible. Not the selling point they thought it was. The concept alone was not strong enough to carry just really shitty business practices. Whoa, where am I going? Here, I guess. Okay, I don't know where here is, but we're here. Okay, so we are here, which means we want to go north. Oh, it is literally right in front of my face. I'm smart. I am smart and I am attentive. Oh. I want to look at the puppy. Can I pet it? I can pet it. Oh, hey. Well, at least I can pet it. <laughs> Oh, there's the parent. Well, good thing they weren't looking that way. <laughs> okay. You know how I said I could probably find my way back to that area? Uh, I might have been lying. <laughs> I might have been lying. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna try to find my way back. All right, let me find that tower. I'll use that as a landmark. It was on the northern side of the hole. There it is. Okay. All right, chat, does anyone remember? Was, I think... The thing I'm looking for... No, wait a minute. Wait, hang on. It might not have been... It might have actually been this way. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong area entirely. If I see a forklift, I'll know I'm going the right way. Yep, yeah, okay. So it was the northern end. I was looking in the wrong place entirely. 
God, that thing does not stop looking intimidating, does it? Why is there hail going through the cave system? Because it's phantom hail. It doesn't exist. Woo, spooky. This will be the last thing we do today. See if this works. It's not going to work, and I'm going to be very disappointed. Oh, wait. So now what? Oh, here we go. Begin injection. I believe the antibacterial agent was effective. Without it, the bacteria could have spread. Now it cannot. Your sister's memory will live in you through this gesture. It feels good. Doing this one last thing for Sam. I feel like I got some closure. My people do not experience endings as you do. Do humans feel joy in realizing that you've reached the end of something? Sometimes. Closure is a sense of resolution, like knowing that even though it still hurts, it'll be okay. I did what I came to do. I found out what really happened to her, and I got to finish her work. I learned a little bit more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. I wish I had told her that more. Sam always wanted to make a difference. She wanted the bacteria contained to keep everyone safe. I'm grateful to give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. All right. Well, we have finished Sam's work. We have cured the Kara virus. We've stopped Altera from getting their hands on it. Now we have to finish making a body for Alan, and that'll be just about it. Which means that we're going to have to go back to the Ice Worm area. But we're going to do that next time. So thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize that today's stream was mostly just me wandering about without aim. But, uh, hey, I still had fun. I hope you all did too. Sense of impending doom is rising. I'm trying to ignore that. I've learned best that the more you ignore the sense of impending doom, the less stressful life is. Just overall. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Pardon my voice. It's a little bit dry today. Ironic, considering the game we're playing. Ha <laughs> ha. Wrong button again. I don't know how I keep mixing those two buttons up. I really don't. Heartwarming. Mm -hmm. I was a, I was taking a sip of water, Lord Cups. Are you trying to kill me? All right then. Well, we'll get started right away then. Craig is infinite. First of all, thank you for the gifted sub to Jenny. I have already lost my sense of direction in one aspect. I forgot what the fuck we were doing. <laughs> Right. Last time, we kind of just cured the Kara in the Frozen Leviathan. You know, we just, we, we found, uh, we found our sister's antidote hiding under a rock somewhere, slapped it in a machine, and then just, just done. That, that, that particular leg of the journey's done. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> Forgot about that. It was kind of an unceremonious. I have to wonder if that's the actual end of that storyline. I doubt it is, but we'll see. If it is, that's kind of, a. Uh, uh, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of an unceremonious end to that particular plot point. Now we need to, uh, at least currently, the main plot is finding a body for Alan. So that means we have got places to visit. Alan pointed out a bunch of uh, nearby artifacts for us to go take a look at. I'm not sure. These three, at least I know, are new. We'll mark these. We'll go take a look at them first. We also... Uh, why did I not put my... Hang on. Why did I not put... I Okay, so before I started the stream, I took my sub train out or my uh, C truck out for a bit of a spin. Then I needed to... Uh, I, I, needed, I needed to charge it back up. Yet apparently, I just left it without charging it. And now I can't repair it. So hang on a minute. And I'm back in. Right. We also do have... Uh, the big punchy prawn boy. Uh, they are not currently marked, but we do have them. And we don't have a way to transport them. But, uh, 
Well, once that's finished charging, we'll just take the sea truck back out. Or we could just walk our happy asses all the way over there. With the prawn suit, might not be the most practical use of our time. We'll wait for our truck to finish charging. Then we'll head out on an expedition. We are already good and stocked up on supplies. I already have a beacon on board the ship. And I don't know why I have the habitat builder with me. I don't think I'm going to be building many habitats when I'm out in the depths. So we're going to leave that behind. So, today, as I said, we're just out going to go take a look at some of these here artifacts. Let's see, which one are we going for? That one's closer. We'll go there. I've gotten surprisingly good at underwater drifting into my modules. Don't ask me how, I just have. I still gotta drive the modules into the truck on my end, nearly destroyed them before trying to back into them. It definitely takes some doing. Uh, I wouldn't recommend anybody uh, slide into the docks to uh, the modules to dock. It's just fun to do. Tokyo drifting is a lot harder to do when you have not only underwater physics, but also vertical, whoops, uh, vertical movement to take into account. So we are entering, uh, by the way, I've heard people uh, remind me that uh, that thing that we just heard is called a chillicerate, but I like saying chillicerate more. So I'm going to keep saying chillicerate and I don't know where it is. I'm going to keep my defense system active. Yeah, there's the, there's the, uh, alternatively, we could just call that thing Chelly. The vent garden harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. Could you sound any less interested, PDA? <laughs> okay. I'll park this here real quick because I'm going to go take a look at the big thing. Nothing mean around me. I say that. <laughs> Man, me without my stasis rifle. Hmm. Uh... Oh, is this where we gotta go? Yeah, this is where we gotta go. We gotta go directly downward. I'm gonna back up a bit and find a nice little, uh, nice little corner to just hide my sea truck in, and then just, uh, dash into the depths. Alright, before I move on, I do want to scan this. It'd be easier if I got it inside. Where are you? Well, you know what? You can't get me if I'm in here. I do remember you can get inside these things. And I am safe. I think. Pretty sure. Okay. Uh, I don't have ex I don't have a lot of oxygen. I don't know if this gives me oxygen. It does not. So, oh, hey, there you are. There you are. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Looking good up there. I think I do need Spiral Plant for something. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? You know, you're just a tiny bit close. Yeah, I do need these for something. I'm gonna need to dash back to my goddamn truck. Okie dokie, gonna need to lock onto my truck and just go. Yep. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Working on a PDA. Not even gonna turn around, just gonna get in my truck. I hear no noises of imminent death, so I'm assuming I'm fine. I say I don't, I'm say I'm not going to turn around, and then I immediately turn around. Maybe I should have brought my prawn suit. A smart person would have brought a prawn suit. Because I'm going to have to go diving. But um, that's going to require me turning around and going backward about a thousand meters. Hmm. Conundrum. Well, uh... uh other other alternative is I uh, just, is I give put a rain check on this one and go check out one of the other two because at least that one over there is significantly higher than this one and uh, will not require me going into quite as deep a depth. I think we'll do that. I'm already out here. I may as well go this way. And uh, if I have to say hello to Chelly on the way there, then uh, so be it. I do have a defense protocol I'll be fine maybe you just stay right there Chelly stay right there okay okay uh, I believe that's actually another module is that one I already 
Oh, I know what this is. Go away. Busy. Fuck off. Oh, you did it to me too? Okay, fine. We zapped each other. You happy? We was that our was that basically our version of a handshake? I'm gonna go ahead and say it was. Not, hi, nice to meet you. My name's Sethorban, and your name is Fuck Off, I don't care. That's right, there were actually some modules around here that I needed to pick up, so uh we'll we'll go exploring. We'll explore around here a little bit. Let me just uh set this thing to fragments. don't think there's any doesn't i'm not seeing any fragments oh hey this is mine no you can't have it uh, you were offering me nothing are you just wanting a hug well sorry you're you're offering me nothing i can't take nothing oh well <laughs> oh wait right right hang on there was one other thing that i wanted to do uh there was an area of marguerite's base that i didn't go into yet Sure, it's open now. Okay, let's take a, a, a closer look around the place. Uh, she's got a pretty nice setup here to be, you know, for for a uh, for an old decrepit base on a on a nearly abandoned planet in the frozen tundra. She's got a pretty decent setup. She she did pretty okay for herself, I gotta say. Not bad in the slightest. Shower, perfect, excellent. Yes, it, small stove. And of course, we need something to cook on. I mean, what are we, barbarians? What, do you think we eat our food raw? Absolutely not. Unless it's like fruit, in which case, maybe. A fortnight into our voyage, I was more or less living inside the creature's rib cage. It meant shelter, and it meant food. The flesh was starting to rot. The stench was unlike anything I'd ever smelled. As we floated, the temperature dropped, and the rotten meat began to stiffen and freeze. Hmm. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the Reaper began to lose buoyancy. We sank a little each day. My sanctuary was becoming my tomb, and I was at the mercy of the current and the winds. Until one day, I saw a smattering of penguins in the distance. Swimming birds usually mean solid land of some kind. I was lucky. The winds followed their path. Hours later, I saw a blessed sight. An unmoving cloud sitting upon the water. Land. It renewed my spirit as I watched the land get closer and closer. The reaper slowly sank, but I was no longer worried. When the Reaper finally sank below the water, I was close enough to lazily swim my way to shore. I made a note to come back for the Reaper's skull. I didn't ride the beast for three weeks to have no proof. Land never felt so good, even in this Arctic hell. So, we do know at least an idea of how Maida survived, how she got cured of Kara in the several years, what is it, like 10 years after the first game this one takes place, or 20? It's been a while since the first game, but then again, I, I don't know. Maybe the vaccine is, uh, or rather, maybe the virus, pardon me, bacterium. I, I literally, none of the two things I said. The first one couldn't have been further away from what it was. The second one was completely wrong too. It's a fucking bacteria. Anyway, not sure how she got cured of Kara. Uh, from the last game because we know she was infected. Well, at least she's taken good care of herself, I see. The interesting thing is that I apparently am missing a log of Maida's. I'm missing the first one. Well, you got anything else to say? Nope. All right, then. Nice chatting, and thank you for letting me uh, roam around and rummage through your stuff. Have a good one. I had a theory, right? Maybe we do know that um, uh, some... I forgot that's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> we we do know that uh, at least some level of um, what's the word I'm thinking of uh, augmentation that exists in this continuity. People can replace their dying organs, and I imagine like some level of like immune system empowerment or. Um, strengthening is possible maybe Maida had that 
she seems like the type of person who would in her line of work i don't know maybe that's just not explained uh but paul at least paul yeah at least paul in the last game mentioned replacing his liver so maybe meta had like uh augments in her system to make her more resistant to uh bacteria or something like that i'm not sure and it just happened to work uh do i need this i don't think so nope okay well i do need more rubies i think at least need some of the stuff down here lithium absolutely like i can literally never have too much of lithium because i am always running out of the goddamn stuff although what i'm also running out of is oxygen i should probably fix that problem i'm gonna run back to meta's base and uh, get a quick gulp uh i don't want to spend too much time down here because i want to Go out and explore, see the world, spread my wings, and just enjoy life, as it were. Uh, I'll grab a few more of these, uh, Uraninite crystals. And my inventory's now full. What the fuck was that? It sounded like fucking metal or something. And down we go, back toward my sub, because we have artifacts to hunt down. By the way, can someone confirm or deny? I saw a picture. I am dead certain it's a fucking... Speaking of hunting, I was going to say, speaking of hunting, um, I saw a picture that was basically saying Hunt Down the Freeman 2 was a thing that was happening. Is that a shit... Was that just a shit post? I have to assume it is. Because I cannot imagine a world where anybody wanted that to happen. Is it actually real? Is Hunt Down the Freeman 2 actually happening? <laughs> Has God truly ab- Oh, nickel, okay. Uh, um, hold on a second, I need to stuff some stuff in my uh, lockers. Has God truly abandoned us? What is Hunt Down the Freeman? A very, very bad, no good, very poor, uh, Half-Life mod? I think it was technically a mod, but it was also a game that was sold for like, what, 25 bucks? Which then got reduced to 20. I, I have no clue what it's going for right now. But uh, it was so bad that in the state of its release, people literally couldn't beat it without cheating. Uh, essentially really bad Half-Life 2 fan fiction. Complete with edgy main character and everything. Uh, also with some very obvious uh, inspirations from, uh, MGS5. Uh, yeah, it was not, it was not good. And now, apparently, people are saying that a sequel is being made. So, I can only assume that God has abandoned us and never, never had any faith in us to begin with. And quite frankly, I wouldn't blame him. I don't need the titanium, but I'll take it because I don't want to hurt your feelings. Okay. So... So, yeah, down this way. Ow. <laughs> oh, hey. Is that the uh, ultra high capacity tank? Yes, it is. I already have it, apparently. Never mind. Okay, here we go. Now, I cannot go any deeper, so we're just going to have to leg it from here. I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. A body component is near. Working on it, big guy. Just give me a moment here to ensure I don't drown while going for this. So I'm going to save just in case. There had better be oxygen plants down here. Well, may as well look around, see what all I'm dealing with and what all there is to find down here. Now hang on a minute. I can fucking get off of me, you son of a bitch. While you're there, I'm going to just scan you real quick. Hacking. Ah, fuck. Again, really. You know, you're just a tiny bit of a dickhole. And I don't approve. Do you give oxygen? No, you don't. Okay. Uh, back to the truck or I'm gonna die. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I'm working on it. I need to get up to my thing. Almost there. I'm not gonna drown. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Oxygen. Uh-huh. I am here. Okay, we're good. So, uh, change of plans. We are going to go get the prawn suit. We're just gonna have to... 
Oh boy, that's a, oh boy, that's gonna be a 1300 meter trek though. <sighs> no, fuck it. Uh, we also can go make the high, the ultra high capacity tank. So guess we're going back home. Go away. Time to spend the next 10 minutes trucking back and then walking my happy ass all the way back. Ah, time to hit the old, that's not really dusty. Uh, the old, um, uh, moist trail, damp trail, murky trail. All righty then. And we're home. I'm going to take a moment to repair my boat, ship, truck, thing that I used to go from point A to point B, restock on some water, which I should have around here somewhere, or not. Okay. I mean, I have plenty of water, so it's not that big of an issue, and I can make more with these plants, so not too worried. Ah, I need four lithium, you say? Well... Ain't it, ain't it just peachy keen that I picked up a shit ton of lithium from that area? Okay, so we do have the ultra high capacity tank, which gives us 180 seconds of oxygen. So it's been slightly nerfed from the old one. Oh, 180 seconds on top of your 45. Uh, let me, let me see. Is that the case? Oh, once it, uh, oh yeah, it is. It's on top of my 45 seconds of lung capacity. Okay, that's how the math works. I'm stupid. Can we get a comp? Can we get a compilation of all the innocent fish you brutally ran with your truck? I, there are far too many to count, and I'm pretty sure I deleted a lot of footage in which I did, because uh, a lot of it was in episodes that have already been aired, and uh, a lot of travel time is cut out of a lot of those videos. So I guarantee there's a bunch I missed. Okay. So we have this, um, <clears throat> I guess we're just going to take my prawn suit all the way out there. Oh, wow. Wait, you only have 400 meters of, oh, wow. I need to upgrade this thing. Uh, I think actually that artifact is too deep even for the prawn suit. Yeah. Cause it only has 400 meters of crush depth. Huh? Can I upgrade that yet or have to find the, the module upgrade? I probably have to find the depth module upgrade. Oh no, we can make it. Uh, we need three ruby synthetic fibers and enameled glass. Well, <laughs> hell, I can just go ahead and make all that, I think. We need the lead, we need the glass, and uh, yeah, we have the synthetic fibers. Um, we need diamond. How do I make the enameled glass? There we are. Uh, we needed three ruby. Okay. Oh, and uh, what do we need to make the drill arm? Uh, okay, I have everything I need to make that. I'm pretty sure I already made... Oh, wait, I did not make the thermal reactor because I do not have kyanite. Okay, there's the drill arm. Okie dokie. Unfortunately, it is still a bit of a chunky boy, so it's not going to be super fast. It's not the most expedient form of travel that we have at our disposal. I guess we're just going to start uh, thumping our way over there. Okay, 700 meters. Much better. Well, time to begin the trek. It's gonna be a long one, folks. Get comfortable. I think I have uh, some other music to put on here. Uh, let's see. There is a carrier for the prawn suit, unfor uh, for the truck. Unfortunately, we do not have it. So we're just gonna have to be hauling our fat ass all the way over there. Mr. X's day out. <laughs> For people who are not aware, I actually did name my prawn suit Mr. X. So what we are witnessing right now is Mr. X's day on the job. Just walking his way. This is his commute. He just stomps his way across the ocean floor. Hey, he's walking i I'm probably going to run into a Chelly here sooner or later. In which case, I shall bravely just punch it. Excuse me. <laughs> Jesus. I didn't realize this. Wow, actually... Mr. X can fucking book it when he's just falling. <laughs> so we can thankfully face plant our way through. Don't have to walk all the way. We can just careen downward. If we run into a Shelly, I will courageously punch it in the face and flee. How are you gonna get back up? Uh, with the power of determination and jump jets. 
Watch out, watch out, monkey. I don't want to RK you here. <laughs> or RKO, pardon me. If I can face plant my way through life, uh, Mr. X can absolutely crush it. Fucking clothesline the monkey. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a good thing we made that depth module. Uh, otherwise, we would have lost our bronze suit. <laughs> there we go. Oh, hello. You know what? I don't know what you do, but I'm taking one of you with me as a souvenir. I'm going to turn the music off. <laughs> it's getting a little bit distracting. Uh Oh, there's an egg down there, I think. What are you? Well, wherever you are, you're coming with me. I'll take your brother too. We'll figure that out, I guess. Welcome aboard, Captain. Can I punch you? Can I just drill you and kill you? I, I think I am killing you. I will, I will, I am perfectly fine with waiting to see if I can kill you. Probably not. Uh, it doesn't look like it's happening, but at least I can just walk through them now. They know their place when they see Mr. X stomping about. Okay. Go, be, being a little bit more serious now, I need to find my way over to the artifact. Um, it was down below me. The Discord was mad at me the entire run I did because I kidnapped the pangling and kept it the entire game. <laughs> Jenny, put the child back. Jenny, the child isn't yours. It has a family, Jenny. It isn't just an egg abandoned in a cave. It has a family and it is angry at you. Is this it over here, or is this back down to where I just... W oh, no, no, there it is. Okay. Yeah, nope. That is our, that is architect tech. We are heading the right way. Hold together, Mr. X. Hold together. I believe in you. With the power of determination, you will defeat the crush depth. Oh, hello. How you doing? If you're going to come over here, I'm, I'm just going to punch you in the face. Go away. Yep, yep, okay. Got, got your zap in. You got, you got your zap in. Oh no, I'm so afraid. Ah, okay, here we go. Oh wait, shit. Uh, hold on a minute. Alan, can you help me out here? Oh, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Hey, 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 that, that, that. Okay, apparently Mr. X just cannot go through there. All right, that's fine. I can swim. I have legs. This is pretty. This is very pretty. Ancient ornamental plant. Molecular scans point to an incredibly slow cell metabolism, which is baked up by carbon da uh, by carbon dating. Plant cells appear to be engaged in a process known as transdifferentiation. This process alters the state of cells and transforms them in a, uh, to a new cell type over time. Through this process, the plant continuously replaces any poor biological material, allowing it to potentially live for incredibly long periods of time. The carefully regulated structure of this plant's cellular biology and the intentional nature of its display amongst other alien artifacts suggests that the architects designed and cultivated this plant for some kind of aesthetic or cultural purpose that we can only speculate about. Uh, can I take any of these with me? Nope. How about you? Can I take you with me? Unfortunately not. Is my inventory full? Nope. I just can't take you. This looks important. It is not. I have been bamboozled. Oh, here we go. Architect component. A dense synthetic skeleton structure made from unknown alien components. It is estimated that the skeletal material would score a 10 on the Mohs test for material hardness. It is highly resistant to shattering due to its incredibly strong impact strength. This skeleton is fully dense, able to handle heavy forces. I got framed from my new form. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a fallen architect. Is this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful. Beautiful, even. As the bacterium spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. See, again, I think one of the strengths of the game, this is one thing I'll at least say, I think one of the strengths of the game is the conversations between Alan and Robin. Particularly Alan, just because, like, he's the unfamiliar of the two, so he's got the more interesting stuff to say, but I legitimately find their conversations actually, like, interesting to listen to. Particularly when they started talking about the differences between how... <clears throat> between how architects and, um... Oh, Nicole, hang on. 
how architects and humans see the world and alone, uh, being alone and all that. It's, ow, you bitch. You were waiting, you were waiting. I don't like you for that. You can go to hell. I need nickel. So go screw thine self with the sharpest implement available to you at this point in time. Uh, anything else here? Nope. Back in Mr. X. Don't you do it. I see you. I see you. I see you there. You, 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 you gonna try anything? You gonna try anything, bitch? You gonna? You gonna? You gonna? You gonna? Yeah? Yeah, I didn't think so. Fuck the fuck off. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to find down here. Uh, hi, wall squid shark. How you doing? Good to meet you too. We will have our customary handshake, very hostile handshake, and then be on our way. These might be important. Using it, yep. I'll take your entire stock. Okay, time to find my way back out. And I really do mean find my way because Jesus, this place is a bit confusing. Okay, and we're out. Excellent. Okay, all right. Back to the music. Mr. X's commute back home begins. Actually, since we've got him out, uh, yeah, let, let's go check out the other artifact. Since we're out and about, may as well go check this one out. Hello, Squid Shock. Pardon me. <laughs> it's very easy to tell when I hit a particular fish out here because it sounds like I hit a squeak toy mid-flight. Oh, hello. I think it's no longer a long trek music. I think now it's uh, quiet time. Thank you. Hello there, friend. How are you doing? You are kind of in my way, you know that? So I'm gonna need you to just not turn around or come this way. You know what? Farewell. Good, good day. I no longer exist. I am outside your aggro range. Farewell and good day. Okay, okay. With this artifact, I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. They survived for a time, but then their presence becomes faint. Hmm. Oh, what is below us? I can't see. Oh, it's just a, it's just a singular chamber. We're fine. Oh. Those be ion cubes, though. Eh. Hold on a minute. Important. What do we have here? A ground sampler. So these are just to uh, build up to where until I can actually track down other pieces of Alan's body or soon to be body. Okay, so we have the skeleton. We still need to find the tissues and the organs. I well, hope you all enjoyed our little trip down here because we're not coming back. Hang on, I might need to Skyrim my way up this mountain. <clears throat> um, well, that's awkward. There we go. Okay. Hello, friend. Let me just uh, lock onto my home base. I'm just going to let you pass over me. I may have to punch it. There's a strong possibility that I may need to punch it because it is currently in the way of me getting back to my base. Uh, you, you gonna keep going that way? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, hop up and continue on my way. You have a good day, sir. If you come this way, though, uh, you are taking your own. You are taking your life into your own hands. Just warning you. Actually, in my hands, my very big plasteel lined hands, and a drill for good measure. Okay, good. Glad we understand each other. Good day. Two artifact locations down. I think we had some more as well, but I'm not sure. Yeah, the unfortunate thing is once we get the artifacts, they don't like stop being marked, but I think that's the only one we haven't gotten yet. Uh, N6M, I think. Yeah, okay. It does automatically stop marking them if you are currently marking them. Don't come near me, or your teeth will be located outside your skull very quickly. Now I'm gonna get this here lithium and you're gonna leave me alone. Do I need to repeat myself, bitch? Uh, docking my- oh, hey, that's actually what I do need. That's for the sea... prawn suit. That's the actual word for it, Seth. Not the sea- it's the prawn suit, not the sea suit, the prawn suit. <laughs> Sea suit. 
Oh, why is my brain this? And there should be more pieces of it around here somewhere. If not here, then it's probably down where I just jumped over. So let's go take a look down there real quick. There's probably some goodies. Well, if I had to assume, and it's absolutely not a death trap in waiting, I don't know what could possibly give you that impression. Definitely nothing bad down here. <laughs> I don't know why you would think there would be. Oh, yes, indeed. You're the ones being paranoid and uh, anxious, chat. Yes, indeed. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, there's another uh, artifact. This site is one of some significance. Its data will assist us on our quest. Ah, fucking. Well, let's see what we got here. A fossil excavator. Based on analysis, it is speculated that this artifact is an uh, archaeological tool for finding and excavating fossil remnants. The main body of the equipment is housed between two glide rails. The excavator emits a sonar pulse that gathers data on the ground beneath it. When it bounces back with a possible fossilized object, it begins the excavation process. A set of lasers emit from the arms and slowly removes the micro layers of material. Once the fossil is revealed, the same carefully calibrated lasers are utilized to break <gasps> loose materials <laughs> while preserving, preserving, preserving the fossil underneath. Fossils can be analyzed using carbon dating and other methods to understand what the environmental makeup might have been millions of years ago, which can be compared to current data to look for trends. Very efficient. Uh, what do we got here? Nothing to investigate there, but there is... That's an awful lot of fanfare for a singular ion cube, but then again, these things do have a shit ton of power. So maybe it was necessary. I don't think I need this many. Okay, uh, is this a, okay, one more piece of the docking module, good. Uh, if memory serves me correctly, I think we're closing in on the lair of the Shadow Leviathan, so I should probably be very, very cautious how much deeper I dive here. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that looks about right. So, we won't be going that way just yet. Uh, let me go, let me just find, or at least attempt. Where's the fuck are those other modules? I kinda need those for progression and to take mine uh, prawn suit with me without needing to uh, hibbledy pibbledy fucking stomp my way across the land and take and just like increase my travel distance by about or travel time by more than double. Hang on a minute. Uh, the heck, whoops. Nope, you saw nothing. There was nothing here. You saw nothing. Well, now you'll never see anything ever again. Modules? Any? Uh, there's one. Yep, that's the rest of the docking uh, fragments that I needed. Of course you'd be right there. Uh, sleeping module is still somewhere around here. I'm not sure if I exactly need that, but it's nice to have. Nope, that's the docking. Fuck. Okay, now that I no longer need the docking one, that's the only one you're giving me, huh? I see how it is. Daddy, can we go home? <laughs> no, I need to find the fucking module. Module. <laughs> I need to find the module. <laughs> oh God, why is my brain like this? You got anything useful for me, sea monkeys? Oh, you do actually. Did that finish it? I'll contemplate within my heavily plastio-lined uh, exoskeleton. Yes, it did. Okay, cool. So we can make that now. I don't have the afterburner upgrade for the sea truck yet, but we can at the very least make my sea truck faster. Whoa, watch out. <laughs> Look, it's not my fault because I say it isn't. That's how this works, right? I exonerate myself of all responsibility for my own wrongdoings by claiming that I didn't know it was a wrongdoing and that it, therefore it is not my fault. That's crap. That's metal salvage. Those are not fragments. That's just for getting titanium. Once again, Squid Shark's proving that they do not care at all about the limitations of physics. Yeah, I think we'll go. Ahead, we'll go ahead and head home. Make the uh, the docking module at the very least to improve our long range travel capabilities, and then at some point make more depth modules. Winced, winced. Yes, winced. I find them. Oh, hello. Uh. Oh. 
Oh, hey, we have something else we can make. Hey, nice. All right, then. Back we go. All right, then. Up we go. Lift thyself into infinity. Hello, Croc Shark. I know that's not what you're called, but it's what I'm calling you now. Listen, friends, no. I will give you the fiercest boop if I have to with my fist. I do love watching my prawn suits shadow. It's like I just imagine the, you know, the A pose or the reference pose from uh, Team Fortress 2. Um, I just imagine that that's what it looks like. It, it's the same, it is the exact, watching the uh, the C, I did it again. The prawn suit jump up out like this is the exact same kind of energy as watching a uh, an A posed character jump up out in, or just run about in Team Fortress 2. <laughs> it's, that, it's that same kind of menacing energy. <laughs> okay, nearly back. Most of today was just gathering materials and uh, tracking down more artifacts. We shall be doing more of that later, I'm sure. Okay, I gotta let Mr. Rex rest. He's done, he's done a lot of walking. He's gotten his walk in for the day. Time to let him take a load off. After I repair him, I should have done that first. I don't think I can repair it while it's docked. Oh, never mind, I can't. Good. Alrighty, let's see what else we can make here. We can make the horsepower upgrade, and I actually can do that right now. I have a advanced wiring kit just kind of sitting around gathering dust, and we have lubricant as well. First of all, though, obviously, I need to uh, offload the lithium and the gold. There we are. We'll go ahead and slap this thing in there, then uh, take a trip up to our vehicle construction thingamabobber make ourselves the new module. Ooh, the Northern Lights. I do legit like it when the weather isn't super crazy and you just get moments like this where you can stare up at the skybox because legit, the sky does look really nice in this game. Until this happens and you can barely see it and then it gets even worse when it starts snowing like fucking... Yeah. Like this. And then it starts lightning. Let's check what all I got stored on the truck. There's all the iron cu uh, iron cubes. Where's where I, this here's where I keep all my iron cubes. That's, that's what you call them there things, right? I miss when these broke apart into like four pieces. I really do miss that. That was really nice. That's silver. Don't need that. Magul. Yep, that's, that's the new meme from today. Magul. Now, this is not going to fall on the iceberg, correct? Um, well, I don't know where this, I don't know where this is going. Uh, for science? Well, that's convenient. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe not. Huh. Huh, we uh, <laughs> may have an issue here. <laughs> Uh, ow, fucker, that was the least opportune time for you to be a dick. Well, this is a problem. Hmm. How far back did I save? Uh, four minutes. That's not that bad. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> you, uh, you see nothing, chat. <laughs> Only you could do this. Look, I don't know what you're talking about everything's fine the game is the one at fault here not me where am i oh wait um hold on <laughs> you saw nothing chat <laughs> you saw nothing i am amazing at this my job and everything I do, I I'm flawless. absolutely fucking lutely flawless. There is not a single person on this earth who is more immaculately amazing at this game than I am. I get it, chat, I get it, I get it. Y you can't, you don't know how to comprehend the face and behavior of true brilliance. I understand, it's fine. Being humbled is a very, very odd feeling. We all have to deal with it at some point, except for me because I am just that amazing. But, if I wasn't, then I would be in the exact same situation as you are currently. <laughs> so, uh, lead, <clears throat> right. Uh, <laughs> need a bit more lead table coral. 
moving right the fuck along we gotta we got shit to do we got we got stuff to build come on now let's get let's get back we got we gotta go do stuff we gotta build stuff we gotta go explore we gotta build a body gotta bury the past of my wrongdoings behind me any more lead nope cool fuck you too then we're all good you know why because we just are there you go that's the only that's the only bit of reassurance you need Anyway, um, <laughs> um, what else did I need again? Uh, I needed that plasteel ingot. All right, so now, now, hey, I, I see an issue here. Uh, this is an issue that only an idiot wouldn't see. <laughs> how, how, who in their right mind would put the mobile vehicle bay there and not expect it to cause issues? <laughs> Probably was this brute shark. Can't even swim properly, the poor thing. Ah, uh, you know, sometimes nature's just cruel like that, but it's okay. It'll find its way in life, I'm sure. You see, this is a much better spot right here. And very clearly, it's facing the wrong way. <laughs> ah, goddamn machines. They don't, they, they don't work right even when you tell them to. Hey, listen, buddy. <laughs> Look at this stupid fucking thing not knowing the correct way it's supposed to go there we go all right there's the docking module well this is gonna take a while to get down there but uh we'll go ahead and start shoving uh, pardon me just gotta maneuver this uh big old boy down there and now we make our aquarium absolutely worth it all of that extra time was worth it <laughs> extra time what am i talking about nothing else happened today that's 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 fine completely fine yep okie dokie then and now our truck is complete mostly we still got more modules to get but uh it's complete uh, for now to commemorate such a, a momentous occasion fuck sky rays and uh, um oh i'm assuming uh i need an actual alien uh the the the, the thing you know an alien room thing whatever it was called containment facility uh so in that case this was kind of pointless oh well uh well since I'm here, there are two other things I can make. I can make the control room and I can make a second room for our base. So let's just go ahead and take all of our titanium out. Oh, this is going to hurt. And slap this right there. Habu. Look at that. Nice and big. It is a big boy. We'll also probably add a, a see-through roof on top of this after we make our control room. Maybe. We'll see. It's quite expensive to do that. Probably not at all a terrible idea to have this on top of the room where my nuclear reactor is. <laughs> Absolutely not a bad idea. But just in case, we're actually going to put it here. In the control room, you can change base lighting and colors. Rename your base and see information about power and structural integrity, but not the integrity of societal power structures. Thanks, PDA. Thank you. There we are. And let's go take a look see. Welcome. And now we rename our base to the world's. the worlds oh wait to the world <laughs> fuck <laughs> uh the worlds i can't fit it all in there shit oh god we'll say slowest truck there we go that works and uh we're gonna make it i'll do i'll decide on an actual color later uh yeah just a needle control room it is quite nice well ladies and gentlemen that is all I can think to do for now. We'll do more later, I'm sure. Uh, what do I need to make that alien containment thing, Bob? 
We'll go ahead and set you back. Uh, oh, it's bigger this time, I forgot. We'll go ahead and set you here. I also realized I need a hatch. An aquarium just for looks, or your own personal sushi factory. You decide. <laughs> wow. Okay, PDA. <laughs> Perfect. Isn't it lovely? Now we can let our babies grow. Look at them. They'll get there someday. All right. I'm going to go put the other eggs in there. Haboop and a haboop. Okie dokie then. That is all I'm doing for today, ladies and gentlemen. Made a bit of progress. A lot of it was just grinding. But you know what? That's fine. It's the nature of the game. So thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. Do hope you still had fun. I do still enjoy this game. I'm going to give my throat a rest. Because, ow, my throat's killing me right now. When last we left off, we were hunting down some artifacts. We've still got some more uh, to go after. Unfortunately, I'm not a, I'm not 100% confident which ones we found and which ones we haven't. Uh, this one, the one with the plus sign next to it, is the only one that I know is new. So we'll uh, we'll be going at least going there today. And what else do we need to do? We just need to go after the artifacts and find, uh, find Alan's new body, as it were, and also make it. Let's go ahead and slap this back in here, because we need to go, excuse me, fish, we need to go. Well, that was a little bit rough. Uh, that was a little rough. Let me go ahead and uh, buff that out a bit. <laughs> I mean, it, it worked, but, uh, you know, gotta, gotta touch up the module slightly. These are, these are the risks you run when you Tokyo drift into your modules every single time you, uh, you go out to adventure. Well, uh, what is that noise? Am I collecting fish? Oh, I am. Oh, that's how the aquarium works. You just randomly collect fish as you're going along. Okay. Huh. That's neat. I guess this can be used as a food source. Well, sorry peepers, but uh, survival of the fittest and all that. I hope we don't run across a chelly. But knowing our luck, we are absolutely going to. I'm really... Do not trust me to drive a truck in real life, because I guarantee you I will tail swipe somebody, and it won't exactly be... Ne and it's, I'm not gonna... I won't mean to do it, but it's going to happen. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the vent gardens. This is them maturing, I think. These are younger versions of the vent gardens. Those look cool. Creepy, but cool need to find some titanium uh, while i'm out i may as well look for lead too so i'll just smack some of these deposits until they give me what i want there we go hey you know what i need titanium the beatings will continue until titanium is given to me i mean i'll take silver but it's not actually you know what i won't take silver i have too much i'm over i am i actually am overflowing with silver in my lockers i need more titanium and lead uh Jesus, you're moving fast. Let me get back in my sea truck just in case. You never know what may come over and say hello. I do have the mineral finder, yes. It is short range, but uh, yeah, I do have that. I just didn't, I just was not equipping it for reasons. Ow. Yeah, let's check down here. Excuse me. Is this, uh... I don't know where I'm going. I actually don't know where I am right now. This is not where I meant to go. Well, actually, this is this is in the direction that I need to go. I think we'll take a rain check on this because we don't have water. All we really need right now is titanium. We'll come back there later. I have not been to the new dead zone and unfortunately, similar to the last playthrough, I've already been spoiled on what's out there. So the chances of me going there are considerably lower now. I may, but we'll see. There's very little reason for me to go. Ah! Fuck. Look, sudden noises when everything is quiet, no matter what the source of those noises are, is not are not nice. It's not friendly. Don't. Just don't. There should be some metal deposits around this area. I'm gonna go ahead and park the big boy here for a moment. Good uh, titanium. Excellent. I crave of titanium. Mother, I crave violence. We'll just go ahead and make this into titanium, honestly. And make these into ingots, because I'm gonna I'm gonna need them. A tri a trivalve egg. 
is apparently something we hatched. Good to know, I think. All right, so that should be more than enough titanium to get us through the day. Okay, that should be good. We've got uh, lithium back home. We'll go get some water, and then we shall be on our way. Actually, hang on a minute. Did I get a... Uh, I didn't get a water purification machine, did I? If I did, I'm not sure why I haven't built that yet. No, I did not. Okay, never mind then. What was that? Ah! Sorry. You actually just swam directly into my line of into my line of travel. That was 100% your fault. I am blameless. And if you say otherwise, then I will vehemently disagree with you. But I will respect your opinion. I will silently judge you for it though. And we are back. Good. Go away. Now I need to go get some snow. Oh, I actually, oh. I actually killed it. That one, huh. I was not expecting that. Well. Uh, pretty sure that's not supposed to be happening. Um. But while we're here, let's take a look at what hatched. Aw, hello. Let's get a better look at you. The trivalve is a brightly colored creature with a flexible exoskeleton covering most of its body. It's a naturally inquisitive creature and is capable of bonding with a human companion. They have the mental capacity to learn simple commands and can learn tricks. Trivalves also have the unique capacity to demonstrate emotion. Uh, whether this is a form of advanced mimicry or an actual demonstration of feeling is unknown. I guess you're the, uh, I guess these are the cuttlefish of this game. Hello. Let's take you two outside. Keep various creatures as pets. Really? How does a species that uses the genes and bodies of other creatures view pets? They are curiosities that bring some sense of presence and energy. They are also test subjects to be evaluated for potential genetic enhancements. That's not a pet, Alan. That's a data point. Like you said, it's literally a test subject. You do not think they can be pets? There's a distinction. Pets are something that you care for simply for the pleasure of doing so. Would humans consider me to be your pet? No, I said pleasure, Alan. This is more like a job. Where I come from, you might be a pet. <sighs> I find that thoroughly disturbing. You know, that conversation can be taken in multiple different directions, neither, none of which I'm going to entertain because we have a small fish here that I'd rather take a look at. Uh, let's see. Hello there. Oh, yep. <laughs> It's very timid. Very timid. Does it do anything else? Aww. Very, very alien looking, but yeah, they're cute. They're cute. I'm not sure how it ate that, but, you know, I guess we have plausible deniability. Very cute. Now, come on over this way. We're going to make sure that you're not, uh, we'll, 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 we'll keep you below the base so that, uh, you have some nice shade. Well, it's upside down. <laughs> so, what are we going to name these two? Roly and Poly? I'm alright with that. Yeah, Roly and Poly. We'll go with that. Very fitting names, actually, considering what they, uh, what they look like and what they tend to do. Right, we need to go get salt deposits to make some water with this, which means I need to empty my inventory slightly. Pardon me, as I forget how to do everything. Uh, salt deposits, maybe. Salt deposits, father. I crave salt, father. Mightn't I have some? Seek fluid intake. I'm working on a PDA. I need, I know, I know this is, this sounds counterintuitive, but before I can get water, I need salt. More salt for my meals and for my water. Why don't, we have a, why don't we have a juicer to me? That's a good point. We have a shit ton of water. We have like actual fucking watermelons back at the base. Why can't we just make a juicer to just turn those into smoothies for long range travel? Pretty sure that worked just fine. We can make a fridge module, just attach it to the truck. All right, that's enough. Let's head back to base before I drown. Uh, we do have some snow. Just do that and that and that and that. And we need to get more snow. 
to make more of this. Stabilizing. Now, we are ready to head out on our adventure. I'll do this a bit slower this time. I missed. Yeah, I do miss the Seamoth, uh, and I miss the Cyclops. Legitimately, piloting the Cyclops around added so much to the game's atmosphere of just sheer dread. Because that thing was so cumbersome, and like, you couldn't fit it everywhere, but you felt the safest in it. So yeah, I, I, I do miss the Cyclops. It was really good. The sea truck is a cool idea, and I do like what they do with it. I just miss the Cyclops. There we go. Got plenty of water rations, got plenty of food. We are good to go. Let us go after the next artifact, why don't we? Just gonna try to not hit these things on my way out. Hello, friend. Uh, this is gonna be a bit of a, this is gonna be a bit of a trek. Everybody having fun? In the Seth Drives a Truck Simulator 2021. No banjo trucking music. Uh, honestly, the last one that I tried was destroying my brain while we were going and it was making it hard to commentate. So, uh, so we're, we'll just settle for this for now. Ooh, it's gonna be a long haul. Get comfortable, folks. I'm sure there's nothing to fear out in this direction. Nothing at all. Nothing bad could happen to us while we're all the way out here. Nothing at all. Don't know why you're worried, chat. Don't know why you're worried. I think we can go ahead and turn that off now. It doesn't seem all that fitting at the moment. Hoo-hoo! Ooh, that is dark. Let's go this way. I think I know where we're headed. Okay, can't go, can't do that. So we cannot take our sea truck much farther. Let's just repair that. Hop in the big boy. Before I leave, let me make sure that everything is out of this thing's storage. Nope, it is not. Not a fan of how this area sounds. It sounds spooky and I don't like that. Pardon me. I'm sure it's fine. Nothing to worry about. Absolutely everything is okay. Nothing bad's in this area. Thank you. Well, while I'm down here... Oh wait, hang on. Rising temperatures. If I'm a betting man... If I'm a betting man, there might be kyanite down here. Ooh, this is a tight squeeze. This is a tight squeeze. Oh, 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 okay, okay, made it. Another side found, but I cannot yet tell whether the others survived. Still, it holds valuable information. I hope you will find more. Alright, no kyanite, but... The is indicating more of my people's technology, but the images I am receiving are fragmented, repeating. I am struggling to locate them precisely. Fragmented images? Why would that happen? I can only theorize that the locations are deep and shielded by a refractive material. Perhaps amongst large crystal formations. Yep, I know where we're going next. The question is... I got, sorry, I got down here well enough. Can I get back out? Okay. Uh, yep. Come on. Up we go. Well, since we're already out here, I think we, I think I already know where the thing we're looking for next is. May as well head that way. Come on, 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 come on. Doc, got it. Nice. Slam dunk. Okay. Our searches have been useful, but ultimately I have no definitive evidence as to the fate of my people. The network I hoped to rejoin may no longer exist. I cannot feel it. There could be a million reasons for that. Like, what if the network had a system update? They're on version 2001.4 and you're still in version 14.2. That would make me incompatible. How would I even begin to plan my upgrades? Okay, that's not what I meant. Bad example. You still know how to get home? Yes. So don't give up. Go there, see for yourself what happened. You are expressing optimism. 
but it is not supported by probability. Hope isn't based on statistics. It's born from a drive for something better. There's a poem Sam loved. Hope is human. Hope is... Uh, oh, oh, right. Hope is the, the thing with feathers. This does not match any fauna designation I can find in your PDA. It's a line from a 19th century Earth author. Emily something. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. I promise we'll get answers one way or another, Alan. Adding hope to your database. Thank you. Appreciate it, Alan. The presence of hope seems to inspire humans to persevere in the face of adversity. Perhaps humans find a hope with them at all times. From this notion, hope appears to be a hardy avian creature. It is capable of surviving at sea and in cold climates. Having kept so many warm, hope might be observed to produce exothermic chemical reactions. Find and maintain. Okay. <laughs> God damn it, Alan. Okay, okay. Glad to see that Subnautica has not lost its sense of humor. <laughs> that is a... Wait, that vet garden looks considerably bigger. Is it bigger than this one? I can't tell. It's hard to tell. Well, it's definitely big. Oh, speaking of big. Yeah, speaking of big. I think we'll take a rain check on that. Let's stay low to the ground. It's not that low, apparently. <gasps> Hello, friend. You got a little close there, didn't you? All right. We'll take her. We'll, 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 we'll go the long way around. Understandable. Have a nice day. Uh. Okay, don't think I didn't see you. You're, you're trying to be sly about that game. I, I saw that. I said, don't, don't you, don't you, don't you fucking, don't you fucking crossfade that little, uh, that little number out of existence. I saw that. Let's go check this way. That might be it. I'm not sure. It was definitely below crush depth for the wow. siege. Surprise. Just giving a bit of funding so you can continue your underwater adventure. Uh, did you mean to do $200? Yes, you did. Oh, uh, wow. Okay, Jesus. Um, well, thank you, first of all. Thank you very much. And second of all, I got, I got nothing. I, I, got, I, got, I can't follow it up with anything. I got, my brain broke, not good. Help, send, please. Never understand it. Always appreciate it, but I will never understand. Oh, hello. You're a little far from the pack, ain't you? You know what? I haven't scanned the young ones yet. So let's give you a scan. Juvenile Vent Guardian. Guardian? Garden, pardon me. Roughly 20 meters long, the Juvenile Vent Garden represents the immature life stage of the fully grown established Vent Garden. This gentle giant appears to swim in aimless, looping circles around massive Vent Gardens. While their swimming can seem directionless at first glance, the young Vent Garden is actively growing and strengthening its tentacles for when it finds a vent for which to anchor and mature. The bell of the juvenile vent garden remains sealed until its anchors open event until it anchors over a vent. Once anchored, the heat and pressure uh, activate a small cluster of latent stem cells that develop into an opening over the course of a few months. See, I just love how they go the extra mile and actually make and like actually like write out fucking biology and anatomy and like it uh, like how their fucking ecosystem works. It's really cool. I know I could be a doofus. Uh, that's the end of that statement. <laughs> I just know I could be a doofus. No further clarification needed. I may be stupid. That's basically my life. How's the exploration going then? Slowly, because <laughs> I am having to go. I'm looking for something, uh, the crystal caves, and I'm having to do this based purely on memory. Okay, okay, I think we found it. Ow. Yes, yes. Leave me be. Yes, we did find it. We are here. Just gotta make sure I am not about to drop to my death. 
Careful that crush depth, Seth. Just gotta skirt the edge of it a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and drop Mr. X off. I like how we're saying that as if we're as if we're dropping him off at his play date. Now, Mr. X, you, you be good. We'll be back to pick you up later. After you delve into the depths and brave the monsters within. Welcome to the Crystal Caves, everyone. Now I know what's down here. Unfortunately. Oh, hello. Is that what I think it is? Uh, Torpedo? Me. Torpedo? <laughs> oh, oh, my fucking god. That scared the shit out of me. Oh, fuck right off. Oh, fucking god damn it. Scared the shit out of me, you ass. Hey, don't punch my god damn. You see, that's what I was actually afraid of. And me without my grapple arm. Oh, don't worry, Val. I spoiled myself on this one because I played this in uh, early access. And uh, I think the clip where we first came across it is still on the channel somewhere. Oh! What the fuck? What was that and how close was that to my truck? Again, me without my stasis rifle. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. An uneasy calm has settled over the playing field. Kinda hoped we'd find the grapple hook down here. Oh, but we did find kyanite. Okay, so let's uh, pick up some kyanite before we go deeper in. Yeah, I like it. That thing popped up for a moment and then it just, it, then it just vanished. Excuse me. It just wants a hug. Gonna have to pass. If you couldn't tell, chat, this is what a streamer does. Oh, there it is. This is what a streamer does when they are stalling. Alrighty. Well, uh, put it off long enough. May as well continue on. Proceed with caution. A Leviathan class creature is near. Yep. <laughs> I'm aware, PDA. I am aware. Oh, believe me, I am aware. Oh, there it is. All right, fuck it. Ow, what the fuck? Woo! You got faster! Much faster! Oh, I'm dead. Hey, they made it much faster. Congratulations, that is the first time in both of these games that I have died by not trying some- Well, I guess I did try something incredibly stupid, but it was not going in with the express- with the express purpose of dying. Excuse me. What is going on? What is go what is going on? Is it eating my suit? Oh! Yeah, that's exactly what it was doing. All right, let's pull you back, Mr. X. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, they made this thing way more fucking dangerous. Do I even- can I even make the stasis rifle? We may need that. That thing may actually be too fast to outrun. I, I don't have it. I don't think I have it. Oh, apparently the stasis rifle is not in this game. You know what? That's probably for a good reason. We may need to stay low. Because I see there's cracks down here. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume it cannot get in here. I hope that's the case. So, if we get pursued, might be best- it might be a best idea to just take cover down here. Oh man, this is fucking tense. I don't- I don't like this. Just trying to stay out of sight as much as I can in this big stomping suit of metal. Well, down we go. I am rapidly approaching crush depth for the prawn suit. This is a terrible idea. Excuse me. Let's go hide in a corner for a minute. You okay, buddy? I'm... Dealing. 
Whoa, there it is. There's the big man. Now, where are you going? Is my question. I don't like that you just fucking vanished. Okay, it's going away. I think. Let's watch it. Yeah, it's going away. So, I th unless there's multiple, there could be multiple. Always a possibility. Oh, I'm gonna run out of uh, crush depth here before long. I gotta be very careful. There it is again. Hey. Hey, friend. Ha. Yep. All right, now. Yeah, here it comes. All right. Fuck off, buddy. All right, I'll drill your goddamn stomach if I have to. Get the fuck away from me. I am not playing around shit, fuck. I will punch your goddamn lights up before you get through this goddamn thing. Piss the hell off if you don't want any more of this. Yeah, I didn't fucking think so. Hurt, didn't it? Got a soft underbelly, perfect for getting punched. Piss off. Jesus fucking hell. All right, we gotta find a safe place to park Mr. X because if it comes back down here, I'm pretty sure we gotta go down that way. If it comes back down here and eats him, then we're trapped. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna hope this is a safe place. Jesus. Yeah, I don't think you can get me in here. Nope, thankfully not. Yeah, go away, please. Jesus, you are freaky. And you, you just like going around all over the place, don't you? Piss off. And actually, I think it's stuck. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, t I'm not gonna stress test that theory. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go away. Fuck. Okay, I need to go find a safe place to leave Mr. X. Actually, I think this... Might legitimately be the safest. Might, might legitimately be the safest place to leave him, using these crystals as a shield. At least a safe place that leaves him in a position where I can quickly get back to him if need be. All right, let's go. Whoo, Nelly! There is definitely something of value nearby. It could help you build my body. <laughs> Damn. What's my current goal? Looking for the thing at the end of this cave. And I know that there is a thing here. I'm pretty sure it is something we need. All right, Alan, do your thing, please. Appreciate it, buddy. Oh, wait. Yeah, they made that thing way fucking faster. Jesus. Hopefully Mr. X will be okay up there. We should hurry just in case. Hello, friends. Artifact component. Or architect component. I'll read that when we're out of here. Bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. Right, we'll read that when we're out of here, because I do not trust that thing with my goddamn prawn suit. Okay, he's still there. Good. Let's hurry. <sighs> All right, well, we found the exoskeleton and we found the heart. Uh, I think. I can't breathe yet. We got to get back up there before Mr. X gets eaten. And this is potentially going to be the hardest part. I'm one. I am, like, extremely vulnerable down here. Shit, I think he found Mr. X. Yep, okay, we gotta hurry. Ah, Jesus, I hate this. Hate this a lot. Oh, I'm I'm 100 percent blind. I got no clue where he where it is. I'm just gonna have to go for it. Time to leave. Okay. Yeah, it, it did find him, but thankfully. Oh, man, you were right on my goddamn heels. Little banged up. But we can buff that out. Let's get the fuck out of here. We got what we came for. Let's leave. <sighs> Time for the Joe Star special technique. Yes. Yes, indeed.
You get in there, yo. Yeah, they made that. They made this thing way fucking scarier. <laughs> Jesus. Um, direction. Need it. Um, I think I'm heading the right way. I don't know anymore. If not, well, fuck it. I'll I'll go the long way around. Okay, we very clearly went the wrong way, but you know what? We're out of there. I can find my way back to my fucking bus. Jesus. Yeah, big cup of fuck that. Oh, hey, we made we found our way. Hey, made a. <laughs> hey, did you know that you have a horrible shadow monstrosity only about like uh, 500 meters from your base? Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Well, that was spooky, was it not? Time to just walk my way back to my fucking base and then get back to my, or rather my truck and then back to my base. I'm pretty sure she knows that thing is scared of her. You know, I wouldn't put it past, I wouldn't put it past her to have gone down there, found that thing, punched it, and it just went running. I mean, you've seen that exosuit of hers. She has a fucking chalicerate, uh, mandible attached to it. That thing probably hurts. Ow, my back and my neck are stiff after that. I was lent forward so, so unmoving during that whole segment. God, that was tense. Yep. There we go. Alrighty. Hope you enjoyed the field trip, kids, because we're not going back. You have found two of the three components required for the construction of my corporeal form. This is as close as I have come to autonomy in a long time. You have such a way with words. Is that sarcasm? It was. You're learning. Hopefully, I will not have time to complete my study. <laughs> I was wondering, if you can transfer bodies, why was it important to find a cure when you were infected? Couldn't you just make a new body? As you can see in the components you have scanned thus far, the forms we require combine biological and mechanical parts. The tissues you have scanned were developed from the DNA of 27 separate alien species. 27? Jesus. That seems greedy. And wouldn't that mean that anything that infects a body you've manufactured can potentially learn how to infect all those other species? Yes. That is why a cure was imperative. Oh, I see. That is a problem. You know what else is a problem? The thing we just ran away from, which means we're going to run away from it even even harder. Pretty sure we could uh ki we could probably kill the Shadow Leviathan if I really wanted to. I kind of don't want to. I'd rather just get away from that thing because it gives me the heebie-jeebies. That whole like it was. It's mainly the fact that they. Oh, hello, friend. How are you doing? Nib, leave me alone, please. Ah, damn it. Listen, buddy. Can you maybe just fuck off? I'm a little bit, you know, winded after my last ordeal. I really don't appreciate you. I just gotta be honest, you're kind of a dick. Fucking Leviathans. Inconsiderate assholes, the lot of them. Listen, I just... Get the fuck away from me! <laughs> Can you maybe don't? Leave me alone, you prick! <laughs> what an ass! Uh, my, my trigger finger was like on that zapper. It's like I heard that noise. It's like it's coming for it's coming right back for me, isn't it? Just the second my camera got turned around. <laughs> Just immediate zap. <sighs> I'm a little like both my truck and Mr. X are a little bit banged up after that venture and more than a little bit tired. So we're going to let them recharge. He wouldn't zap me again. Ah, fuck. He zapped me again. The dick. Maybe he won't zap me again. Ah, he did it again. Who could have seen this coming? Basically that chalicerate. Okay. Well, home sweet home. Uh, all right, Mr. X. Given the ordeal you dealt with, you get first dibs on recharge. Let's get you back in there. Well, that was fun. Hope you all enjoyed that, because I'm not... In the words of Mr. Jack Sparrow, I hope everybody saw that, because I am not doing that again. Alrighty then. I think now that we have Kainai, we can get the final depth upgrades. Let's see. Uh... I think I already have, oh, I do not have this uh, Mark II upgrade for the sea truck. I just need Ruby synthetic fibers for that. <clears throat> but we can make 
the Mark III modules for both the uh, Cyclops and the truck. No, Cyclops. Brain. Prawn suit. In fact, I can make the prawn suit one right now. I have the nickel for it. Alrighty. Whoops. Not what I meant to do. Sorry, Mr. X. Didn't mean to interrupt your rest. Go back to sleep. Okay. There we go. I think you might need a nap after that. Possibly. Alright. <clears throat> make one of these. There we go. Crush depth is now 1100 meters. Well, that was a fun time in the depths, was it not? Uh, let's also make that ruby. That ruby. Mark II thingamabobber. You know the one I mean. Stop judging me. It's rude. I mean, I see- I hear you judging. How could you do this to me? Why- why would you subject me to such cruelty? Okay, glass. Uh, we need... the quartz that is currently on the truck. Alright, there's that. We needed the synthetic fibers, which was... Uh... Where was it? <laughs> um... Here it is. Hey, we have those. Alrighty then, well that was just a little bit stressful and a little bit uh, dangerous. Was it not? Pick that up. We don't even need to attach that because we need to immediately... Oh wait, do I have enough nickel? Yes, good, okay. There. We'll slap this into the truck. And there we go! Crush depth for the truck is now a thousand meters. Excellent. Let's, uh, deposit all the other stuff. Oh, right, the reinforced dive suit. Uh, what do we need to make that again? Two diamond, two titanium? Oh, well, I'm pretty sure we can manage that. I could really use this. Boop. And boop. There we go. Reinforced dive suit. Let's make the two components that we can. Where do we, where do we construct these? I don't think we have the thing that can construct them. Uh, I guess we'll get the thing that constructs them later. Well, for now, we'll keep all the collection of the things we need to construct it, uh, tucked away into this little thing right here. I think that's going to be where we end it for today. Actually, before I do, let me, let me do one more thing. Uh, rather than leave it all in one locker that I'm probably gonna need to get other stuff out of, because I know it's all, I know I'm gonna lose track of it all, because I am me, and me is dumb. We'll make one more locker. Just a small one, though. Yep. Yeah, that works. I was trying to say Alan shit, and then uh, Alan shh. Sh that, that works. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you all had fun joining me in the depths as I lost my mind and nearly lost my prawn suit. That, Jesus, we came so fucking close to losing this damn thing. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be tracking down more artifacts because we need to finish making our dear friend Alan's body and we are missing one piece. I think I know where it is. I'm pretty sure the next piece is back on the glacier which means we need to go back to the ice worm, which means we have to deal with the wonky new ice worm physics. I will be 100% honest here, chat. Um, when I saw just how bad the, uh, the Gaint Worms uh, performance had become, I nearly wanted to stop playing this game because that was my favorite part of the early access version was the ice worm fight, or fight, chase. Yeah, it wasn't necessarily like nail-bitingly tense like, you know, Subnautica typically is, but it was, it was a lot of fucking fun. It was, it was fucking scary. It was, uh, energetic. It was tense as fuck, well, it was tense in a different way. But when, uh, when we reached there in this playthrough and I saw just how much it had been screwed with, I wanted to stop playing. It's, it's become even buggier than the early access version, which I'm not sure how that happens. So I may just take the prawn suit instead of the snow fox, which is really unfortunate because like I said, the original chase that we had 
in the early access version with the ice worm on the snow fox was a ton of fun it was one of the best parts of the game at least the, of what we played granted i think the shadow leviathan made up for it but still maybe they fixed it since then i'm not sure i'm hopeful they did we shall attempt to use the ice worm i'm sorry the snow fox again we'll see if they fixed it i'm not sure if they did if they didn't then uh, i'm gonna save here okay i, I want to go ahead and say when we first encountered the quote-unquote new ice worm and it was like blue balling us for like five full minutes making noise without appearing that was good because that was actually tense the payoff was balls though because the ice worms hitbox was completely wonky and you got knocked off your snow fox by so much as if the thing so much just breathed on you incorrectly so we'll see if they fixed it i doubt they did but uh if they didn't then fuck it i'll just take mr x and we'll walk our way to where we need to where we need to go Granted, I'm not 100% certain where we're going. I just know we're going, I think, to the other side of the glacier. Now, it'll show up here eventually. Ah, yeah, this is where we need to go. We need to follow the uh, the artifact pieces. Or architect pieces. Hey, he's okay. Ice worm, did I catch you at a bad time? Is it, is it, your, is it past your bedtime? Ice worm. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, nope, nope. You still get knocked off of it. And it still has the hip it still has a hitbox the size of fucking Texas. So nope, we're going back. We're we're going back. We're, we're grabbing Mr. X. We're just gonna stomp our way through. A thought just occurred to me. I didn't bring a spare power cell. I hope I don't run out of power. Also, I just realized I am basically doing the Subnautica equivalent of just casting iron skin and dark souls and just waltzing my way through an area. And here comes the big man. Well, I thought, did he miss? How did you miss? You're telling me that the ice worm can hit me off my snow fox when I'm in a different postcode from it, but it missed the walking tank. Way to go, slugger. Oh, hello. Hi, Seth. Oh, slash once again, another week of working 12 for the work <clears throat> week. So I'm going to keep my attacks lighter this time until my overlords at Honda can pull their heads out their asses. You nearly made me choke on my water. 10,000 goddamn bits. A hundred bucks on top of the 30 on top of the resubs. Hey, Seth, finished my master's degree. Congratulations this summer and got my first job this week. So I <clears throat> uh, feel like celebrating here. See you in your content and help me push through the lows of, of uni. Thanks. Well, congratulations to you, Brock Flea. Don't, you don't got to spend that much money on me. Okay, you actually can hurt me pretty decently. Hello, how are you? Oh, suddenly now your hitbox is sensible. Okay, maybe it was the snow fox. I don't know at this point, but it seems to be stuck in an attack loop now. So I'm just gonna be on my merry way. You know, watch out, watch out. Yep. So this is definitely much better, but I still have to uh, shed a silent tear for what used to be my so for for what used to be my favorite part of the game. A thrilling bike chase scene with a giant ice worm leviathan reduced to a uh, casual stroll as I am occasionally accosted by a slightly annoying pest. Ow, my ankles. Pardon me for being uh, a bit of a salty a bit of a salty spittoon here folks i've bitched enough so uh we'll we'll deal we shall deal wait oh hello hello nice to meet you hello friend how are you you missed suddenly your hitboxes actually make sense now that i'm not on the snow fall I, I don't know what happened to you. What the hell happened to you, man? You used to be my favorite fucking Leviathan in the game. And look at what they've done to you. You still have the coolest visual design out of any Leviathan that I've seen in this game so far. 
You have the you have the best sound. You make the best and the coolest sounds too. But my God, your encounter got completely fucking shafted. So many mixed feelings. Ah, uh, that is a rough way to go. Yes, I would not enjoy being crushed while mining iron cube components. Hmm. The cold preserved the body well, but this isn't a big sample. Will it be enough? Our tissues are pluripotent, derived from the DNA of various species, capable of changing form as necessary. Ah, like stem cells. So, what prevents you from, I don't know, ending up with hooves where your eyelashes should go? That does not happen. At least not since the fourth iteration. <laughs> we have scanned all the components we need to make a storage, uh, body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. Well, we have now found all the pieces necessary. <clears throat> now we just have to make a thing to make them, which I'm sure we'll find here eventually. Uh, Mr. X, did I clear out your inventory? I don't remember. Yes, I did. Let's fill it, why don't we? With ion cubes. Because you know what? I deserve something today. Uh, I am so salty for my tr uh, whoops. I am so sorry for my truckloads of salt today, folks. They mited my baby boy. At least the shadow of it. It's weird though. They nerfed the snow fox and nerfed the ice worm, but they buffed the hell out of the shadow leviathan. They made it way fucking scarier. In fact. There's really only one song I can think of that can summarize my my uh, state of mind. I'm not even gonna bother searching everywhere up here. I am not in the fucking mood. I'd rather go back in the water where at least I know I'm gonna find something to scare me. All right, all right, heavy, take take us out of here. Wrong button. Okay, enough. <sighs> God damn it. it, it ah. Well, we are now officially done with the glacier. We have gathered the necessary components to begin constructing my body. Great. What's next? Let's get you out of my head. First, you must find the fabrication facility. It is concealed at some depths. Fabrication facility? So you planned on needing to make new bodies? It is a standard medical facility. A medical facility where you just replace your whole body when it wears out? Sounds a little beyond standard to me. Ours was a research mission of the highest importance. So, what were you, a scientist like me? I am a scientist now. So, what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then... Please, Robin, you have the components. Find the facility and construct the body. Okay, but... Don't think I don't notice you changing the topic. All right, so let me grab Mr. X, uh, the power cells out of Mr. X's body and we shall begin our journey searching for the fabrication station. So do we know where this facility is? Okay, so we probably need to go find that somewhere. I'm not sure where that would be. Okay, so we need two root pustules, uh, one synthetic fiber and two gel sacs. Synthetic fibers, synthetic fibers, here we go. Uh, right, needed the spiral plant clipping and a ruby. Ah, shit, are we out of the spiral plant clippings? I think we are. We are, which means we need to go find more vent gardens. Off to adventure! Off into the depths! We shall find it eventually. Gentlemen? Mm. Ah, I was taking a drink, damn it. <laughs> hey, Ed. <laughs> Ed and everybody, welcome. Uh, I hear Odebusha 3 gave you some grief before you beat it. <laughs> or rather, after you beat it. I don't think I'm going the right way. I think I've accidentally found the void. Let's not go that way. Oh, right. I completely forgot. My truck now has a crush depth of a thousand meters. Now, if I remember correctly, there is a boy around here somewhere. An angie boy. Uh, so the game crashed as the credits finished. 
Then the X process has crashed message itself crashed. <laughs> that game is just fucking, just seems to be cursed. Why am I swimming? Um, wh why am I, why am I swimming? Not what I expected, but okay. It's fine, I'm sure. Up we go. All right, <sighs> spiral plants. If and you'd not mind, deliver unto me your bounty. Actually, wait, didn't I plant these? I could have sworn I planted these back at the base. If I go back to the base and I discover that I planted some of these at the base, I'm gonna be, gonna be a bit of a dumb man, ain't I? And Ed, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, I feel somehow responsible for mangling your game's code now, so take my bits. Well, you know what? It just seems to be our relationship, Ed. Shit screws up on your end and then I start feeling it. <laughs> if our experience with XCOM has taught us both anything is that our playthroughs were just connected somehow, and I don't know how. And it wasn't just through lore either, it was actual gameplay for whatever fucking reason. You did this to yourself by calling yourself Ed. <laughs> to be fair, you called me Ed first, so really who's at fault here? Ow! Ouch. I can't help but think uh, just Subnautica with below zero's features would literally be the best game. Yeah, that's... I guess I can go ahead and just give some thoughts since it seems we're approaching the end of this game. I do like below zero, but God, it has some flaws as you can see or rather as you saw with the ice worm i think that's the biggest one just that whole section got completely neutered but like mechanically it has a whole lot of objective improvements over the first game the base building got expanded greatly that's a sentence i guess the base building got made way better uh i don't know if i like the sea truck more than the uh well, I know I don't like the sea truck more than the Cyclops and the sea moth, but I like the idea of a modular mobile base quite a lot. I think they could have done it a bit better, but overall, I really like it. I'm gonna turn this music off. It's giving me a headache. So... Also, I think, I think I should, this is just a completely different topic entirely, but I think it's just worth mentioning that whenever I hear somebody uh, bring up how, um, uh, Subnautica is scary. Subnautica is really scary, and the re and like the Leviathans are really scary. But then I started killing all the Leviathans, and it's not scary anymore. Part of me just kind of wants to go. That's the point, you dummy. You're not meant to be scared of them forever. You're meant to get. You're meant to get. <laughs> you're meant to get used to the environment, and then it gets less scary as you get more familiar with it. And therefore, you're less eager to leave it behind, and that makes the ending all the more poignant because it's become more like a home to you. That is literally the point of Subnautica. Suddenly, it's more like a home to you than an alien world, and thus you are sad to leave it behind in the end. I need... what else What else did I need? I, I am sorry, my brain is firing off on like 13 different cylinders, and I don't know which thought to stop on. Uh, so I need root pustules, I need gel sacs... Now here's where I'm gonna realize that I had the- Yep, I had spiral plants growing right here. I did not need to go all the- uh, hmm. Why do I forget things? Hmm, monkey. I- My throat is not in a good enough position to do that- to do that voice accurately. Position? What? Condition? To do that voice naturally. I'm trying. I'm trying, chat. I'm trying. It's not easy right now, when your brain is only half working and your throat is beyond repair. I'm curious. Have we blown through... Have we actually gone through any reactor? Wow! We have not gone through a single reactor rod yet. Jesus. Al... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I forgot we had the locker named Alan. We got all the other stuff we need to make Alan's uh, botte. I think. Did we? What else am I missing? Uh, nope. We got everything. So now we need to go find the facility. Where the fuck do I start looking for that? Yeah, we did end up curing the Kara. I was really disappointed by that ending. It was just, we find it. <laughs> God. Okay, hang on a minute. I got a rant about this. 
so like the game made a big deal about the Kara virus being discovered in the frozen Leviathan below the glacier. Cool, good setup, that's neat. And how, uh, and, and how Altera wanted to get its hands on it to create, well, it's, it's hinted at that they wanted to make weapons with it, like bioweapons. Okay, uh, again, good concept, we can work with that. So what happens? We find Meta, she tells us, she gives us a map to where we need to go find the cure. We find the cure stashed under a rock. We then go back to the Ice Dragon Leviathan and we cure the Kara in it. And that quest line is wrapped up, it's done. Nothing else, it, that's done. And then nothing else comes of it. As far as I know anyway, nothing else has come of it yet, but as far as I know, that's it. That, that's it. We find the cure hidden in a fucking crevice somewhere, and we cure it. Good setup for basically no payoff. And this is on top of our sister Sam being murdered by Altera to keep what they wanted to do with the with the Kara virus under wraps. Again, so much good setup. There could have been a bunch they could have done with that. Oh wait, no, I think. I think it was something like she accidentally caused a cave-in at the, the frozen Levi- I don't know. Man, that just- I don't want to say too much yet. I'll wait. I'll wait. The, the, the issue is I'm having to- I'm having to fill air right now because, uh, I don't know where to go. It is concealed at some depths. So, obviously we gotta go deep. We gotta go deep. Well, I guess we'll just look around. We'll probably find it eventually. What I'm assuming is I don't have all the information I need to know where it is. I don't think the fa the fabrication facility would be where the would be where the Shadow Leviathan is. I mean, maybe. I doubt that. Oh God, I'm fucking stuck. I'm stuck. Yeah. 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 There we go. I think I might have gotten completely turned around. Uh, where am I going? Why does the PDA not have a GPS? Very good question. Am I going in circles? I don't know where the hell I am anymore. Um, I don't think this is where I'm going, but, or where I need to go, but apparently I haven't found this one yet. Yeah, 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 we did get this one. This is the one where we had to avoid the, uh, Chalicerib, which is probably still around here somewhere. Uh, maybe I do need to go down to where the Shadow Leviathan is because, like, as far as I know, that is actually the deepest area that, we, that we've that we found. Again, as far as I know. Wait. Oh, I forgot Mr. X. Whoops. <laughs> I, le I, le <laughs> I left Mr. X back at home. <laughs> He's just kind of sitting outside. <laughs> <laughs> How, how did I forget, Mr. X? <laughs> Go away, please. Really not in the mood. Instead of memory, there is talking with chat. Yeah, that my, my brain power have, was basically just devoted to talking with chat for a good several minutes there. Oh, this episode is gonna be fun to edit. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure 90% of this is just gonna go away. Ah! Fuck it! Go away, damn it! Really? I'm not in the mood. I gotta wonder, are is Alan gonna chime in and like tell me where I'm supposed to go? Cause like otherwise I'm just kinda left to wander. Okay. Sorry, Mr. X, I completely forgot about you. So, what's got more salt, the ocean or you? I think I'm giving the ocean a run for its money, to be perfectly honest. Boy, are y'all having fun on today's stream where it's mostly just Seth being quiet as he drives around? <laughs> I am so sorry. Yeah, the direction was go down, but there's actually surprisingly few places to go down in this one. Apparently though, Alan is supposed to chime in at some point and tell us where we're going. So I guess we'll wait for that. New tactic, what if we removed all the water? Can't you beat Subnautica without water? God, the amount of, like, I made the, I made the Subnautica video, and like all of a sudden I started getting all these different, like, 
quote-unquote challenge videos of trying to beat Subnautica with more and more ridiculous stipulations like removing all, literally removing all the water in the game or playing with all, where all the water, like everything above the water is radioactive. And it's just like, but why would you think that would be fun to watch? Good to know, uh, as I'm planning to dedicate September to Subnautica, note to self, do not try to remove the water. Typically, I would say that is ill-advisable, yes. In a game called Subnautica, removing the ability to be a subnaut is probably not a good idea. And yes, I'm aware subnaut is likely not a real word, but it is now. And you know what? Neither is Subnautica. <laughs> <laughs> We stopped giving a shit about being grammatically correct when we started calling our games Revengeance. So you know what? Fuck it. Uh, so, uh... Is, is there a specific trigger for when Alan talks to you, chat? Did I mess something up? You just haven't found it. Okay. It triggers when you're close. Alright, guess I'm just gonna go explore some shit figure out where uh where i'm going let's go check the crystal caves again i don't know why it would be there but that is the deepest place we've found so far let's bring out mr x because we're gonna be returning to say hello to an old friend and i got no clue where this thing's gonna be coming from so we'll just have to wait and see in all seriousness though i do actually really like this region it's very fucking pretty. And like the ambience in here is really spooky and- the Crystals in this oh. environment are confusing my senses. And yet I feel certain there is something important to be there. A facility or a body component. Perhaps both. I cannot tell. Wait, do we gotta go back to that facility where we found the component at? In before he runs straight into the Shadow Leviathan again. Yeah, we are in the right neighborhood, Ed. We're close by. I just don't know. Uh, okay, I thought I saw it. Nope. Yeah, we're all where the big crystal cluster is. This is where we drop down to get the body part. Is that the same facility? There's the big man. Let's just hide from that. It's got to be back in the crystal wall sh a bit surely. Like, that's that's where my brain's going, right? I'm thinking that it is in that well where all the... Like, it's got to be over there. But the only thing over there is that facility that only had the body part. So I'm thinking, like, what the hell else am I looking for Secure here? Intake. Oh, right. Water. That's important. Okay, hang on. Okay, okay, okay. This is different. This is different. The hell are these things? This distinctive viral plant is often found growing out of a green crystal outcropping that appears to be similar to jade. Okay, this is different. I think we found it. Hang on, I heard something. I think I, yep, yep, I definitely heard another roar. Whew, good. Oh, I don't think this- this one is not on a path. This one is just roaming. <sighs> yep, okay, we're just gonna have to confront this thing. I don't think we can get around it, or avoid it. Sense the presence of a substantial facility in the area. Unable to identify. Or it'll just ignore us, okay. <laughs> Alright then, I guess it wasn't hungry. Also, fucking thank you, Alan, finally. You're only fucking just telling me now that I'm nearly at its doorstep. Appreciate it. Excuse, excuse me. <laughs> How did I get past that Leviathan? I just kind of, I just kind of left. I, I don't know what I did. I just left. All right, so we are gonna have to pass by this thing. Oh, hey, here we go. Oh, well, that was easy. Once you have used the fabricator to build each component, we can assemble them. And then we can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as you are. So, Alan, you said your people came here in search of a cure? I was a researcher. You were a scientist? Like me? My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I said, like me. If that is your interpretation. So, how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind, my body. 
Perhaps you should build the next component. So you came here to search for a cure? I led the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. This is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacterium? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. We have all the necessary components. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the terminal. You still owe me an explanation. I understand. And time to bring our boy to life. The escape of the bacteria was an accident. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. I do not wish oh. to speak about it. We can come back to this. I just lost my prawn suit. I... Maybe stuck down here. Also, did I just see it? Is it clipping in here? It better not be clipping in here. Um... You better not clip the fuck in here. All right, I'm gonna go talk to Alan. What are you doing? Research. Tit for tat. You've probed my mind. I scan your body. The complete physical architect vessel is a biotechnological and cybernetic hybrid incorporating design elements uh, from more than 20 DNA strands. The outer layer of uh, tissue has the consistency of leather. The tissue is interlaced with channels of visibly glowing energy, powered by the alien's internal biotechnological heart. Alan has six articulated arms that are suspended around his body by magnetic levitation. These arms contain independent high-speed computing systems and are capable of performing tasks independently. The, in, uh, the organic arms are considered secondary to the inorganic robotic arms. These, uh are used for mundane tasks that don't require much fine motor movement. The bottom half of the arms are covered in a biocomposite plating. The plating might serve as a form of armor. It also appears to store latent energy buildups like capacitors. The hooved legs are reminiscent of several species of mountain goats. The goats are, or rather the hooves are covered in microscopic uh, hooks that aid in exploring rough and uneven terrain. The forelegs and the hind legs are oddly close together which explains why walking might be a secondary mode of movement for this architect form. This architect body is able to teleport or blink short distances. The method is likely a scaled down version of the teleportation gates, but the methodology is not well understood. It is likely the architect's body is able to provide the mass amount of power necessary for this function. Uh, matching DNA fragments appear to be derived from the following sources. Chromium bore of cult of cult whale Caldwell Prime, an invasive species known for their extremely tough skin, which makes them hard to eradicate. Putty Serpent of Apotstikar, this snake has extremely tensile skin, prevents it from tearing and allows it to compress itself into small spaces. Electrode Eel of Lithton, generates an electri uh, electrically char uh, charged slime across its length. Astral Rays, Moons of Marden 14. These rays have small organs that generate and store electricity. Shaggy Goats of Olympion. These harp, these herbivorous creatures live on the rocky foothills of the mountain planet Olympion and are excellent climbers. Giant Gecko of Holtz Asteroid. Massive geckos that emit elect, uh, an electrostatic charge on its footpaths. This creates a charge difference in the surface the gecko is climbing. Uh, the markers of at least a dozen other biological species are present, but unrecognized at this time. We'll figure out what to do about getting out of here later. Here you go, Alan. Did it work? Are we... It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. Whoa. Hey. You're really not in my head anymore? 
before? There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. Make amends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Oh, no. What? We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But... It would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. And the bacteria got out, infecting everything. Yeesh. How do you survive the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. It was certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, now we have a location. All right. Well... Oops. I will join you in the gate base when everything is ready. But for now, I have much to prepare. All right. Well, now we got to get out of here, which is going to be difficult. Considering I no longer have a prawn suit and I am 900 meters down and my sub train is a thousand meters away from me. Ooh. Yeah, I can't repair the prawn suit. As you'll see, it is gone. <laughs> it uh, got blown up. So what I may have to do is die. Like legitimately, I may just have to die and get ported back to my sub train. <laughs> That might be the only option. Well, I guess I don't have a choice. Let's see how far I can make it. Not very far. Oh, God. Oh, this is, uh... Oh, there's... Oh, there's two. Yeah, no, I'm fucking dead. Well, at the very least, before I die, I could try to scan one of them. <laughs> there is no way I'm making it back alive. Absolutely no way. Yeah, no, it's coming directly for me. Uh... Ouch! You know what? Fuck it. If I'm gonna die, I'm not going back empty-handed. Come back here, bitch. Hold still, you wiggly son of a fuck. Get back here. I'm not leaving empty-handed. I am getting your PDA entry, you bitch. Come here. You will share your knowledge with me, creature of the deep! Got it! Alright, fuck you. I don't know how I'm not dead yet, but I'm probably gonna die here eventually. Or you'll just leave me be. Okay, that's, that's, nope, never mind, here he comes again. Whee! Hello! <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Let's see how far I can make it. Probably not very. I am most likely going to drown before I get back to my truck. There is a very small possibility that I might make it back in time. Highly doubt it. Because I need to not only go up, I need to get all the way back through this cave before I... Oh, wait, 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 no. I don't need to go all the way back. I just have to make it to the other base. 45 seconds of oxygen left. I can make it. I can make it. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. This is big brain time! Oh! Oh! Now we swap the battery. Unfortunately, I have no more med packs. I don't think I can even make any more. Nope. All right. Now, can we actually make it out of here? I need to get past this shadow leviathan. 
And I don't know where it went. I'm going to just have to pray I don't run into it. Yeah, this one is on a route. Uh, the other ones down there were just roaming. This one actually has a set path that it usually follows. Only problem is, I don't know what that set path is entirely. I only have a vague idea. I... I don't know if I am actually going to get out of here alive. I am damn well going to try. Cut through... This little section. To cover some ground and to give myself some cover. I gotta be careful, it could jump out at any moment. I am almost there. I am 200 meters and approaching rapidly. I am almost there. Am I actually... Did I actually get out of that alive? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit, we actually got out of that. I... Uh, how... The fuck? How did I get out of that? Floofle Floof, Watch thank you for the 10,050 bits. Jesus, you are the fucking champion of the people, Seth. That was amazing. I don't know how the fuck I got out of that. Sans Serif, thank you for the uh, 600 bit. Um, the what? No, six month resub. You've survived, hero. Thank you. I don't know how, but we did. Love your content so far. Keep it up. Thank you very much. I am forever going to regret losing Mr. X, but hey, we can rebuild him better than before. Okay, enough. Wow. We actually made it out of that alive. And not only that, not only that, we didn't get out of that empty-handed. We have another entry to read. We also have uh, a new artifact phase gate to go inspect. We have a new entry to read. Let's do that real quick. Why don't All we? All right, yeah, that's that's a pretty good job. Excuse me. Seth, you magnificent bastard! You deserve this after pulling that off, you crazy, crazy man. Thank you very much, old bean. Holy shit! This is a massive 60 meter plus leviathan that appears to be the odd convergence of several evolutionary offshoots. Shovel-like head, the streamlined head of the shadow leviathan helps it slice through the water as it approaches its prey. Beneath its smooth skin is thick head plating that is used as a battering ram to ward off competing shadow leviathans during mating season. So what you're telling me is, uh, so what you're telling me is these fish fuck. Gotcha. Segmented legs. The legs are covered in a thick... Oh, did I get a message? Hang on, sorry, folks. Nope, we're good. Uh, the legs are covered in a thick, segmented exoskeleton similar to an arthropod. The leviathan's legs are used less for propulsion, which is left to its blade-like tail, and more for hunting prey. The thick legs fold open over captured fauna like a cage, while the strong exoskeleton protects the tissue beneath from damage as, Levi as the leviathan feeds. Bioluminescent digestive tract. The, uh, the shadow leviathan's mouth leads directly to its digestive tract, which secretes a highly acidic compound onto captured prey. This bioluminescent cavity attracts light-seeking phytoplankton, which in turn draw in larger fish. Extreme threat, avoid at all costs. And I fucking and I fucking did the dance macabre with it. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just head to the phase gate. Uh. Before I do that, actually, do I got ion cubes? Yeah, well, I got a ion cube. I am also low on water. Uh, I might need to find some pink boy. Uh, hey, speaking of which, is that a pink boy? No, it is not. But there are some pink boys. So before we go to the gate, actually, there's a few things that I want to do. Oh, right, we have a truck aquarium, I forgot. <laughs> That, that is very this is this extremely helpful thing that gives me food and water whenever I need it you know that's probably been probably important uh but yeah we're gonna go say hello to the uh the goldie little uh the tri valves before we leave and against my better judgment we're gonna go take a short trip to the void probably to die but we'll cross that bridge when we get there you saved your life and now you want to throw it away. Look, man, I'm on an adrenaline high. I need to chase that high again. And the only way to do it is to throw myself into the most dangerous situation that I could think of. Charging headlong into the darkest area of the map, into the most dangerous area of the map. 
Yeah, I know I've already been spoiled, but fuck it. I have I I I I know what is out there, but I haven't seen it. So I may as well just see what it looks like. Hi, I'm Sothorvin and welcome to Jackass Subnautica Edition. <laughs> Thank you, Galaxy Gamer. Uh love your avatar. I uh, love the avatar you use. Uh Seth bot thingy looks very snazzy. Thank you. It's actually uh, a character that I had used well, for anything and decided to make them my mascot. Uh, their name is Allo9. Hello. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> One more time. These, th these are definitely still cute. Oh. <laughs> Very timid, too. Not as cute as the cuttlefish, I'd say, but they're definitely still cute. Yeah, that's that's good enough. Considering that, uh... I'm not going very far. Or at least I'm not going very deep. I'm just going out. We're gonna save right here. Because, uh, I'm just gonna fast travel my way back here by way of quitting out the game the second I get my pants scared off me. Excuse me. Time to see what awaits us. Probably nothing good. I know what is out there, because unfortunately people told me, but I don't know what it looks like. Here we go. I am leaning back. Warning. Entering ecological dead zone. The prospect. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck are you? Okay. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Boy, you are freaky. Whoa! Hi, yes! Yeah, you are definitely freaky. Oof. Hello. Nice to meet you. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, the little uh, spindly nonsense you do with your mandibles. I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan. Well, you know we gotta scan it. Let me just fix my ride first. Let's go say hello again. Hello. Jeez. You are quiet that time. Come here, bitch. Ow. Yes. Come here. Ow. Oh, this is such a terrible idea. But fuck it. Uh, it's on the shoreline now. I don't think it's supposed to do that. It's just gone. Did it ever exist to begin with? But I think scanning that thing may not be feasible. It's, uh, it's a bit too fast. And besides, my, uh, I got no health. So if I tried to scan that thing now, I'd, I'd just die. And I'd have to, uh, I'd have to, I'd have to drive my way all the way back out here. Back we go. We saw it. I don't know how the fuck I lived. But we saw the void, Shalisrit. Oh, well, I'll probably scan it in my off time. And, uh, let's familiarize myself with where I'm, uh, going. And maybe make myself another prawn suit while I'm at it. I believe Umbrella got to that cello. Yeah, probably. It definitely looked very zombie-ish. Yeah, the upgrades went bye-bye as well, which is unfortunate. So, it'll be an honorary Mr. X 2.0. <laughs> is it, is uh, yeah, unfortunately, Mr. X is a, uh, X-Mr. So, welcome, Mr. Next. Sequels always have diminishing returns. This is very true. There we are. And your name will be in white. And the interior shall also be black. Oh, welcome, Mr. Next. Unfortunately, you are 100% unupgraded. And if I, uh, had to guess, your upgrades are not cheap. Farewell, Mr. Next. You shall remain behind as the eternal guardian of my palace. Fare thee well, my newest, most loyal subject, as I leave to achieve my greater destiny. Oh, is this the wrong one? That's the wrong one. Uh, hang on. I knew that. What's the next goal? Heading to the Phase Gate facility. I don't know what we'll find there, but if I had to imagine... That will be the end of the game. Alan is going to be sent home, and then I'm not sure what we'll do after that. 
probably be going home ourselves. Now we shall see what awaits us at the facility. I am just a horrible, horrible murderer. Okay, I don't think... I think I actually need to, need to go on land now. Well, fare thee well, fish. Enjoy your life in the aquarium. It's safer there, honestly. Well, you know what? At least we have a beautiful aurora to send us off. I really wish the game would just have, like, calm surface weather that lasted a bit longer than that. It'd be nicer that way. I really am not a fan of how the weather just changes so rapidly and doesn't last for very long. Uh, maybe I went the wrong way. Also, yeah, my fucking, my fucking pod that I rode in on is still on fire. I find that fucking hilarious that this pod ha is still on fire. <laughs> At least it's warm. Now the true final boss of the game, my impeccable sense of direction. Okay, there's there's probably a different path that I missed. Um, yeah, because I don't think there's any other path on this. There, there must be a different glacier. Eh. Let's get back on the truck. Ah, fuck it. Lock it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Get there. And then fuck it. Come on. There we go. Ah, good. Now I can't see. <laughs> this is excellent. I'm lost and I can't see. That fucking Titan hole fish. Get out of the goddamn way. Uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> These fish are trying to live. Well, you know what? As... As an old American hero once said, If God had wanted you to live, he would not have created me! Okay, this is definitely different. In fact, actually, this is the old base. Yeah, this is where you used to start. Wow, we could have gone here and gotten my prawn suit really early. Goddamn. All right, well, remember that for next time, I guess. Can I go inside? Yeah, this is the old starter base. What did Altera use this place for? Researchers here were trying to find me. Um... Alan? You're not supposed to be in my head anymore. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to find this place earlier. While other teams have been pursuing more nebulous approaches to awakening the architects, I've tried to take a more practical approach. We know these part organic, part digital beings stored what they thought of as themselves on computers within their sanctuaries. And we know efforts to wake or communicate with them have been in vain. My theory is that to make first contact, these digital ghosts must first be recombined with an organic component. As Dr. Kaz Slaney's classic study noted, we know they had means to grow cybernetic bodies and to transfer their data patterns between them. There is a known probable architect sanctuary in this sector, but entry is not currently possible. If I can get inside and present the right vessel, I do think we will be successful. So there was a water filtration machine. I could not let her. She was, what do you call them, Volterran. What did you think she would do to you? She might have discovered the gateway to our home world. I thought it wise not to take the chance. That is probably fair, to be completely honest. Wow, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. A lot of data pads. Hey, Sam, you want to say hi to my kids? I told them I'd show them a day in the life of a scientist. <laughs> of course. Hi, Orin. Hi, Svea. Uh, tell us what you're working on. Oh, um, this is a personal project. Looks more like biology than robotics. Yeah, I was just thinking, I know no one is on my side with this, but what if I just found a way to take care of the deadly bacterium? I, uh, was this Oh, Sam's damn it. Face? What was she doing all the way out here? Well, sorry about that, folks. I'll try that again. Hey, Sam, <laughs> what if I just found a way to take care of the deadly bacterium? I, uh, I wouldn't say no one is on your side. I'm on your side. I know. 
You won't say anything to Emmanuel or Zeta or anyone. What effect would it have if I did? I'm not exactly employee of the month right now. I know. I wouldn't want you to risk more than you already have. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more. What? What are you working on there? And what do you mean by take care of the deadly bacterium? Uh, is that thing still recording? Oh, right. Uh, so, that was Sam, kids. I'll turn this off now. Probably a good idea. Pro probably a good idea. Yeah. So, last minute lore dump. Let's, uh... Let's see what we got. Ah, oh, my darlings, Brian, Svea, and Oren. I'm counting the days until I can come home and give you all the hugs and kisses. Since my research project was cancelled, they have me at a place called Outpost Zero doing nothing much. Just cataloging things, plants, the occasional animal, but it's mostly ice where I am, so there's not a lot of new stuff to find. Mostly ice everywhere, Svea really. And Oren, you know how you get bored when your hover dance teacher makes you practice skills 15 minutes over schedule and it eats up your freestyle time? It's a bit like that. But I have a new roommate, Samantha, a roboticist. You should see her little bangling box. Oren, you'd love them. But she got management upset. I guess this is just where they send you if they decide you're too much trouble. I'm kind of glad she's here, though. I was getting lonely. I'm still trying quietly. I don't want any more trouble to figure out where I went wrong. I was sure. I picked up a distress signal. I, I was right on top of it, and then it just stopped. What if someone, an architect, is still down there and, and needs help? I'll be home before I ever get to find out, and it will fall to some future researcher to come and find out, I guess. I, or I hope. But oh, I can't wait to be home with you. When are you going to send me some more art? There's still a patch of bare wall here that could use some color and a touch of genius. I miss you. I love you. I hope you're still proud of me. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I am fucking like, I had no idea this was here. I don't think you had a reason to go this way. Like, at all. If, if I wasn't looking for the phase gate, I would never have come this way. I don't think I have a choice. I have to neutralize the bacteria myself. I'm a little nervous. Okay, terrified. But this thing is a death sentence. We shouldn't be messing around with it. I'm no biologist, I know. So does everyone else here. I haven't spoken to Danny since we fought about it. Zeta said she'd handle it and then didn't. Lil practically begged me to drop it. This is completely beyond the scope of your work. You have to stop before you jeopardize your standing with the company. I don't want good standing with a transgov that would do this. Robin tried to warn me. Maybe she was right and Altera really is unfixable. Maybe I deserve better than this. We all do. I've synthesized the antibacterial agent. <laughs> I know my biochem at least well enough to do that much. I've stashed some away in one of the Pengling research caves, southeast of the Leviathan. That was probably the easy part. Now I just have to carry out the plan. Focus, be brave, worry about what happens next after the threat is neutralized. They're going to know it was me. If they send me home, what? When they send me home, where the ice isn't 20 feet thick, they can get my Augie bun back. We can cuddle under a nice warm blanket. Things with Robin will thaw out. They always do. Besides, I think she'll respect this. And then, <sighs> maybe I'll start my own research outfit with an awesome team. I'd love to work on prosthetics again. Help people find peace and ease in their bodies. No more cold. No more spying. Nothing that can be misused. <sighs> All right. Now's my time. I've got this. Ah, man. And all this was hidden away. And all this was practically hidden away in an area that he had no reason to go to until now. 
or at least the, am I wrong? Like I, I was never, I didn't even, I had no idea this was here. In fact, if I had to guess before the, well, I knew this was, I know what this is, right? This is the original starter base. This is where Jeff takes off and leaves you to die. And then you find the altar, like, th then you find the, uh, the precursor door over this way. I do remember that, but yeah, all of this, like necessary story dumps, necessary characterization for Sam, all that. Whew. I don't know. I got a lot of thoughts to share, but I'll wait until after we're done here. I have a feeling we're about to get to the end of the game. And there's our boy him, Sap. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Are you preparing to leave, Alan? Yes. There is much to do. Yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> well, I've come to expect things not loading in properly in Subnautica games. That just that's just par for the course, really really did beans a lot of the plot beats didn't they just like the geometry god this so much lost potential i'll talk about it later do you still wish to leave with me beyond this teleporter there is no turning back are you kidding i can't pass up a chance to see where architects come from besides i don't have another ride i do not know what we will find there the others may be sick or angry if they live at all or you could find peace. Family. I hope you are right. Please complete any business you still have on this planet. Join me on the other side when you are ready to leave. I think we're done here. Um, is there a, supposed to be a thing loaded in here? I'm assuming something didn't load in. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's try this again what a way to end it game breaks right at the last turtle oh man okay okay i'm gonna i'm gonna try leaving walking away we're gonna save here we're gonna quit did i break reality at the last hurdle just like irrevo irreversibly did i really do that hum okay uh <laughs> So, uh, one, one minute, folks. Technical difficulties. I just expect shit like this to happen with Subnautica games. Just both, both of them. D this shit just happens with these games. But I just have to say, it is very fucking fitting that this happens at the last possible instant. Oh, right. Sorry, forgot. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> but yeah uh, still not fixed still still not fixed okay okay here's what we're gonna do we're gonna quit again we're gonna verify the game cache we're gonna get far away from it once again going on standby <laughs> uh, if this doesn't work then I think the game is soft locked and I can't complete it Solution, game must be closed, but be sure your last save location is far from the Architect Phase Gate facility. Uh, if not, go save in your ocean base, close the game completely, then go to file location that. In that folder, there is a folder named cells cache for safety. Cut that and paste it somewhere else. Then open the game, go to the Architect Phase Gate facility. It worked for me, hope it works for you. Boy, howdy, this is just... This is just so... This is just so perfect to how this game feels. Really cool moment right at the end. We get some really neat... We get some... At least some payoff with Alan. A potential for something really cool. And it fumbles it in the end zone. It would be funny if it wasn't so depressing. Heck... Even the escape rocket incident at the end of the last playthrough wasn't nearly as bad as this because that didn't soft lock the game. That just caused me to go flying and it was just weird, but I was still able to complete the game. It was one of those glitches where it was ridiculous, but it was honestly just more funny than anything else.
you narrowly escape death from drowning only for the game to break on you narrowly escape death from drowning basically wrestled with a shadow leviathan to get its scan went to the void to see the void chalicerate survived the chalicerate attack by the way didn't get to scan it because it was too fast but still and then only for it all to end by the game soft locking me out of the ending potentially I just realized this is the game literally subverting expectations. It all, it all comes, hang on a minute. Where is it? Where the fuck is it? It, it all comes full fucking circle. Let's see. Are we, are we, are we boned? Are we just, are we just fucked? Okay, not looking good. Not looking good not looking good okay i'm gonna try i'm gonna try jenny's thing oh oh my god this actually happened uh. outpost zero is where your sister worked her final days on 4546b it is quite isolated yeah i know the brightest ideas can flourish in the middle of nowhere but this is practically off the map a lot of people would love to get paid to sit around and do nothing. And not Sam. She must have been miserable out here. And they have the nerve to call her negligent. I think they drove her to an extreme. They also motivated me to change my behavior. Because they drove you into hiding? I had calculated that they might be well placed to answer my distress signal. But I came to suspect their motivations were not aligned with mine. So you made yourself harder to find. It was a calculation. I am sorry. This is not how I thought today would go. I thought that, you know, we'd have the disappointment of the ice worm, but then we'd get some really cool moments. And to be fair, we did. Okay. So we save here. Honestly, I know there's a method too, but if this doesn't work, I don't know if I care enough to try it at this point. My, my, my patience has been worn thin like way too thin will we get to see the ending of the video game do we get to see the ending i really would like to see it in like for myself in my own game that'd be nice okay hang on a minute did it work uh, hang on uh, wait wait uh, uh, hold on hold on um I think it loaded. Okay, okay, okay. The entrance loaded. The entrance, has, there's the gate. Okay, okay, excellent. 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 It worked, good. We get to see the ending. Thank you very much, Jenny, that actually worked. We get to see the ending of Below Zero. Robin, you're just in time. The phase gate is opening. You've been hiding a phase gate here this whole time. Only for the last millennium. It will lead us home. No wonder you hid yourself from Altera. It was imperative to keep the home world safe, in hopes that the others survived. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Me prepare the ship. The energy masks must be moved into place. Well, this is different. Okay. All right. So what do I need to do? Oh, I'm floating. Ooh. Okay, this is cool. This is de this is definitely cool. Careful, Robin. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's getting used to it, folks. Give her a minute. Alan's probably watching her like, oh, dear God, this woman's going to kill herself. I will initiate ship assembly. Thank you. The masks are in place. The energy field is ready. There is no time to lose. All right. 
think we're about to see the ending. I'm pretty sure those were script notes that they accidentally left in. <laughs> Hang on, I need to get a better view. Join me, Robin. Ow! Ow! I apologize. The levitator was calibrated for heavier bodies. Early noted. I would have helped you to your feet, but as you can see, I have been fully integrated with the ship. Is this permanent? Nothing is permanent. Are you ready to go? Yes. I found the answers I was looking for. I'm ready to move on. I can't bring Sam back. But I know she died fighting, and I got to finish her work. I'll always carry her memory. Good. Please brace yourself, and then we will depart. Launching in three, two, one. Whoa. Much obliged, partner. What will we find when we get there? If I am the last of my kind, I will experience the sorrow of 10,000 souls to me. Jesus, how fast do you think they're going? And if they survived? With you, I am ready to face whatever awaits. So many mixed feelings. The ending was fucking awesome, but we almost didn't see it. That was so fucking good. But it nearly broke toward the end. It's one of those things where like, oh man, even with all the flaws, I and like, of course, really stupid shit like leaving cliff like fucking script notes in the fucking game. I can tell they've really tried to make this good. Ah, uh, god damn, but there's just so much wrong with it. It sucks the most when I can tell there was serious effort, and they tried to make it good. And there was a serious fucking potential, and it just fumbled in all the wrong places. This story got changed in early access. How it used to be was Robin and Sam were both alive. Sam was actually a helper who talked to you on the radio. The Alan storyline was originally the only storyline, but the story got changed during development. I think what happened is they had planned out the progression of the world for the original story and already developed the world around that story. But for one reason or another, the story was changed in development, likely because of feedback. So now they were like, well, how do we make the, the world that we've already made fit this new story? Which, well, they tried and unfortunately they didn't. I think what really ended up happening was they tried to do too much and they tried to please too many people all at once. I'm going to see if there's a post credit scene first and then I'll continue my thoughts. Oh, there isn't. Okay. All right, so to kind of further elaborate on that, I think they saw the success that the first game had and the pressure got to them between apparently a story dev uh, leaving and the pressure to make a 
worthy successor to the original, I think there was a lot of cracking in the dev, uh, in the dev team rather. And I wouldn't even say this is bad. It's just, there's a lot about it that's great. And there's also a lot about it that makes me want to pull my hair out. Exam the best analogy I could say, I, yeah, flawed, but like the best analogy that I could say, the original Subnautica was a beautiful painting, but a simple one. A, a very simple painting, but a very, very beautiful one. The second, the next one up, they tried to fiddle with the follow-up painting and they did too much, which caused bleeding of colors. It caused things to get smudged. You can tell there was actual vision behind it, but it got lost. In fact, I think a really good analogy, uh, another really good comparison between Subnautica base and Below Zero is if you compare their box arts, Subnautica is just a dude in water with some peepers around him as he's like, uh, like examining a rock or whatever. In Below Zero, the box art is you've got Robin underwater trying to swim away from a squid shark and then you have the surface with the ice worm and with too much color and you, there's nowhere for your eyes to look like there's nothing for your eyes to home in on to hone in on like there's no focus and i think that's the best fucking analogy i could come up with there's a lot to this game but it has no focus at least not in the places there it really where it really needed it so base subnautica was a lot simpler but because it was a lot simpler, they had there was less for them to fuck up, and they could expand on the on what they did have in ways that made it really meaningful. Yeah, it's a simple game with a lot of depth, both literal and metaphorical. Anti Gestalt. It somehow feels less than the sum of its parts. By all metrics, it should be a good game, but taken together, something's gone. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. They tried to put they tried to fit too much into too small a package. I feel that the stories of Woman Tries to Stop Altera's Stupidity and Woman Discovers and Befriends Precursor should have been two different stories. Yeah, honestly, that's what I, that's been my opinion for a long time. It's not that the Sam story and the Alan story are bad, either are on their own bad. It's that together they don't support each other. I would have much heavily preferred if the story had stuck to just being about, Sam, to just being about Robin's quest to figure out what happened to Sam, stop Altera, and cure the Kara bacterium for good, or been about Robin finding an ancient precursor hiding away from Altera and helping them rebuild, discover who discover what happened to their people, and also also curing Kara, I guess. But and then yeah, Meta. Well, Meta's just there. I love her as a character. She's awesome, but she's just there. Like there was no point to including her in the story. And in fact, her presence is very confusing because she was infected with Kara at the end of her storyline in the last game. How has she survived this long? As much as I love Meta as a character and I think she's awesome, she either needed to have more done with her or she should not have been in the game. It's like they had so many ideas and wanted to do all of them. And as a result, none of them got done well enough. It's a Subnautica sequel. We should keep it underwater. But we made this cool ice worm. We have this cool idea for an ice worm and it chases you across a glacier. And we want it to be set in like the frozen tundra. Uh, oh, maybe we can, uh, uh, maybe you find a frozen Leviathan that's frozen with Kara. Or uh, maybe you can also find a, a precursor who is... It, it just on and on and on and like at some point someone in development should have just said you know i think we've got enough let's work with what we got yeah actually i do agree with that next decade they did a great job of characterizing people in this game i i've, I've gone on record as saying in, my, in the videos i think the voice acting and the writing in this game is good it is legitimately i stand by that and i will die on that hill the voice acting in this game and the character and like the writings of the characterization, like the, eh, god damn my brain, the characterization of the characters are all good. And another thing, despite the fact that the Shadow Leviathan was pretty spooky, I'd say the atmosphere in this game was weaker than the first one, precisely because there was too much going on. I was struggling to figure out 
why I was not as immersed in this world as I was the last one. And then I just kind of drove around this world and I figured it out. It's too loud. There's too much noise. There's too much wildlife noise. You're, the sea truck is too loud. You're not given enough time to just sit and take in the soft ambience of the world around you to make it feel big. I actually, as much as I do like the new sound effects on the prawn suit in particular, I prefer the old one for this game. Because while they were simpler, the fact that there were not constant noises as you're moving around meant that you were paying more attention to the world's noises, not your big prawn suit. Everything felt a bit more claustrophobic. Yeah, too busy for an almost dead planet. Yeah, yeah, basically. And I do like the Leviathan designs in this one. I like how they try to go for more of a, less of a monstrous design and more of an actual like, I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for is, but they look more like animals than they do monsters in this one. And I like that. I think that, I think that's cool. If that's, a, if that's the aesthetic they were wanting to go for, where they look more like just giant predators as opposed to giant monsters, then yeah, I'm fine with that. I actually like the Chalicerate's design. I love the Shadow Leviathan's design. It's freaky as hell. I've already gone on record as saying that the Ice Worm is one of the coolest Leviathans in the game. Not the scariest, but the coolest. It's just they didn't do enough with them. And they weren't nearly as much of a... Con they didn't feel like nearly as much of a constant threat. I'm not in the best state of mind to give a full-on critique. Uh, critique? the I'm a little tired and loopy and been coughing and sneezing up a storm these last couple of days. And I, I need to reiterate... I do like this game, but I want to like it more than I do. Where it's good, it's really good. But where it's bad, it's fucking grating. And yet, and yet, despite all the frustration, that ending was fucking fantastic. It's just a shame that everything building up to it would just felt so bland. So uh, we're ending about 20 minutes early, but uh, honestly, we finished the game, so I think that's a good note to end it on. Um, hopefully y'all enjoyed the stream still, despite my saltiness, and hopefully you enjoyed the whole playthrough. I did. I did. Legitimately, I did. I just wish I could have enjoyed it more. So, thank you all for joining me, and, uh, despite the fact that we ended on a, uh, well, we began on a sour note, I think we ended on a pretty good one. So y'all have a good night, and thank you very much for helping to keep the show running. I'll see y'all later.